Hello, everyone. I really hope the audio was working for that. <laughs> Otherwise, it was completely pointless. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure how good this connection is because there's a lot of garbage happening in Canada right now with some service providers. So we'll see how well this works. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. I can see myself, but I just don't know. It's been a hot minute since we've done one of these. Speaking of hot. Yikes. <laughs> Damn ads. <laughs> okay, good. People can hear me. Audio for what? Hello, obviously, Bogus. How are you? Adina Argyle, how are you, my dear? Good to see you. Kim Jones is here. Ozzy Jack, Debbie F, as always. How are you? Mike, always good to see you, my man. Thank you so much. I still got your stuff up here on the top cupboard in Lucky. Broken Nomad. Hi, Kevin. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Giggy Goes is here. Shane B, perfect, and Roger sucks. You're absolutely correct about that, Shane. Anna, hello, hello. Blair is here navigating the destination. The man himself. How are you doing, sir? These Amazing Places is here. Mad Hatter, you can see and hear me. Some people might say that's a bad thing, but I'm very happy to have you here. Mar Maritza P. Hello, Maritza. How are you? Karen Shields is here. <laughs> How are you? Jackie Lucky Angel. Hello, darling. <laughs> yes, my 65 Roses shirt. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Party can start. I'm here, says Melissa. We were just waiting for you. So now that you're here. Hi, Carol. How are you? Clear as a bell, she says. I appreciate that. Lucky Cashing Mama. She held, says hello to the cats. They're doing their best to stay cool. They're very low to the ground. Well, Stella's actually, don't you dare. It was far too early in this live stream. Mm. All right. Belinda is here. Nancy Shad. Nancy, I did get your message on Patreon. Here we are, darling. This is just for you. Bebop and Becca. Hello, hello. Lovely to see you. Michelle H. Tofu's mom. Oh, well. Tofu's got a very lucky mom. How are you? Misty's everyday life. Can I be a mod? I don't know who you are, Misty. Let's get to know each other a little bit. Spend some time together, and then we shall see. Sorry, cupboard's in the way. I, don't, I can't slouch down any. We're just going to have to learn to deal with it. And Renee, I did see you earlier, darling. So sorry I didn't say hello. Hello, Renee. <laughs> and Sharisa Davis is here. Thank you very much, Sharisa, for your care package. I don't know if you got my message on Patreon. I hope you did and didn't think I was just ignoring you. Mm. I loved your card, darling. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. Sarah Rose is here. Hello, Matt, Stella, and Penny. Hi, Sarah Rose. Judith is here. Loretta. Hello, Loretta. How are you? <clears throat> Ozzy Jack is saying, oh, is it, oh, is it Lucky Cash and Mama's birthday? <gasps> I see that now. It's my birthday weekend, so I'm super glad you're doing a live stream. Well, happy birthday to you, Lucky Cash and Mama. Everybody who's here in the chat, show Lucky Cash and Mama 19 some birthday love. Wish her well. That would be awesome. Melissa V asks, what for, what's for dinner tonight? So funny that you ask that. I was, well, I am. It's, we just started. I am planning on cooking. Well, it is hot in the van right now. Like I had my, I had the van running and the AC on full right before we started. But it's very loud when that's happening. So we may have to take intermittent breaks to just get some cool air over me. Because yes, yeah, it's, it's like 27 degrees Celsius in Calgary right now. You can kind of see it on my forehead. Looks like I had a really good time. Nah, I'm just sitting in a very hot van. Who else we got here? Happy Chicks is here. I like to see a Happy Chicks. I saw some other people jump in. Tracy K, you just bought a van. Excited to do my van build? Yeah, you are. I want updates. Jillian B, hi Matt and everyone. Can't stay long, but sure, everyone will have a great time. You know we will. Thank you for being here, Jillian. I appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Patricia, hello, hello. Oh, stop. It's isn't that hot. I mean, Kevin, for people that don't dwell in the desert 365 days a year and wear shorts just as often, this is toasty. You'll be happy though. I'm wearing shorts. Check it out. That's all you get. Some sensual me, Kevin, just for you. Uh, <laughs> 109 degrees Fahrenheit in Arizona. See, this is why I'm not in Arizona. I would die. And my radio is playing. Hang on. I've been having an interesting thing with my um, radio lately. Normally, it stays playing until I open my door, right? And then it turns off. But it's decided to only do that when it feels like it. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Then I got to go over and open the, the passenger door. And then that will stop it. It's very interesting. And because I just had the AC running, the radio was going. And it's a whole thing. Wes Walker, you're the perfect person to talk to the 300 people. <laughs> I don't know about that, Wes. But I like having you here. Thanks for joining us, my man. <clears throat> 
Okay, Andrea, you are here. Andrea, I guess the beer is cold because Lucky has a fancy new refrigerator. More on that later. But Andrea, I've got a confession to make, mm, and you'll see it in the vlog, but I feel since you're here now, we should probably discuss it. I drove through Fernie last weekend. I'm sorry. I was in a little, I wasn't in a rush. Well, kind of, not really, but yo, know, Fernie's beautiful. I'm sorry we couldn't meet up, but that's all on me, girl. I hope you're doing well. Uh, Shane B is here, 17 in North Vancouver. Why, why am I not in North Vancouver? That's the perfect temperature. It's ridiculous. It is, oh, maybe it's because my fan's off. What do we think? Exhaust? Probably exhaust. Get out of here, hot air. Because with me yapping this much, there's going to be a lot more of that hot air happening. Good gravy. Uh, woo, what we got here? Um, Melissa, just watched a movie set in Louisiana. Even in their vehicles, they were sweating through the whole movie. Couldn't pay me enough to boil like that, right? Yeesh. Yeah, when you, did you at least wave? I waved the entire time, Andrea. I was just running through town screaming your name with my arm out the window. Didn't work, though. I don't think you heard me. I did stop at your McDonald's, though, and I was going to say treated myself, but it's more like poisoned myself. <laughs> I don't even care. Not even sorry. Blair says exhaust, as it is. Arlette Elliott, it's good to see you as well. Welcome to the live stream. It has been a hot minute. I can't believe it's been since the May long weekend. That was the last time I did a live stream. Well, I've, been, I've been very busy. <laughs> and it's the summertime, right? So between all of the camping trips I've been doing with Lindsay and Sadie and Working full time, and of course, my sweet little daughter. Yo, I spend the rest of the time trying to stay cool, and it's gonna get worse. Next week, we're gonna hit 32 degrees Celsius. Mm. Sue Bishop, hello, hello, how are you? Welcome to the live stream. Kayla, hi. Did you get your camping spot all set up with the tarp? And my mom is here. Hi, mom, it's good to see you as well. I'm actually excited. In two weeks' time, I will be going back to see Mom and Dad and Byron and Steph and all of those lovely people on July 21st. And I'm taking my girl again. My little girl. That sounded weird. It's like my girl. Not my little girl. I put up my daughter. Going on our summer, basically summer vacation. Guess what just happened in the back? See, I, mm, Oreo's here. Hi, Oreo. Oh, it does not smell good in here. I might have to deal with this, as we do, but at least we're getting it out at the top of the show. Everyone else just sort of act accordingly. I'll be right back. You did it. You darn done did it, didn't you? And now you're sitting up there like queen shit. That you are. <laughs> I guess it's better that you do it now. I find it better if you sing while cleaning up cat turds. For those that don't know, that's what I'm doing when I'm off camera, cleaning up chat turns. Or peeing, but that's not happening right now. Hashtag yuck. And the fact that the fan is on exhaust was just making it that much worse because it was just pulling it from the back of the van. Woo! Okay. Hi. It isn't a live stream until the cat poops. You know, it's a par for the bloody course. All right. What did I miss? Two weeks and so many hours, but who's counting? You just sound like you're barely counting, Mom. As many hours. <laughs> Pammy is here. Where do you park your van in the afternoon and night to keep cool? Nor wherever I, where, normally where I park, unfortunately. Although today, and I'm probably going to make a little bit of a video about this, and I, I mentioned it on my Patreon. Um, I got cut from work early due to lack of work, which is a little concerning. Although the bloody stampede is on right now, and that's just kind of, I guess, par for the course with this industry. Which I'm, I'm a mechanic, for those that don't know. Hi, Rachel. Um, and I went down to Fish Creek Park where I go in a lot of my videos and I did find a shady spot. And I was just, I was planning on editing the next vlog, which was a camping trip, which is, or was a camping trip to Beaver Mines. I laid down, I, I was out. So I had a nice nap in the shade, but Pammy, I don't, yeah. Lucky does pretty well. Like, yes, it's hot in here, but it's not unbearably hot. And when I'm working, I can come out on my coffee breaks and my lunch break, and I usually run the AC while I'm in Lucky. It's not great for gas, but it is what it is. And the cats seem fine. They're not, they're still alive. Like the worst, that, not even the worst, but like Penny will just lay down. She'll just stretch out on the floor. She gets nice and low. Get low, get low, get low, get low. Put the flashlight back. Yeah, I did, Kevin. I appreciate you keep uh, watching my back there, sir. Uh, what is StreamYard? This is StreamYard, Andrea, and I can do this. <laughs> This is what got us in trouble, though, so I got to be very careful. 
StreamYard is just a website where you, they host streaming, streamings, streams. Mm. And uh, yeah, it just kind of like pipes it to my YouTube channel. Like Dale three says, when I saw you the first time, I thought it was a spoof of another YouTube van channel. I'm guessing van city van life. Then after watching more videos, I saw you are being you and I enjoy all your videos. Thanks, Matthew. You are welcome. Like Dale three. Are you the gentleman that I talked to in the comment section of that video? If, I mean, if so, I super appreciate the way that conversation went. Daniel's here. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Ah, uh, Happy Pants. Captain Happy Pants is here. Hello, sir. How are you? Are you staying cool? Mm. I'm I'm doing my best, dude. <laughs> Let's. T- <laughs> oh no, yeah. Well, the stand. You're thinking more about the rodeo, Mike. I mean, yeah, that, that's part of it. But the stampede is also like the rides and the games and the parade that happened this morning and the food. Uh, Lindsay's wants me to go down to the grounds with her tomorrow. I t- I haven't gone to the stampede in like I don't know over twenty years, maybe. No, not quite that long. I'm only 37. Don't age yourself so much. But I haven't been in a long time. I used to go all, all the time when I was a kid. And I'm sure I've got, hi, Giggy goes. I'm sure I've got many more years ahead of me with my daughter. Mm. But yeah. greetings from Orlando. Sup, radio man. You're hiding in your basement eating ice cream. I don't blame you. Uh, Divine Wrath is here. You guys started without me. Good evening. I'm sorry. We waited as long as we could. But then Broken Nomad was just like, do it, do it, do it now. And then Melissa V showed up, and I had no choice. My hands were tied. Karen's here, Stampede Breakfast. Yum, yeah, that's, that's good. I said, I can't like go to any Stampede Breakfast. right. I guess I could go tomorrow and Sunday if I wanted, but I work Monday to Friday. Hmm, we'll see. But again, those, yeah, those are things that I used to go to all the time. I guess I could take this off the, we get it now. <laughs> you did until I took Matthew on the rotor, rotor ride. What's the rotor ride, Mom? Is that the one where, you, where it spins you around and you stick to the walls? Is that the rotor ride? You drink, you're eating ice cream and drinking beer. That's an interesting combo. I say good luck to your tummy, sir. I'm sure you got an ironclad stomach at this point. Victoria Baker, Vicky from New York Sands. I don't know what what's and what's NYS. I'm so. But any, hi, Victoria. You're on my. No, you're not. I don't know. I am. The heat's melting my brain. Carol says the vet, the rotor is terrifying. Jay, hey Matt, been loving your videos. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. I've show I've seen you pop up in a few of the comments. And if I don't respond to your comment, know that I've absolutely read it and I've probably just passed out. You know, I'm a very tired, man. <laughs> a story there, I think. Yeah, there might be. I'm not sure. Matthew, don't be dissing on the broken him, but he's the one who reminds you where things are. Mm. If I don't diss on him, he'll get out of line and his ego will just kind of go like this. So you gotta you gotta rein it in just a little bit. Kim Jones asks, How's the fridge? The fridge is very good. Yeah, I got a fridge. I had another company reach out to me and offer me the product. And I decided, yeah, that's probably something I could use, especially now. I was going through, I don't know, like a bag of ice a day at least with that white rock cooler. So I said to myself, I'm like, this, I better take them up on this offer. It's interesting. I actually get quite a few offers from these like they're usually Chinese companies um, that are trying to get their new products noticed. Like I did my Blue Eddy review and all of that. So I've actually, I'm using the Blue Eddy still. Although I do I do need to do a like six months later review, I think, of these products. Because the thing with these companies, when they reach out to you, they send you the products. They say, okay, within four weeks of receiving the product, please do the review video. Which I'm fine with. But the only thing that bothers me about that is the longevity of said product. So I'm going to start, I'm going to need to start to do follow up reviews of these products so they're a little bit more relevant because that's what matters to me is the longevity of anything did i figure out how much power it uses yeah blair nada it was just on startup and once it's at temperature it's like one or two watts so that's nice oh shush, shush, shush kevin oh it's upstate new york okay yeti is chinese owned no no i didn't have it i know um i was talking about uh, companies that reach out to me Melissa, uh, I have a White Rock cooler, not Yeti, but White Rock apparently is Canadian, but that wasn't a company that reached out to me. I, ju- I just purchased that uh, on my own volition, and that's what I had been using in Lucky basically since my van life started back in October. Adam, hey, I get to see another live stream. Hello, Adam. This is, You were on the last one. We just haven't had one in well over a month. How you doing, sir? And Cruising with Mo is here. Well, hello, darling. Yeah, you're down there enjoying the the dolphins in the waves in the palm trees, I see, Mo. Mm. 
FYI, I've had my Blue Eddie for over two years now and still as strong as ever. So, um, oh, sorry. Hang on. Sharisa, I'm going to pin this so we can come back to this. Um, the only issue, so this is why I would, I'd want to do a follow-up review video, is on the Blue Eddie unit, the USB-C charging port <laughs> pooched. Doesn't work. I thought it was the cable I was using, but I've, I have multiple USB-C cables. And yeah, it's the port on the Blue Eddie unit itself. The other four regular USB ports are fine. Um, but yeah, the little USB-C just crapped right out so then knowing that i feel a little guilty about the video review because i need to be as honest as i can right so that's the only issue that i've that's the only issue i've had with it other than that yeah it's, it's going great um oh you haven't missed anything pammy i haven't done my fridge video yet you'd only know if i had it if you were on my patreon and sharisa huh? i hope i'm saying that name right now that i was educated how is the air prior <laughs> <laughs> how's the air purifier doing notice any difference yet i don't know I, I like it it smells good when you stick your nose right in the top of it it's over there um and the colors on it apparently tell you how clean the air is <clears throat> i definitely am not as stuffed up so let's blame it on the air purifier worked great <laughs> i can't yeah and i super appreciate that my dear <sighs> oh that's a good point kevin yeah i could reach out to them and see about the warranty Rocio is here. Rocio's in the house, as with M. Andrea Thompson. Hello, darlings. How is everyone? Uh, Blair says, I'm so glad I bought a 12 volt fridge freezer. Yeah, uh, mine's not a dual zone. Um, they do have a the company, it does have a dual zone option, which is even larger. Um, I don't know how well that would work in Lucky. I, this thing is 69 quarts. Uh, and Pammy, to answer your question, it's, it's right between the seats right now. Uh, unless I completely redesign Lucky on one side, i.e. the water station, because I'm pretty sure that's the only place it would work. Um, that's where the fridge is going to stay for now. It's working well. <clears throat> ah, I got it right. <clears throat> See, with enough determination, you can get it all right. Finally seeing another live stream. 8.45 in Ottawa. Canine Moma Nomads. Hello, hello. Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, it's been a while. I've been saying that. Um, anyway, to go back to... Oh, hang on. Kevin's taking a phone call. We all have to just wait. I guess I could get this off the screen while we wait. I'm totally kidding. He can go take his phone call. We'll be here when he gets back. Um, to go back to Melissa, to your comment earlier about what's for dinner? Possibly carbonara. Or however you actually say that. I'll probably get crap for saying it wrong. But uh, yeah. I, you, I made that a few times off of the Binging with Babish YouTube channel. He did a carbonara dish just with bacon. Uh, and I, so I picked up that right before I kind of settled in for the evening with you lovely people. And that's my intent. Although the thought of frying up bacon and then boiling a pot of water for the pasta. Yeah, you know, we're going to be eating dinner at like midnight. Everybody stop what you're doing. Kevin is on the phone. See, Captain, Captain Happy Pants knows... Ooh, you're building out your F-150. Does that mean you're leaving right now? I mean, I get it if you need rest. And thank you for stopping by. And that's super cool that you're building out an F-150. Having a past it now at 2. Oh, see, Anna's having passed it at 2 a.m. So it'll be fine when Van Life Plus does it at like, well, it'll be like 5 a.m. her time. <laughs> I use ice cubes and dang, it gets expensive. 100%. Especially, like, I don't know. Sorry, you're... Out in Ottawa, nomads, is that what you said? Um, you're probably just as hot as I am here. <laughs> but yeah, the ice was just starting to kill me. It was fine in the winter. It was actually nice in the winter because it would like melt. And then we'd like get minus 30 days and the melt would just freeze to a nice block. And then the freaking cooler becomes a freezer. But now here we are in the summer and damn. Don Yoshi, Matt, your live streams are second to none. You always keep it rolling and react to most comments. I try, Don Yoshi. Thank you so much. And welcome to the live stream what is this about uh i shared the live stream on discord what are you talking are you, not, are you talking to me debbie no you usually shout at me when you're trying to get my attention how do i deal with food smells in the van how about how much stinky food do you think i eat andrea like when i'm cooking i haven't had anything linger yet um again because it's like the hotter months i i've been keeping it simple with like salads and sandwiches um and when i do cook it's usually just the stuff i've covered on my videos like the i'm gonna say it wrong no key no key <laughs> which takes five minutes um and the fan just everything just goes out i yeah if anything sticks which it's usually cat shit or cat puke 
Sorry. Uh, I use I use the Unstoppable's Touch to freshen up the air in the van. I find it works real well. Remember to pick that up later. Where's Kevin? He's got to remind me. I usually ignore your comments. All right. You know what? That's because they go by so darn fast. Jay, I have my Silverado built out. That's awesome. So here's a funny story. Not funny story, but like for the last 10 years or so, I've been like, I really dove into researching vehicles for in terms of like reliability and how much like maintenance costs would be and this, that, yada, yada, yada. And I just, I landed on Toyota. So for those that don't know, before I moved into Lucky, which is a Chevy Express, I was driving a 2018 Toyota Tacoma. Loved that truck. Was amazing. Can't recommend it enough. Um, and that was just had been based on a lot of research I had done on cars, finding out like what's good, what's bad, what has the most recalls. You get it. Um, working at range now, doing so much work on like the brand new Tahoes and a whole bunch of Silverados and Sierras. I think I'm a little bit of a Chevy guy now. And now that I know how to work on them and I could maintain them myself, yeah, I could totally see myself getting like a Silverado in the future to, for like, a, like to play with if I'm ever at that point where I am so well off that I have that much money. That's never going to happen with the way the world is right now, though. Let's get serious. But uh, yeah, thank you for taking me on that tangent, Jay, by just saying Silverado. Uh, obviously bogus. Five sugars for real. Yeah. So I made a big deal on Patreon the other day. I went through a Tim Hortons drive through because I've actually had a lot of uh, generous people send me Tim Hortons gift cards, which is super cool. And I appreciate it. Um, I'll put this up, Wes. I'll answer that in a second. Um, I don't usually go to Tim Hortons. But when I do, I go to Tim Hortons and I got a bit of a sweet tooth. I don't actually like the flavor of coffee, turns out. I like the effect. So I actually, I cover it up with a buttload of sugar. But don't worry. Don't be concerned for me because it's like maybe I have a coffee like that once a week. Usually I do my own thing and it's just like a creamer. That's chock full of sugar for sure. But uh, how is Stella? Uh, do I answer that first? She's good. She just actually whoop, over my foot and went to the front. Penny's. Oh, Penny's sitting on the fridge. Is it nice and cool, Penny? No, you can stay there. Uh, still is much better. For those that don't know, I'll be going over it a little bit in the next vlog. Vlog, vlog. I was going to try to say video and vlog at the same time. Uh, still had a UTI infection. I, took, I had to take her into the vet. She was acting very lethargic. Uh, so I took her into the vet. She, it turns out she had a UTI infection, urinary tract infection, for those that don't know. And I, she was on, she got painkillers and antibiotics and she bounced right back, which was great. It's always scary when animals start behaving that way. Cause in my experience, I've had some very unfortunate animals where it's never just one thing. Um, and it usually means it's time for them to go. And she is an older cat. So that's where my head was at. Uh, Patreon was sort of like there as a great distraction. That community was super supportive. Uh, some people went above and beyond, especially when it came to that situation. And she does have to go back, says, speaking to the, it's never usually one thing. They did find like a heart murmur and some other stuff. They want to do blood work to determine whether or not she has diabetes, uh, which if that is the case, I'll, I'll, I think I'll just, I'll, I'll do it because it, they, the vet told me it was like $100 a month to get the insulin, which back in the past, it was never really a financial option for me. I only had one cat that ended up having diabetes and he had so much other stuff wrong with him. It was not financially like feasible for me to do so he ended up getting put down um but now i'm in a little bit of a better position with that and that was shocking to learn that it was only a hundred dollars a month and now that we got a fridge it'd be real simple to keep the insulin refrigerated uh, i followed your solar videos how's it doing amazing that was another reason I decided to get a fridge. I had no experience with 12 volt refrigerators. I, I had a little experience with thermoelectric coolers and I knew they had a huge draw on a 12 volt system. But I mean, it's what, what is it right now? It's 654 and my solar is pulling in 14.7 volts right now. It's bulk charging my batteries. I got three of them up there. You know that you watch the videos. I don't know why I have to say that. Mm. Uh, but they're doing great. And they've just, I have never drained my batteries. I've also got flooded batteries and I kid you not, I've tried to top them up probably about eight or nine times since I've been in the van and they barely take any water. My batteries are Trojan batteries though. So they're, they are pretty high end, probably one of the more expensive things I have in Lucky. Um, but yeah, the, the solar panels work in like a hot damn. What I do need to do at some point is I'm not fused on my solar wiring, which I want to, I want to put an inline fuse in, but again, I have no problems yet. So fingers crossed, knock on wood. And thank you for asking Wes. Um, Andrea says, is your Amazon wish list up to date? I mean, it's as up to date as anything else, right? 
when things get purchased on it, it gets removed. I haven't added anything new to it lately. Again, I've just been so busy trying to catch up with the vlogs and, and everything else. Um, but yes, it is currently as up to date as it can be. What's in the box says hello from Windsor, Ontario. Is that a reference to seven, sir? If it is, I like you and you can stay. Welcome to the live stream. Um, I missed something here. I just had to put down a 16 year old kitty last week. I'm glad Stella is feeling better. My heart goes out to you, Divine Wrath. It is never easy. I don't know what I'm going to do when one of these two goes. Because it's going to happen. That's like an, ev an inevitability of like being a pet owner, right? And it's just these two. Out of all of the cats I own, I'm actually surprised that these are the two that are still standing. Oh, sounds horrible, I know. But it is a little surprising. Um, and I'm, I kind of I can already tell it's, it's going to be Penny. That'll be the last man standing, so to speak. But I don't know what I'm going to do. My heart goes out to you, Divine Wrath. I'm sorry for your loss. That's brutal. It, and it's like, mm. it's so bad when you got to like make the decision to put a pet down. It almost, at least for me, makes me feel like that's it. I'm never doing it again. But I mean, that's just an in the moment sort of knee jerk reaction, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's just rough. I don't handle it well at all. I've had some amazing women in my life that I was dating. Dating sounds like I was with them, right? Relationships and whatnot that were there for me when the animals passed and they were stronger than I was. I am not, I was not able to be in the room when the animals were put down. I'm not going to have a choice this time and it's going to have to be me because I'm not going to abandon my animals. But like, that's wow. I'm a bit of an emotional wreck when it comes to that. Uh, Laura Stewart says, Hi from Laura, needing smiles more than ever. Thanks for them. You are welcome, Laura. It is a very hard time. I don't know specifically what you might be going through right now, but I feel like collectively we're all going through the grinder one way or the other with the state of the world and our personal lives. So, absolutely, I do believe laughter is the best medicine and I do the best I can. That's not to say that I will not talk to you guys and gals about serious business when it's called for. When am I going to do a tour all over Canada? So, um, you obviously you are newer to the channel um i that's not a viable option right away number one reason is my daughter lives here my daughter is two years old and i have a very close relationship with her i see her almost every single day i pick her up from daycare every uh, work day of the week more or less um and that is i'm not with her mom but we have a very healthy relationship in terms of raising the little girl in my opinion uh, and so that kind of keeps me grounded here. That being said, um, financially speaking is the second reason I can't do it. Right. Like I've got financially financial responsibilities to her. I've got irresponsible debt from my past <laughs> that I got to pay off. I've got a full-time job because of that. I have said and been very candid in the past that if I can get my YouTube channel to a place where it's enough to live off of, then we will make plans to head out in spurts because I've got my grandfather's old boat, which you can see on quite a few videos already. Um, and I have put the goal in my head to launch that boat in a lake in every single province and territory in Canada to start with. And ho that's hopefully what we will get to do sooner rather than later, but you never know, right? Well, that's good to know, obviously, Bogus. Everything is, of course, you read online, like you gotta fuse it, fuse it. So I appreciate you being like, ah! <laughs> sounds like my grandfather. Don't even worry about it. Denise Townsend is here. Hello. How are you? Uh, sorry, I missed a bunch here, and I saw a bunch of people come in as well. Red Dog Tag. Hello, hello. Gotta love Rogers and the cellular network and connection issues. Go, Rogers. Yeah, I'm tethered to my cell phone, which, thank goodness, is with TELUS. So it's still working. I was just in Walmart. I bought some ice and uh, water right before I came out here to start the stream. And somebody there, I mean, I don't take it with a grain of salt. I'm not like downing them, but it's just a Walmart employee. They said, yeah, it's not going to be back up till Monday. It's going to make some very, I mean, the people right beside me, they were from BC. They got very upset at that comment. Like, we got so many more bills. It's kind of true. Cruising with Mo, $500 vet bill. Yeah, to take Stella in was 300 and I think it was $370 to take her in for the checkup, the exam, the, what did they do to her? They did a urinalysis and then to get her meds was 370 bucks. And then to do the blood work and get the insulin and all that. And I think there was one other thing. I can't remember. I'd have to find the uh, printout. Yeah, it's like 600 bucks. It's not cheap. But of course, I didn't get pet insurance. So, you know. Jackie, that's why I never had pets. I know. I get that. Uh, Alberta and Stella is here. Matt, wish me and my Stella luck. We take our service dog 
certification test. The week of the 18th, it's a three-day test. You're going to crush it. Don't even worry about it. And hello and welcome to the live stream. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of yeah, I'm doing a lot more yapping, I feel like, than normal, and I'm missing a lot. So I do apologize. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, Denise. Thank you. Kathy Benjamin is here. Hello, Kathy. Welcome to the live stream. Hope you're having a great Friday. Uh, Jennifer, Jayla Plans is here. Yes, I have no service. Thank you, Rogers. Mm, right? Welcome to the live stream. Captain Matthew. Ahoy! Where's that? Wait, I went the wrong way. Yarr, er, er, ah, I can't. There it is. <laughs> uh $4,600 oh gosh yeah that's yikes uh stay local say Canadian what are we referring to yeah yeah uh what are we what are you referring to Andrea and yes we are at almost at 8,000 that uh that fired uh for living in a van video just went off like gangbusters which is super cool it's just interesting to see the algorithm work that when people watch the subscriber count usually just ticks up as well. So we've got a lot of new faces on the channel. I don't know that we've got a lot of new faces in the chat necessarily. Um, I have seen a few, which is awesome. But yeah, the community is growing and that was super cool. You never know what's going to hit. The last video that hit like that was my uh, Christmas, what I did on Christmas Alone video, which was a few months ago. But yeah, it's super cool. What would my dream job be doing this? At this point. I mean, like when I was a kid growing up, my dream job was to make movies, to probably write, direct and star in my own movies um 100 i kind of feel like i'm doing that already like i don't know if it's on my current banner but on my old youtube banner in the bottom right corner is sort of a little easter egg i put the final film by matthew allen meaning my van life channel uh because that's kind of how i was approaching it so the few and far between i've taken more creative liberties with my videos and tried to flex my um creative side for lack of a better word i'm not very creative tonight again we're gonna blame it on the heat and so i am really looking at this as just making movies i'm getting to do what i want and i very rarely write anything i think i scripted vlog entry number one and ever since then it's just kind of been here's what's in my head <laughs> and then i love editing um so yeah this is my dream job unfortunately there's a lot of nonsense happening in canada where it might not be viable in the future come september they might pass bill c11 which I'm sure if a lot of you people watch people like Forsty Forest and Chrome over Advancing Van Life, they've talked about it. Um, I haven't talked about it because I know even less about it than they do. I only know what I know about it from them. Um, but yeah, they're trying to pass a bill that could potentially prevent us Canadian YouTubers from reaching a global audience, which is which is scary. So not going to be quitting a full-time job anytime soon. That's for darn sure. Justin Lucero? Your last name sounds like a Pokemon. I don't mean that as an insult. Lucario, but I'm just saying. Welcome to the live chat, Justin. So cool, your van looking good and love Stella and Penny. They both are such characters. Yes. Yeah, and that's why I've always liked cats because they've got crazy personalities and they're all varied, right? Like, that's why I've always sort of been drawn to cats and those two. Mm -hmm. We got the cuddler and we got the, like, I want nothing to do with you and sassy Tubbers cat. Hello. Oh, I appreciate that, Summoner, and welcome to the live stream because your positive and attitude bring people into the community when they watch you. Yeah, it's interesting. That happens in my head, right? Because I'm like, well, here's the video, right? The thumbnail says fired for living in a van. I had a completely different name for that video and a different thumbnail um, before I uploaded it to YouTube. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try. Like, I'm completely aware that it's a little clickbaity, but it's also, it checks all those ignorant boxes, right? It's negative. Um, I guess that's the only ignorant box. It's a negative connotation sort of thing, but it's also not a lie because it did happen and we do talk about it in the video. So that was kind of cool. But then I play it back in my head. And I'm like, it's a half an hour long video. It's 30 minutes, over 30 minutes. And it's more about just hanging out and walking my cat and tidying up Lucky and strapping my tire down and then going to the Memorial Forest. And that it's just like, you just need to do that. You need to do something to bring people in. And then you see, I'm like, these people wouldn't be subscribing and staying if they thought that they kind of got taken for a ride. Like, oh, this, this video is not really about the fact that she got fired for living in a van. It's only mentioned, but obviously they like what they saw and that's really cool. It's just a way, gotta, I gotta keep finding ways to bring people in to see what the channel's actually about. Unfortunately, when that happens, there's always a new wave of people that are just like, yeah, Chrome wannabe. I'm like, yeah, whatever, what's it to you? Uh, Steve Jones, hi from Pennsylvania. Hello, hello. G Jing W is here. Hello. 
had a diabetic cat for years. It's a lot of work and not inconsiderable expense, but worth it. He was my best buddy, 100%. I think I could do it. I mean, she puts up a fight when I cut her nails, so giving her a little bit of an injection into her scruff. Anyway, I could do it. Oh, no, the chat jumped down. I missed a bunch of people. I'm so sorry. Um, Paul, a point. You need... Mm, no, I do not need that, Paul. <laughs> uh i see a stand-up career in your future if you want to you know i've thought about that obviously i don't know that i would ever pull the trigger and do something like that i'm not i don't know i enjoy stand-up comedy watching them but eesh, doing it myself i don't know about that just your hat you're missing the top of your head what do you mean rocio i'm not missing anything you don't stop, stop being judgy about my head try changing up Stella's food to raw meat only food it did our cat wonders yeah she's pretty picky um they are on the hill science diet urinary hairball control food right now seems to be working okay they are still like throwing up a little bit but it's nothing crazy it's odd they've actually started throwing up hairballs which is like well clearly the food's not working so i don't know naomi says love your videos thank you so much naomi and welcome to the live stream so i'm mean, just trying to play catch up here you guys lucky cashing moments probably like he's ignoring my comments again so he doesn't see them uh yes trudeau is a nightmare jennifer could you go through a vpn to avoid the bill 11 i don't know i'm not sure jennifer uh, like I said, I'm, I have, I'm not very up on all of that. I don't even have a VPN. Mm. I guess I should get that. Uh, but yeah, sorry. I can't answer that question. I'm not sure. I don't know how to say your name, but you say hi. I'm just got to be careful with who I put up on the screen. You look, you look very pretty, but your name screams clickbait, but hi, because you were very polite. Then you also sent a throw up symbol. So I don't know what's going on uh what did you say pammy oh i have to find out about that how could they do that why would they want to censor van life it's not just van life pammy it'd be any youtube content creators because they just there's some there's some there's see this again i don't really know but there's some sort of like radio law or bylaw or something radio and television with the canadian government it's just i don't know i cannot speak to it because i don't know but I guess they just like to control. They they want to push it to more of a Canadian audience. That's how I understand it. I could be wrong, but they want to. They would want to take my content and push it to more Canadian viewers. Well, that's fine. Unfortunately, there's not as many people in Canada, in the right. So you got to get it out to the rest of the world. And if they keep that from the rest of the world, like you could still find me. This is what Chrome said. You could still type in Van Life Plus, but I wouldn't be showing up in your newsfeed, even if you had notifications and were subscribed. Again, that's as far as I understand it. Uh, oh, Lynn Valenti, thank you for the super sticker, my dear. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And welcome to the, I didn't, I, I, does that you just pop in here? Welcome to the live chat. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, that's what's Are you making any more burrito building type videos again soon? I'm trying to think of what other dishes might be interesting. I got a lot of plans for dishes. Don't worry again. I've just been so busy. It's I'm trying, I'm still trying to play catch up with my videos. We're actually only three vlogs away from being completely caught up. Um, which is if you've been around the channel for a while, unheard of. Uh, so I am just trying to get caught up with that. And then yeah, I got a lot of dishes. Like I said, tonight I might be making carbonara <laughs> in the van. It's gonna be a very van life bastardized version of it, which is bacon and spaghetti noodles. But um that's the uh, that's the plan for tonight. And yeah, I got us a couple more chicken dishes and stuff. Whether or not I do burritos again, I don't know. It tends to upset Kevin, and you don't like to upset Kevin. It just causes problems. Science Hill is trash. Why veterinarians recommend it? I don't know. So this wasn't based on a vet's recommendation. It's just based on what I gave my male cats, and it seemed to work. And this so far has been seeming to help them. Still, I had very this is yucky, but still I had very runny number twos. Let's say and now that we're on this food, it seems to be sort of solidifying i hope nobody's eating so i don't know in my experience it seems to be pretty good they were on blue buffalo or whatever before that didn't seem to be working for them i don't know uh the best not mess with my youtube favorites yeah well that's the thing right so i guess if you guys watch chrome's video or whatnot or if, or if one of my mods can find um the link there is a place like a place you can go to like send in a letter and say don't do it i don't know if the public can do it but I know that content creators can. I haven't done it yet. I can't. I'm so busy. I need to find the time to do that. You must protect the broken nomad at all costs. <laughs> Terry Bay asked about the VPN thing as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, you're at work, Lynn. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's one way to spend a Friday. Oh, Kim Jones, keeping the rum fun going. Thank you so much, Kim Jones. That is very much appreciated. And funny story, maybe we'll get into it a little bit later. I mean, I'm still unlucky. I found... <clears throat> I'm going to turn on that air purifier. 
I found this at the liquor store tonight. It was $16.99. It's by a company called <laughs> Good Company is the name of them. Handcrafted spiced rum, and it's made here in Grand Prairie, Alberta. In my experience, booze like this isn't very good, but the person at the liquor store said it was pretty well regarded. They've got rum, whiskey, and vodka. So I had to get the rum. Maybe we'll dabble with that a little bit later. We shall see. So thank you for keeping that going, Kim Jones. I appreciate it. Kevin's still on the phone. <clears throat> 25 grand from Speargrass. Thanks for the heads up. Yikes. That's nuts. Oh, well, maybe it's, yeah, maybe the science, the Hill Science Diet, Susan, is different from cats to dogs. I don't know. You would imagine it'd be the same. Well, a little bit different. Otherwise, why, could, why wouldn't it just be pet food? as opposed to dog and cat food, right? But I will absolutely, I, 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 yeah, it's very hard to not keep my eye on them. That's for sure. Francisco is here. Hey, Matt, no, you can't borrow $20, sir. Not after YouTube takes their cut. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. Uh, have you tried the Costco brand of spiced rum yet? No. Uh, I keep forgetting that Lindsay's got that membership to Costco, but no, I haven't. I have not got the Kirkland brand. No, I haven't yet. <sighs> oh, did the cats poop yet? Yes, they did, actually, at the beginning, probably right before you got here, Jennifer. Stella <clears throat> made her presence known. And the fan is on exhaust, so it was just pulling it from the back and just... <laughs> Great! So that's out of the way, thank goodness. Toby Bird Dash. Hiya, Matthew. Apparently, I was so excited to finally catch you live again. I lost my ability to write properly. I mean, it's good to see you getting lucky live again right yeah it's been a hot minute and then for those that are here and that have been missing the live streams like i actually at a point where people were reaching out to me over on my facebook account um and saying hey can we please do another live stream and i get it um i love the community i love bringing everybody together and us being able to hang out like this and spend some time and we're creeping up on that ten thousand. don't forget i have like i i'm <clears throat> slow it down just a little bit I have not forgotten that I have to do a 10 hour live stream once the channel hits 10,000 subscribers. I'm actually looking forward to that because we are inching closer and closer to it. It'll allow me some time to like think of a different way to spend 10 hours rather than just sitting here and lucky. Although I could do it because we got damn close. Uh, Joseph Malloy, dude, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. You've been an awesome supporter and don't like I, every time you donate, I just, I feel so, so blessed. And then Susan, Thanks for your great content. I look forward to your videos. Always a good vibe. Thank you. I try to I try to keep it that way, Susan. And so I appreciate that um, a lot. It's very humbling. But so what I was saying about the live streams is that people were, were reaching out to me asking when it was going to happen again. I did feel a little bad, but at the same time, it's kind of nice. Take a little bit of a break, come back, and now everybody's here in full force. We could have a good night, good Friday in the middle of the bloody summer, and uh, <laughs> see what see what what happens. What kind of trouble we can get up to because we've had some lots of fun on these live streams for sure. Um, <laughs> just woke up. Oh, Thor Love and Thunder. I keep hearing mixed reviews on that, which is a little surprising. Hopefully it was good, but yes, do shut up. Don't ruin it. <laughs> uh, make sure to stretch before that 10 hour live. Yeah, no kidding. I might do it on my phone so I could actually walk around and we'll do it. I don't know, but that's the plan anyway. <laughs> but then I could actually like we could be out and about and I could walk around and talk so then I'd be stretching because I don't like to actually stretch and we can come into lucky and make some food and whatnot we'll see that's what I'm talking about it's that sort of like structure that I'm excited for uh if the channel hits 10,000 Mary Snyder thank you so much for the super sticker I really appreciate that my dear uh Cindy Trent is here hello all y'all from West Virginia hello Cindy welcome to the live stream um what is this? We'll offer free boxes of Cracker Jacks for the first 10,000 viewers. <laughs> That's a good... Hello, Agent Officer Thomas A. Porter, DPO, from the heart of the Algony Mountains at 3,450 feet. I have no idea where that is. That's a pretty good idea. It's pretty funny. I don't know if it's a good idea, because I don't want to buy that many Cracker Jack boxes, but... What did you think of the Jelly Bellies? They're gone. That's what I thought about them. <laughs> sure, they did not last. She sent me um, a care package, and in that care package, there was little um, bottles of Dr. Pepper Jelly Bellies. I love Jelly Bellies. Uh, they are extremely expensive for a good darn reason. They are incredible. I have one bag left in my candy drawer. I can't bring myself to open it right now. Um, but those Dr. Pepper ones, mwah! my favorite are the pear flavored Jelly Bellies. I used to go to like the grocery store into the bulk section and just scoop a 
big old bag of pear jelly bellies. I feel like that coupled with my coffee would probably kill me these days. Uh, oh, this is an interesting topic. That's pretty. Uh, Ten hours of you sleeping, you Blair. <laughs> right? I'd be like, I never said what I was gonna do on the stream. Here you go. Uh, Kim Jones asked, "Am I gonna get Starlink?" It's like the it's like the hotness right now, eh? Although I watched I I uh, the Nomok experience had a quick little video out there about how they're trying to shut it down or something. Uh, uh -huh. So that kind of like makes me wonder. Am I going to get it? Maybe eventually, of course, it would be nice to have. Right now, there's no way. It's far. It's like, I think it's like $700 American to start it up. I can't, my brother and my parents have it in BC, but I, and I know it was a pretty penny, at least $1,000 to get it all set up and going. Um, so that is uh, a ways into the future for sure. Uh, and I'm not very happy that it's not like a smaller dish. Like I don't, I'm not going to pretend to understand the science behind communicating with all those satellites. But in my mind, I thought that when Starlink went mobile, it'd be because they reduced the antenna, but it's the same size as the one you mount to your house. And that kind of like, initially I was like, mm. but that being said, I could just permanently mount it to lucky. Like, what do I care? I got a rack with a tire up there that would offer some protection or interference. It could go either way. Uh, but yeah, we got to have goals, so maybe in the future. Uh, mm, <laughs> see, your son's a smart man there, Debbie. Try Walmart jelly babies. They're better, better than jelly belly. That is a bold statement, sir. And I don't know, but welcome to the live stream, and I will give it a ch chance. Shot. <laughs> Buttered popcorn. Yeah, I've had those. I've had all the flavors because, like, I get the bags. I would open it up and pull it out right now with a bunch of stuff in the way. Um, but yeah, I've had all the flavors except for the yuck ones. I don't do that bean boozled crap. Why do I want to taste puke? Ugh. But the actual real flavors, there's not a lot that I don't like. Um, oh, Toby Bird Dash. I don't, I, there should be a button with a little dollar bill symbol. I don't know, dude. I just like having you here. Don't sweat it, man. Thrifty Lady, have you ever done any acting in the theater? You seem like you might have, you might have in what? What? What is IR Shoy? I don't know. Um, yes. Not in like professional theater. In grade 11, I was the lead in a play called Teach Me How to Cry. And I've done a bunch of like my own movies growing up. I shot and directed a whole bunch with my friends. How many? Uh, Kaylee, you should know better than me. Uh, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a web series. So I'll eight in my head, eight movies. I enjoy it a hundred percent. Uh, it definitely sort of runs in my family a little bit. Well, my brother was into it as well. My younger brother, Byron, and he still is, but he's on the stunts side. He was, last summer he did, no, you didn't ask about my brother, but we're here we are talking about him. He did stunts on a movie called Prey, which the trailer just dropped, and it's actually the fifth Predator, fifth Predator movie that comes out later this year. And then he was just here a couple weeks ago doing stunts on a show called Joe Pickett, which I had never heard of. But oddly enough, it's, um, I think it's an Amazon, no, it's Paramount. It's on Paramount Plus. Uh, I think this is season two that they're filming. He came and did stunt work one day on that show. And at the job where I work, some of the other techs actually built a car for the show as well. A uh, police, like one of the emergency services here were decommissioned the car. So we tore it apart and they were just going to sell it. They ended up selling it to Paramount and it ended up coming back to us and had to be built back up with like light bars and stuff for the same show. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah. I have done acting. I'm moving right along. Bottle caps are delicious. You're not wrong about that. We need to, we need, to, we need to Terry they They're around somewhere. You can find them. Premium Starlink, 599 hardware. Okay, wait a second. But uh, where'd it go? $500 refundable deposit, $2,500 for Nintendo. What? Yeah, see, that's not happening. Thank you for the information, though, Nancy. I appreciate it. Yikes. Victoria Baker says, good night. Have a nice weekend. No, you. No, you have a nice weekend. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> how did I not end up working in media? I used to take TVs apart. That's how I ended up working where I do. I don't know. I'm glad I didn't. I mean, with the way the world is right now, I'm glad I'm not in media. Ooh, but... I did get told, like, oh, you'd be a good radio host or this, that, and the other thing. I just didn't pursue it. My mom wanted me to go to, um, well, I went to a seminar here in Calgary years ago for the Vancouver Film School, which was super cool. And they've actually pumped out a lot of people that work in Hollywood, uh, especially on the animation side. Like, I, I, I remember, this is going to be, like, take this with a grain of salt as well. Um, Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm seeing Francisco saying no mods. Yeah, I guess everybody's busy. Mm -hmm. 
they went and worked for DreamWorks for like uh, on stuff like Shrek and whatnot, which was which was pretty cool. And then my mother also was very interested in me. <laughs> my mom wanted me to go to. Oh gosh, mom, are you still here? Was it San Antonio? Oh no, no, it was Arizona. It was the Zachy Gordon Institute for Film. Uh, which I think when her and my dad went were down there once, they actually went and looked at the school, and that was like a possibility. But again, I just when I was younger, I didn't have the drive. I thought I knew everything. I wanted to do what I wanted to do, which was really nothing at the end of the day, and just like make poor make poor choices, live my life. I mean, I thought I was living my best life, and I, I was. I got no regrets really in that sense because it kind of like has all led me here. And I've talked about this. I'm finally living a life that I sort of really wanted to live. So, but that's one of the reasons that I didn't actually do it. I just, I had no focus. I have, a, I have the face for radio. <laughs> hmm. Martin one is here. Southwest Ohio. Got a day of 73 in light rain after the week of hell temps in the 90s with feels, which feels like over 100. Yeah. Welcome to the live stream, Martin. And lovely to have you here, my dear. I hope you're having a great Friday. I hope it's cooled off. Well, you just said it cooled off. I hope it's continuing to cool off because, yikes, Kevin is here. We can continue talking about the cool things now. Hi, Kevin. Uh, how did I react to the Depp versus Heard case? I think we deserve the win because Amber's lawyers were a little confusing. <laughs> Fluxbird. I, I mean, I, I probably did what the majority of people did, which was just watch, like, the highlight videos, the highlight reel of a celebrity trial. Ugh, what have our lives come to? Um, 100%. I'm not going to deep dive into that, but I, that whole, the Me Too movement, I think, got way off tangent. It very quickly just became take everybody at their word, no matter what they say. And so I think it was good that what happened with that trial happened. I think that was very important. And I don't think that she behaved in her best way. I actually make a comment about it at the beginning of the next video. <laughs> Matt, you are a really personable human being. It comes out very cleanly in what you talk about, your standards. I'm always up for touching base with Matt and your world. I appreciate that, Pammy. I try to touch base as often as I can, but if you've probably noticed, the videos are getting fewer and further between. That's just going to happen till I can sort of like sort out my schedule and have more time to do it. But don't think that doesn't mean I don't enjoy doing what I'm doing. Be gone the era of bad choices we must pass through. Yeah, part of the journey, you're 100% right. D bro lig, welcome to the live stream. <laughs> Tell them to knock it off and go. Oh, you're talking to Kevin. Uh, who needs a boot for what? Oh, yeah, I guess Kevin's my only mod right now. Eh? If that's the case, we're all doomed. What? It's Debbie F's birthday, too? What? No. Hello from Hamilton, longtime lurker, LJA. I'm going to throw you up there. As long as you, oh, you got a kitty cat. You're right, Cards a kitty cat. Look at that pretty kitty cat. That looks like he or she could actually be Stella's sister. I think I've told the story before. When I adopted Stella, I didn't adopt her. I bought her. She came from Petland. That's why she's a weirdo. Um, she was in a litter, and there was only two of them left. It was her and her sister. I think her sister's name was Aries, which I really liked because it was like, eh, Final Fantasy. Um, and she looked a lot more like that cat in your icon. And I went home with my girlfriend at the time, and we talked about it, obviously, because I think at that point we had Shadow, Billy. That might have been it. Maybe just Shadow and Billy at that point, the two male cats. Uh, and then we were debating getting another one, and I really wanted Aries. And we debated about it so much that when we finally decided, okay, let's get the, uh, let's get the little runt, when we went back there, Aries wasn't there. You were a runner-up. <laughs> and that's how I ended up with Stella. But yeah, looks like they could be related. Very cute. Uh, Daniel, I did that by accident, but you sold your house and what? I mean, congratulations. That's good. I think that we're going to be seeing a lot more of that. I'm going to be trying to put together a um, video, hopefully for next week. Like I'm hoping to shoot it tomorrow. Um, it's going to be like the top seven essentials for vehicle dwelling. But based on the fact that I don't know how people are doing it right now with the gas prices where they're at, with the inflation on like everything else. And then here in my neck of the woods, as far as I know, from what I'm hearing from people that own houses, the interest rates are going to be going up like three and a half percent every year for the next four years. Uh, landlords that rent are either increasing the rent or they're selling. They're, gonna, they're telling their tenants that they're selling the property. And then once they move out, they relist it for rent at a much higher rate. Like there's just some craziness happening. And with what with the people that I talk to at work and in the private side of my life, 
I just feel like I need to like do something because I think there's a lot of people that are going to be staring down the barrel of vehicle dwelling as a possibility. So I want to put together a little something to sort of like say, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and here's some suggestions from me. And I'll tell you, I dwell a lot around Walmart parking lots and I know it's summertime. Yes, there are a lot more campers and RVs in the lot but there are also a lot more like small car dwellers. And I don't think that's just a camping choice. <clears throat> that was a tangent. Hello. I think I need another lucky almost. In a camper trailer. Awesome. I see the end of your message there, Daniel. I cannot begin to try to say your name. Oh, no, I'm going to try. J'avoue de man S. You are charming, entertaining, and all three of your personalities are a joy. I only have three? <laughs> you you clearly have not heard Yuri yet. Yuri is when Russia invades and we got to push broom. I'm very good at pushing broom. Please don't send me to Gulag. Maybe that's for, maybe you're already aware. I don't know, but welcome to the live stream. Mention me if you need me. Kevin, I need you. I saw people living in tents by the river. Yeah, there's a thing, there's a whole like road down here in downtown Calgary that runs along the drop -on, drop in center or the mustard seed or whatever it is. Um, and it's just, it's just packed like wall to wall tents, right? Like it's something's going on. And I know there's a lot of people that are being like, Oh no, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. Um, and people might have to make decisions. Like I understand that there are a lot of people that probably are fine. Um, but I think what we're going to see happen over the next little bit, it's already happening, but we're going to see more people stopping, stopping, driving, taking public transit, moving in together and that's just the start how we're like we're hopefully that's it and hopefully this all sort of peters out like that's what i hope right i don't want to see prices continue to rise and people lose their their homes and their jobs like i had no work today again that could be more related to the time of year and mechanics slow down in july and august for sure so i'm not like just fear-mongering or anything but it's very concerning right so stop crying wolf no, I need you so bad, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, and Georgina says it's all by design. And I, there's a part of me that 100% agrees with that. Like, there's something else going on. We're never going to be able to completely stop it or figure out what it is. So from where I'm at, I just want to try to help people understand that living in your vehicle, not the worst thing in the world. And you can't do it, right? Uh, worst case scenario, I would I move in with my cousin and my parents? Of course, 100%. Um, obviously, Lindsay's a bigger, a better option. Melissa, I'll throw that up there. That's not the one. I, oh, it's Vine Wrath. Sorry. Uh, I have to do a hike with Foresty. That would be awesome. Foresty would demolish me on a hike, dude. I drink way too much beer. But that would be a cool little, a little meetup. But I'm not. He's so busy doing his own thing. He's still like superstar. Um, yeah, I've had this conversation with Lindsay, right? Because she's feeling the, the, the crunch, right? Like it's just everything goes up. You know what? Well, I shouldn't say everything goes up. Everything's going up except for the pay rate, right? So it's just like, yeah, Lindsay and I have had that conversation. I've obviously toyed with the idea of a sticks and bricks specifically because of my daughter. And oddly enough, I was looking at rental properties in Calgary the other day out of curiosity. Uh, I have never seen more ads or like not ads because it's actual people, but I've never seen more requests for shared accommodation. Every time like in my 37 years, well, I guess it'd be more like what my 27 or 20 years of renting before I moved into my van because I just did condos, apartments, and I rented houses and whatnot. Um, and I would always use websites like rentfaster.ca and whatnot here in Canada. You just it's one of those, it's a stereotypical website. You can go in there, you can put in how much you want to pay a month, minimum. Sorry, lucky's coming back up. Minimum, maximum, pets allowed, utilities included, yeah, yeah, all those filters, and then it gives you a map of the city and it shows you all of the the rental properties, right? And you can click through and we can look at all the photos and contact landlord and blah, blah, blah. So I did that the other day out of curiosity and yeah, almost every single result was shared accommodation. Like, please move in and help me pay either my mortgage or my rent because I can't. I It's hard to not see the forest for the trees. Ah. Hmm. Uh, if Steve Wallace can do a high. That's true. That was a good video. <laughs> James Michael, honest question. Fixed bed or pull out in van? Can't decide. Uh, okay, James, uh, this is interesting because I don't know if you know my setup. My setup is, uh, my bed is a pull out. It's on 500 pound drawer slides. It's got a piano hinge that runs the length of 
two six foot by two foot boards so that I can turn it into a couch. You want to know how many times I turn it into a couch? About this many times since I moved into the van. Not worth it in my opinion. If you are living in it full time. If you're just building something to go camping in and be a weekend warrior, then it might be worth it and really cool for you to have the feature to turn your bed into a couch and then have a TV so you can sit there and watch your TV or play your video games or whatever. Living in it full time, you need that storage under the bed. And that is my number one regret. I've smoked my head on this cabinet more times than I care to share, but that bed is still my biggest regret. It's just unnecessary. Like, it's nice that I can fold it. I need to be able to, the folding function is fine because I need to be able to get to my, I have a wheel well box over the driver's side rear wheel for storage and whatnot. And then all, all my electrical system is under there. So I do need to be able to get there, but the drawer slides, not if you're living in it full time. Uh, what do we got here? Steve can't hold a candle to your hiking prowess. Mine? I don't, know, I don't have any hiking prowess, bro but I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, if I ever get to build my cargo trailer, I'm going to build a bed that can lift up to the roof and back down. Kind of like a uh, like a Murphy bed. Happy pants is that what you're talking about? Like, you know, like the disappearing. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be great in a cargo van. I've had, I've been toying with that idea too. And by toying, I mean like I briefly thought about it the other day when we were camping. It would be really cool to get like a little cargo trailer, kind of like Sarah Rose has, that she hauls behind her forerunner. Um, tank girl for all like, Ends and purposes. Hi, Dory. Ah, she's a, she's a well, I don't want to get yeah, the news anchor. That's what I'm going to say in Florida. How you doing, Dory? Um, but yeah, I was toying with the idea of getting like a little cargo trailer and building a guest house to, to haul behind Lucky. Oh, that'd be funny. Might probably be more humorous than functional, but you never know. No, I haven't seen Wayne in a while. I think the mafia did away with him, Francisco. Sorry, dude. <laughs> so, what am I fixing the bed? Uh, where was that? Who, who asked that? Lynn. So when are you fixing the bed? I don't know. There's a couple of my bed. So Lynn, yeah, Lynn's on my Patreon. So she knows my bed's trying to kill me <laughs> because of the folding couch feature. I've got four pieces of foam that are six feet by two feet. And that causes a big crevasse where your butt falls into along with the rest of your body. And I've got extremely busted shoulders and back right now i've actually been going and seeing a massage therapist because of it i need to go see an acupuncturist because of it i've got what well, i mentioned it in one video they thought it was carpal tunnel i still not convinced but my thumb has been asleep for like a month now um not like asleep asleep i still have feeling but it's just that weird feeling in it anyways i don't know it's it's that coupled with my job as a mechanic has not i've not been kind on my back lately um and so I was falling asleep in this crack. That was causing me a lot of strain. I bought a memory foam topper, like a one and a half inch topper. So that's on top of it now, which helps a little bit. Long story short, it's still BS. And I need to figure out a solution. Unfortunately, my bed size is a custom size. They don't make mattresses in the dimensions that I made my bed. Um, I've talked to Get Her Better who is a huge DIY nut in the best way possible. And she's offered a couple solutions where I could buy like a coil spring mattress from Ikea and we might be able to shamble it together with like wire cutters and a Sawzall. Sawzall, <laughs> which is something that I guess she did in one of her guest rooms in her home. So that's pretty cool. So that, I might start with that, but again, money is just so bad right now. I have, it's like paycheck to paycheck and, uh, and it's just, it's very, like she sent me an ad at Ikea. I think, how much was it? Are you still even still here, Kayla? I don't even know. I haven't seen you in chat for a while. It was like 160 bucks and I didn't pull the trigger on it then. That was about a month ago. And now it's just like, I can't even imagine spending that kind of money. So it's all just, have I tried a chiropractor? I see Georgina asking. Yeah, that's where I got the first diagnosis for my uh, possible carpal tunnel. Um, I, a couple visits with him didn't feel like it was going anywhere. So I, uh, I stopped. I probably need to go see like a doctor and just talk to him about the, the, the numbness in my hand. Which again, I will. Don't, don't, don't panic. And don't mom me. My mom moms me. Uh, but I will. Leopard Girl's here. Hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you in the chat. You said you would try to make it late. Maybe this must be late. You are here. Uh, cut a poodle noodle and wait. What did you say, Sharissa? You said this to me before. This sounds familiar. Cut a poodle noodle in half and glue it to that cabinet. No more banks on the noggin. Except that it's a door. Right? Like it, it opens. I, I have to take it off every time I want to open it. Uh, okay, I gotta, that was a lot of talking and not enough drinking beer. Hang on. Guess what I need to do now? Go into my fancy refrigerator. There's a. I was going to go into the fridge 
and get a beer. I don't know if I can show this. this when Matt starts to move the computer, this is when stuff starts to break. Look at this Tubber's cat. Just taking up all the room on the fridge. Penny! Penny, I need into the fridge. She doesn't. She does not care. She's like, yeah, and human, you dummy. Uh, any good movies on Disney Plus? I wouldn't know. I don't have Disney Plus. I'm at the end of my rope with Disney as well. <laughs> it's just, I will watch old Disney movies, but anything new, I will probably see Thor Love and Thunder. It's going to take a lot of quality content from Disney for me to give a crap about them again. Revenge of the Normal People. Need a chiropractor like mine? Call him Dr. God. Even adjusted my dog. Did he adjust your dog out of existence? I'm not following this. <laughs> Uh, Lillian is here. Hi, Lillian. Nice to see you. Hope you're having a good Friday. Just spent $2,500 on a 300 amp hour battery, MPP charge controller, and soundproof material for van. Yeah, that sounds like it's up there in quality and cost, sir. Well, obviously, you said it was. <laughs> uh, can you heavy duty Velcro your foam sections together or maybe upholstery glue? I could, but then I'm just like, it's you're getting to that that arts and crafts section where then it's like glued together or I guess Velcro might be the better way to go, but I've cut. So one of them was a complete six by four foam. The other two were sent to me by soul searching and they're not cut. So they're nice and straight, but the one I cut, I literally cut with this jank ass bread knife. <laughs> and it's just like, <laughs> so the reason I say all that is like, even if I did Velcro together, I need to be able to get them apart easier when I do fold the bed clothes to get to the batteries and whatnot. So I don't know. Those are all good suggestions, but I just don't know. Justin Collins. Howdy, Matt. I'm watching you on my stream. Oh, my steam deck. Fancy boy. How is that steam deck? Is it worth it or not? The Mandalorian was good. You are right about that, Jennifer. Um, but I watched critical drinkers review of Obi-Wan and I am very glad I didn't watch that show. Oh, yeah, beer drink. I totally forgot my beer drink. Thank you for reminding me. Ah, the ones in the case are still cold. We don't have to disturb Penny yet. We're going to rent a storage unit and park next to it. This all costs money, Rocio, but thank you for the suggestion. Mm. Maybe stick foam on your head. What? Oh, <laughs> for the cover. Thanks, Joseph. It's a brilliant idea. <laughs> uh. Sounds like a mini rebuild. Yeah, exactly. And Lucky probably will. I probably will have to do a couple rebuilds as my van life in Lucky goes on for sure. Like I've already sort of made the decision that I am going to reduce the water station at some point just because I'd like to have a little bit more room to walk in from the side door. Although if I redesign it and then I stick the fridge there, that won't bloody matter. So see, I don't know. I need to start drawing stuff and planning it out. I did that before I even had my van. I was making like um, floor plans in Photoshop and whatnot. I need to do that again. Uh, Summoner says Obi-Wan was amazing, except for the fact that I guess he didn't kill Darth Vader when he clearly had an opportunity to, which is just like, that to me just screams... I mean, I know he can't because they got to get to A New Hope, but like he, they, they wrote a scene where he had the opportunity to do it and he didn't do it. You know, not okay. You should watch the Critical Drinkers review of that show. <laughs> Sounds like mm -mm, no good. I'm jealous. I'm still waiting for my Steam Deck. Oh, I didn't realize they were on back order. They're very popular, apparently. Uh, Anna, thank you so much for the super sticker. Is it, what is that? Euros? Pounds? I appreciate that. A little it's the EU dollar sign. No, it's just I don't know. See? But thank you very much. I appreciate it, Anna. The janky bread knife. Love it. Mini Salsa. Mini Salsa. Yeah, replacing the Swiss Army knife. Yeah, right? It's, I, do, I do not recommend that janky bread knife. That's for darn sure. <laughs> yeah but he wasn't supposed to kill him yeah well i don't know it's fine like, if people enjoy it that's cool i'm like i said i'm done with disney and there was all that other hoopla with the actress in it and whatnot it's just i don't know. apparently the writing was just horrible with her character i just yeah i don't have time i mean again i, I barely have time for anything i just finished ozark season four last night and it's been out for a while next up on the docket will probably be stranger things because i really enjoy that and i hear that the season four is really good so but yeah that gives you a little bit of a idea of where i am in terms of topical stuff just finished ozark been out for like what almost a year maybe not quite that long 
Uh, could do a small water tank where my spare tire went. You're talking about where my spare tire went, James? 100%. I'm thinking about doing my gas can there or like my diesel tank for my diesel heater. But my boss also mentioned to me the other day uh, that he thinks he has a gas diesel heater kicking around the shop that he'll sell to me for cheap that I can just then tie in, sorry, to Lucky's gas tank, which might be even better than the diesel. We will see. Uh, love yeah I'm here I'm hearing great things about stranger things I like the first season umbra of umbrella Academy I never it didn't I liked it for what it was but not enough to watch season two and the best and I guess so obviously I haven't watched season three but I have seen the footloose scene which is amazing because they put that on YouTube uh that was fun but yeah I don't even remember enough about that show to go back and and give it a shot again uh Patty crane is here hi Patty welcome to the live stream happy Friday. Have I seen the new Doctor Strange? Yes, Sharissa, I did see the new Doctor Strange, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was really well done. That was a movie much more suited to Sam Raimi than any of the original Spider-Man movies were. I've got my issues with Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3 with Tobey Maguire. Most people really like those movies, and that's cool, and I know I get why. I was, I'm was i a huge Spider-Man nerd. I read I, that was my comic when I was growing up. I've talked about this before. Um, so I don't, I'm not a big fan of those Sam Raimi Spider-Mans. But I thought Doctor Strange was a great time. It was a little long, but I did enjoy it. It's got its problems like most of these Marvel superhero movies do. Um, but, uh, yeah, for what it was, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the Terminal List. Somebody said that the Terminal List was really good. I do like me some Chris Pratt, so... I might need to check that out. Uh, Maritza is having a drink. Oh, here, yeah, you're having a drink with us and everybody else here. Welcome to the live stream, Maritza. Good to have you here. Freaking loved Ozark. Yeah, Cindy, uh, me too. I really enjoyed it. I thought season four was great. Uh, the ending caught me off guard. I was like, oh, I'm not going to like talk about it here. But that was one of those endings where I had to look it up and be like, really? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it was thoroughly enjoyable. I really liked the way it all played out. Of course, it was just like, I'm not Yes, Cindy Ozark was great. It's still too new to talk about spoilers. Toby is Spider-Man yuck. Yep. Yeah, we, we agree on something there, Jennifer. Uh, and uh, Matt, hi, I'm sorry late to the party. You're never late. You arrive precisely when you mean to. <laughs> uh. I eat Peaky Blinders. I keep hearing Peaky Blinders is really good. I've never watched that show. I don't know why it sounds like it'd be right up my alley. And I really like Cillian Murphy. But yeah, again, Matthew, you could always have a burger. Why? Why? What happened? I missed something. Why are you telling me to eat a burger? I'm going to make food later, probably, Leopard Girl. Some pasta. If it ever cools down out here, it's not cooling down. I wonder if it's cool enough outside. Let's check the temperature. Because right now my fan's on exhaust. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything. I mean, I'm sure it's exhausting some hot air out, which is nice, but. Oh, sorry, everybody. Hang on a second. I've just got a text from my daughter's mom. <laughs> the overlap seems like it would cause issues. Why not if you're there? Um, Sorry. Oh, yeah. Checking the temperature. That's what I was supposed to be doing. 25 degrees Celsius. I'm wondering because I make you turn the fan on to in. Maybe it'll blow nice, cool evening air. But it's not nice, cool evening air yet. Uh, you missed my first note. It's me. Oh, Pat. So have you get to entertain me on my Monday. It's Monday for you. What? Where are you? You're on Mars. Hi, Pat. Uh, the Discovery of a Witches. Oh, I haven't even heard of that show, Rocio. That's cool. Kevin Hart and the Man from Toronto was good. It's on Netflix. I keep seeing that. That's on my feed. I added it to my list along with some new show, new movie with Pierce Brosnan um, and Dave Batista. If I ever get to them, that's a completely different story. Nancy, yeah, The Witcher. Again, I haven't. I loved the first season of The Witcher. Haven't watched the second season yet. I moved into a van in between seasons and things just got all out of control. Uh, <laughs> van Life Plus Matt, why are you yelling at me? Or are you just saying plus Matthew? What's, what's going on, Lucky? <laughs> Did I miss something? Uh, I don't think I missed anything. You've been, oh yeah, you know, you're screaming my name a lot. You just like to scream my name, apparently, don't you, Lucky? I, I'm not going to scroll up. Just say it again. I'll pay attention. Doctor Strange was a nice directing change. Up. Go ahead, Lucky. Type it again. 
Uh, it was good. Just watched it last night. Brosnan is looking old. Yeah, James Bond is looking old, isn't he? Debbie has been trying to ask you a question. <laughs> of course, Debbie. Why isn't Debbie yelling at me then? Where is it? Mario, Mario, Mario. That's my name. Don't wear it out. I got to see Jurassic World. Like you got like the new one, Rocio. I, uh, mm. If that's the one you're talking about, I saw it day one. I saw it third, like sneak preview night because I love Jurassic Park and I really like Jurassic World, the first one. I thought it was a great organic, natural progression of what would happen in the world. Um, and Debbie's giving up. <laughs> uh, she's like, yeah, sure, he sees. But this new Jurassic World, the best part was seeing the old cast come back. That was, and the rest of the movie was, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. But as a movie, it was a hot mess. Or it's, whoa, I don't know what they were thinking. I tried. They really tried for sure. And like I said, I enjoyed it, but and I'm like, it's very good, it's very well received. Um, but it was yeah, it was definitely the worst of the three new movies for sure. I'm, I'm stubborn. See, I'm watching now, and nobody's asking questions. Everybody's just going out of their way to not ask the question. Uh, my mom saw Elvis. My mom and dad saw Elvis on her birthday. Um, she said it was very good. I need to go see that with Chris. We've got plans to see it. I, I would look, I would love to see it. Uh, up north of 60 is here. Hello. How you doing? Welcome to the live stream. I hope, hopefully you're, fa you're still north of 60 where it's a little cooler because in Calgary it's very hot right now, dude. <laughs> Uh, has anyone seen Helen Hunt lately? If it wasn't for her voice, you'd never recognize her. Yeah, I, she popped up in some sort of like horror or psychological thriller movie not too long ago. Unrecognizable, as far as I was concerned. Uh, Kevin's back for good now. Now we can continue. Thank goodness. We don't need dinos in the world. <laughs> uh, Park in the shade of a big building. Hello, Christina, man. How are you? How is Destination Van Life? He's doing pretty good. I haven't talked to him in a few days, but he's really enjoying his new job. Um, he moved. He's doing the same thing. He's still working at a dispensary. Well, he wasn't. He was kind of working at a dispensary before. It was a conglomeration between weed paraphernalia and a dispensary. Um, but now he's doing that. He's working at one a little closer to where he's currently living. And he seems like he's doing really well. He's doing a live stream on Sunday, which should be a lot of fun. So that's pretty cool. And he's going to uh, bring everybody up to date on his first week at the new job. <laughs> live stream has been flawless. Yeah. Cause I haven't touched the computer, right? Thanks. <laughs> Mark the paint guy collaboration. Anything you want? I haven't heard from Mark. I don't know where he is. Um, so no, we were supposed to do one in July. It's July. But I think he's still in BC. So, yeah. Nothing yet. Yeah, I hope you feel better too, Sarah Rose. She's, we've been talking a little bit on Instagram and uh, and Patreon. Fighting a good old vid there, girl. You got this. You got this. Take some zinc and some vitamin D. You good. Oh, that's what the question was. Yeah. So there you go, Debbie. We did answer your question. <laughs> Lynn is out. Don't work too hard, Lynn. Have yourself a fantastic weekend once you get there, my dear. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard from Mark in a while. He sends me the odd, like, sort of, like, gif or meme on Instagram, but I haven't heard from him in a little bit. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, I mentioned it earlier. So let's talk about this now for a quick second. This shirt. <laughs> Obviously, I like Dixon, and I probably have an unhealthy obsession with Dixon. Um, but I just, right before the live stream, I put a post over on my Instagram account, which if you're not following me over there and you want to see an uh, extremely unhealthy amount of photos with me wearing Dixons, go over there and give me a follow. Because <laughs> that's pretty much all I put up over there. It's just, uh, I don't work with Dixon. They don't um, sponsor me or anything like that. I just, I really like their products. I've always liked plaid and flannel and whatnot. Um, and they're bam this is a bamboo shirt. It's really nice in these temperatures for sure. And I don't, when I make a post, I tag them. And of course it's, that's all well and good, but this shirt, especially this shirt is called the 65 roses shirt. Um, what I was saying is I don't normally try to push people to go buy 
on the site because you know what I mean. If you, some people have, some people have reached out to me and said, "Hey Matt, because of you, I went over there and I bought this X, Y, and Z, and that's super cool." Hi, Hope Boss. Nice to see you here, Victoria. How you doing, my dear? Um, this shirt, sixty-five roses. So this is a cool story. Um, well, it's cool to me. A lot of people on here would be like, "Yeah, we already knew that." But like I said, this whole sixty-five roses thing. Dixon announced this shirt. I think it was on Monday or Tuesday of this week. Um, as they usually do on Instagram because they're great at marketing and really getting my attention. Hmm. But they said, this is coming out. This is launching on Tuesday or whatever. It's a 65 Roses Bamboo. And they said, back in 1965, there was a four-year-old boy. I don't know how accurate this is or even, it might just be the earliest account of it. A four-year-old boy got diagnosed with cystic fibrosis and he couldn't say that because let's get serious. He ended up saying 65 Roses. And I guess that's a thing that has just stuck. I didn't even know that. So they, not, they launched this shirt, and when you purchase one of these shirts, part of your purchase goes towards the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation, uh, which I thought was pretty cool on Dixon's part for doing. Plus, it's a really nice shirt. I like purple. Um, and I liked learning that that's what 65 Roses meant. It led me to discover a brand new song called 65 Roses. I can't remember the original artist's name. She's from Australia. But then it was covered by another Australian band called The Wolverines, um, and it's, it tells the story about a little girl whose older sister gets diagnosed with cystic, with cystic fibrosis. And she can't say that. The, the little sister can't. So she says 65 roses. And then she doesn't understand why flowers are causing her sister to not be able to come out and play and be short of breath and all of that stuff. And then as, she go, as the song goes on, she gets older and she realizes that it was cystic fibrosis. And then she and, and learns what it is. And then she wishes that her sister actually had 65 roses instead. It's a really cute song. Uh, so it introduced me to that song and the whole idea of this is what parents nowadays will also tell their children that are diagnosed with it. This is what it's called. This is what you can say because they have such a hard time saying the words. And even more funny and ignorant enough, one of my favorite Canadian bands is a band called The Trues. And they have a song called 65 Roses as well. It's unrelated to that Australian song. And it was all for um, their manager who had passed away from cystic fibrosis. And I have loved this song for years and had no idea <laughs> that that's what it was. I, I mean, I didn't even know it was a tribute to their manager. I don't usually go out of my way to look up the meanings of songs. I just love the lead singer's voice. And I love the way they put the song together. And it was a very touching song. Um, but to have this new shirt company or this new like company, I was gonna say shirt company, but they make other things too. So to open my eyes to that fact and learn something as an adult was super cool and something that was really sweet. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested, I would highly recommend you got there's Dixon.ca for Canada and Dixon.com for the States. When I went and bought this, when it first launched, two sizes were already sold out within 10 minutes of it going live. But if it's something that you think you'd want to support, again, I don't, I, I, no kickback for me. I just really think that's cool. So I'm going to stop yapping about it now and go back to the comments. But uh, yeah, uh, the trues, the trues, it's spelled uh, the T R E W S. They're actually a band from the Maritimes kind of like a band like another canadian band called great big c when great big c is very celtic based a lot of a lot of celtic irish influence in the way they sing the trues not at all but they come from the same region in canada um but i've listened to the trues my whole life growing up they got some i don't know why this is i love how the entire time i was telling this story this bloody comment was on the screen thank you very much for the super sticker love girl <laughs> i appreciate it angie asmr you are here welcome to the live stream um that's funny that's that's funny that that was there the whole time but whatever um, I'm moving right along. What else we got going on here? True's got it. Thanks. Yeah, they're great. They are going to be my song Sunday. So if you're not part of my Patreon, every Sunday I do song Sunday and I post a link to a song that is either that meant something to me throughout my life or has affected me in that week. I'm pretty sure for all of my patrons that are here right now, y'all know what the song on Sunday is going to be, 100%. Um, but yeah, that's some fun we have over on Patreon. Matthew, speaking of Dixon, my birthday. Yeah, I got the 12 gauge. It's up in the cupboard there for you. You just got to come get it, Lucky, and it's all yours. <laughs> uh, so, oh, Andrea wants to listen to some 5440. 
I never really got into them too much, but oh, Michelle Davis is here. I didn't see you, darling. Thank you. Welcome to the live stream. Yap, yap, yappity, yap. Yeah, Rocio, I do it a lot. Welcome to Van Life Plus. <laughs> first band. Oh, the first band you did security for was 5440. Gotcha. All right. Cindy Trent is out of here. Have yourself an awesome weekend. Thank you for stopping by the live stream, my dear. I have created a Spotify playlist of your Sunday songs. That's really cool, Karen. Oh, thank you. And yeah, I've talked about... Oh, hang on a second. I'll put this up here. And I'll get back to this in a second. Um, Don't tempt me, Matthew. Come get me, Wyoming. We're, it's like the same. You'll, you'll leave Wyoming. You'll get to Alberta and be like, why? What the, it's the same shit. Um, oh, no, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, Karen. Yeah, about the playlist. Yeah, so with those songs that I put up on Sunday, some of them will lead in to the vlogs because I mentioned, I remember mentioning in my BC live that when I get to my season ending video or my, well, my, yeah, the season finale videos that I will do because I am structuring my YouTube channel in well, chapters, not seasons. I will actually, I'm not going to monetize the finale video. It'll probably be, let's knowing me, it'll probably be close to like an hour long video, but I'm going to lean more into my movie making side, the way that I used to make my movies with my friends. I would use real music. And I can tell you right now, 100%, some of those songs on the song Sundays are going to be in at least the chapter two finale. I don't know what's going to happen with chapter three. It's over a year away. Matt, what's your, oh, my little girl's favorite song right now. Oh, man. She's got a lot. Um, she really is good at doing the wheels on the bus. She can actually do the motions like open and closed, open and closed, and the beep, beep, beep. She loves that. Um, there was another one that she does a lot with her mom. She was just singing the other night when we dropped her off. Oh, head and shoulders, knees and toes. She can actually do it. I guess she was just she was with her mom the other day and just unprovoked. It wasn't on the TV or anything. She just started doing it, and her mom was just blown away that she knew not only the head and shoulders, knees and toes, but eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. She's two. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Great question. Thank you. Oh, Aaron is here. Hello, Aaron the DJ. Aren't you supposed to be DJing? It's Friday night. Welcome to the live stream, dude. Uh, can we see your girls? It's a okay. Next adventure. I did see you come in. I don't think I said load hello to you. Uh, Penny's on the fridge. Let's, yeah, sure. Let's disturb the fat cat and we'll ruin my night. Come here, Penny. Grab this hefty heated ball of fur in the 27 degree heat and hold her up. Say hello, Penny. Hi. I know you're very disturbed right now, aren't you? Say hello. Sorry, you were the one that was in reach. <laughs> I know it's cold in here. We may, I may have to run the van a little bit, you guys, just to get the air conditioning. You know what? Let's do that. And then you guys tell me how loud it gets. If it's super obnoxious, we'll just do it for like five minutes. But it's pretty bloody hot in here right now. Okay, that's as loud as it's going to get. Let me know how much that affected all of this audio. And let me make sure I don't run out of gas. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I need, sorry, I see that, Kevin. Maybe I need to get YouTube membership. I don't know. Is that put something people would prefer? Anyway, um, James Michael, we're putting up your walls in Lucky Easy. No, because <laughs> I was a stubborn idiot that insisted on doing it by himself. I could have asked my dad, my brother. I could ask Chris to help me. My buddy Mike probably would have helped me as well. But I'm just like, when I get into a job, I just want it done. So, uh, yeah, cutting around my wheel wells and then getting them up there. The walls were definitely easier then the ceiling, because I did the ceiling by my bloody self as well. But yeah, if you're going to do wall paneling, like big sheets as opposed to like, you know, strips of paneling, get some help. Unless you try to be a superhero like me and you just live with the frustration. I haven't changed my Patreon list link to what, Kevin? Oh, Aaron's out already. Bye, Aaron. A little bit of white noise. Okay. Let me know if it gets too bad. Hmm. Uh, hope us as I look good with a tan. Thank you, darling. It's also just sweat, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've always tanned really well. Um, drives Lindsay crazy, <laughs> but yeah, I spend a day in the sun and just <clears throat> I look Italian. I'm, I'm not, I swear. This isn't quite there yet. I've only been on like one really sunny camping trip at Premier Lake, as people on Patreon know. What do you, what do you mean, Kevin? What do I mean? Because it still says van life. Ah, so what? 
who can it all leads to the same thing i see what you're saying i, I knew you're going to say the van life movie aaron says i'm so busy better to be busy than bored dude insulation insulation see jackie jackie knows insulation insulation it was a long video it also took me it also i mean if you're talking when you, sorry to go back to the walls question um i only spoke to the panels i didn't even talk about the insulation which was an even bigger nightmare uh that took me an entire week to do my insulation panels if you want to see why eh, go check out that video it's in the van build playlist oh here comes the other one yeah come say hi do you want to make an appearance hi See, show everybody that you're doing better. Don't scratch the dicks in. <laughs> Say hi. Come here. Look. Over here. What's the matter with you? You know, you're very dark. It's harder for you to show up on the camera. Without the proper lighting. Say hi. Hi. Uh, those old videos of the build were great. Thank you, Joseph. I appreciate that, my man. A week. Oh, great. Looks like okay. But hang on, Kevin. The only reason it took me a week is just the, the way I did it, right? So I did my insulation bores, bores, boards with spray foam. So the spray foam and then the Pink Panther board. So I used the spray foam as the adhesive, which worked great, but it has to be held in place, right? So I had my my tire jack and boards going every which way, holding it up. And it takes a while for it to set. It's hard for me to say whether or not I do the same thing if I did it again. Because initially, as soon as I finished that job, I was like, if I do this again, it's going to be spray adhesive, like Gorilla Glue or that 3M stuff. Um, but I don't know. Like, the insulation works really well in Lucky. Like, I don't need to wear clothes to bed in the middle of the winter. Yes, I've got my diesel heater going. But you know what I mean? And it even keeps the heat out to a good degree. So I don't know. It's hard for me to say if I wouldn't use the spray foam again. Cause I don't, I'll never know if everything that I did to insulate lucky was the reason why everything's so good. Or maybe it's just because I did so many things. I did the bed liner spray on the bare walls, then the spray foam, then the foam panels. So, you know, I definitely went out of my way to do a lot. Like, I better put this up here before she loses her mind again. Hello, Debbie. Why does the guac shirt on Dixon say fist instead of Dixon? I don't know. Like, does this, oh, does it say fist here? Sorry, you can't see my, my breast. Does it say, you mean here, Debbie, on the pocket? If that's the case, that means it's a crossover. Um, so Dixon does crossovers with a lot of companies. Uh, Get or Better has the Slayer one. Um, so the, the, the band Slayer. Um, and I'm pretty sure it says Slayer over the pocket on hers. There's one shirt that just came out today. I think it was crossover with Black Fly. I'm not sure who they are. Um, so every once in a while with the crossover, they'll put the name of the crossover company on the pocket. Loved your camping series videos. Well, that's good because they're still in full swing, Angie. We got a lot more camping to come. 100%. Lindsay and I will probably camp right into September. And that's right where chapter two will probably end. I'm pretty sure the final camping trip of this year will be our return to Dinosaur Provincial Park, which if you've gone back and watched all of my videos from last year, sounds like you have, you probably know that Dinosaur Park was my favorite. Matt, how dramatic. Am I being dramatic? Are those babies? What is that? Oh, <laughs> yes. With my insulation boards up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, any plans on, hang on, what do you say? Any plans on putting together a parts list of what you used on the van build to save the rest of us a ton of time? <laughs> I guess I could do that. Um, I know I didn't have plans, but yeah, I'd have to rack my brain. Do you mean like build parts or tools or both? Yeah, you're very welcome, Hope Bus. Kayla's awesome. I've got a great relationship with her. She's become a very important person in my life. And she's got such a freaking little brain on her shoulders. She's always got such good ideas. We're in the process. I say we're in the process, which is a bit of an exaggeration for sure. But we're in the process of getting building me a screen door like she has on McGuffan, her van. Um, but it's a little bit more complicated because I've got the garbage bin on my door and whatnot. But she just like 
within a day, she's like, well, I came up with this idea. We can do this, this, and this here. Like watching her brain work is super cool. Uh, she's way more creative in that DIY sense than me. For me, I'd have to look up how everybody else has possibly done it on YouTube and then maybe adapt it to myself. But yeah, you're very welcome. Who else we got here? Wabora says, hello. Hello, Wabora. Crib tied one to one. As far as you know, sorry, that was the wrong one. As far as you know, um, so yeah, the, the crib videos that have gone live have been what? Oh, I don't even remember. Oh, Sandy McNabb and what was it? <laughs> Where was I just? Oh, Red Lodge. Uh, but then there's the Beaver Minds game coming up. I don't think my Patreons know who won that game. And then, of course, the Premier Lake camping trip. I don't know. Nobody knows who won that game. Well, Lindsay and I know who won. I hope we keep it confidential. Sometimes I let my patrons know who won the crib game. Sometimes I don't. That's just one of those little perks that you get over on Patreon. Plus my dumb face almost every day. <laughs> it's either that or exploding your phone with a thousand questions. I would bet you. Uh, Debbie says, thanks for the info on the shirt. Now, can you answer my previous question about how many dicks and items you have? And do we need to do an intervention? I'll, I'll answer those in reverse. Uh, no, a lot. And there you go. I don't know actually how many Dixon's items I have. I could count each individual pair of socks. I've got a lot of Dixon socks, although I do not recommend their ankle socks if you've got big feet. I've got like 12 or 13 size feet, depending on the shoe. And I bought some ankle socks, which are good for like loafers. And why not like we wear shorts with low cut shoes? Those socks suck. See, I'm not sponsored by Dixon. I can tell you when something by them is garbage. Those are no good unless you've got smaller feet. Uh, but their like actual tube socks are great. I've replaced almost all of my socks with their black tube socks. Because living in the van, white socks is not something I recommend. And I've got a countless amount of flannels and bamboos. I, I don't know, Debbie. And two tumblers. It's not a problem. Though. Oh, there you go. She is, I'm listening best I can with the crap connection. You've got a crap. Are you on Rogers? Why did my voice do that? No, you've got, don't you have TELUS internet at your house? Why is your, oh, you're way over in the bush, I think. Uh, I can't say that I've done any dating, hope bus per se, right? It's not really, I've talked, spoken about this, um, like dating in the traditional sense. I imagine it would be fine as long as people are like on board with what you're doing, which I'm assuming they probably would be. Um, but yeah, I haven't gone out of my way to, to date exclusively. So I can't really speak to that. <laughs> Where are the Speedos? Bubba, I'm not putting on a pair of Speedos. I forgot the undies. I'm wearing a pair right now. Oh, and board shorts. I actually have now three pairs of board shorts. I got an order today. It's very American of me. I got the red, white, and blue shirt, the all-star, and the black op shorts, which one leg is the stripes from y'all's flag, and the other leg is the stars from y'all's flag. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to pop in and say hi to you, Matt, and you peoples. I've been very busy and quite absent on YouTube. My best to y'all. Best everyone. I have a hell of a long day tomorrow. Cheers. Go get some rest, Aaron. You deserve it. You have been burning the candlestick at both ends. I see your updates on Instagram, sir. Keep rocking it, my man. <sighs> Forgot the undies. Picks so they didn't happen, Matt. You're not getting undie picks of from me, Lucky. I, take, I draw the line somewhere. Well, you want the channel to get taken down again? Francisco says, as you should. I'm not sure what you're referring to, but I hope it's it. I hope you got my back and not Lucky Cash and Mamas, because that'd be weird. Oh, uh, Dragonfly just got here. Hi, Dragonfly. How you doing? Happy copy life. Amber's in the house. Hello, Amber. How are you? Welcome to the live stream. Yes, big swigs. Drink them if you got them. I got you, Aaron. No worries, my man. Yeah, the night is young. It's only 8 o'clock. I still have to make pasta. Pasta, pasta. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that was a good question. Yeah, Patty, how are the repairs going? Patty was having a whole bunch of issues. You were having issues with your solar too, right? Hasn't worked since day one or something. Yeesh. JP is here. Hello, JP. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, yeah, check out my only flans page. It is amazing. It's just me and flannels. That does not exist. Don't listen to Captain Happy Pants ever. 
I see you have a you have you have as few issues violating our flag code as most Americans. Hey man, I didn't make the shorts, but they're all black shorts and they look dope AF. So, mm. I mean, I'm Canadian, so like whatever. But I see what you're saying. I probably wouldn't wear a pair of shorts that were like red one leg, red the other leg, with a little stripe of white as it get closer to your crotch, and then a big old maple leaf right on the crotch. Can't say I'd wear those shorts. Oh, okay, lucky. Makes sense. He finally says it. What pasta? You talking about pasta, Kevin? <laughs> uh, so you didn't grab. That's a rookie mistake. Although you're working, so you no no beer for you, pastor. <laughs> Sorry, I will definitely lead you astray. I'm no kidding. I'm actually planning to learn how to make my own homemade pasta. That's probably a good skill to have. I only hear about you know, those old stories where like my grandmother in Italy used to spend all day making the pasta and she put it through the thing and it'd come out and we'd have pasta. That's where my brain goes when you're like homemade pasta. <sighs> I know my grandmother spent when she went over to the Ukraine, my mom's mom, she got, I think, I don't know, I might be, I might, if my mom's still here, I might have to get corrected. But she went over to the Ukraine and she got to make homemade pierogies for the first time. Maybe she made them when she was here. I know Lindsay's mom makes them as well, but that's like a, that's a challenge. All right, let's stop wasting all of the gas. Is that exactly here's the thing i have on my fan i installed my reverse polarity switch right because the fan that i got only exhausted so i put the reverse polarity switch in i'm just gonna get rid of that comment because yikes uh but i never wrote which way is which and i always forget you think i'd have it memorized by now you just grab a paper towel and ah it's exhausting because the paper towel stuck so we can switch it the other way and blow some air in a uh, round of applause for that pun from Happy. I missed it. <laughs> Pasta. Uh, hide your poker tells better. What? I have a poker tell. What was I hiding, Sarah? Stop misbehaving. If you type random words in chat in caps, Matt has to say them. He's not wrong. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was definitely exhausted. I you better not be in there using that litter box again. I'm gonna be very upset. I won't be that upset. I'll just be a little perturbed. Karen, I'm gonna have to sign off now. Have a great night. I'm trying to get everything packed for our road trip to Alberta. I can't wait to be in the mountains. Yes. So here's it. Before you leave, Karen, we have been talking. I don't think I've responded, but she's been talking to Lindsay, and I got your message, Karen. I'm thinking about putting together a Patreon only meetup. Uh, maybe August, maybe September. We were going to do it in July, but I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that will be obviously be more for locals. So we will see if that's something that I do. I'm not hundred percent yet because with the, with my little girl and my weekend structure and everything, mm, but that is the plan. That's probably where we will start. So hopefully we will see you soon, Karen. Have a good weekend. Just Jill Venn life says Matt with black hearts and then hi. Hi, just Jill. How are you? Joe, I cannot keep up with the conversation. Oh, dear. I'm sure a lot of people can. How you doing, Joe? Welcome to the live stream. Yeah, you don't normally pop in on these live streams for that exact reason. But we're glad to have you here all the same. The flannel dark side's home. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you are. The, oh, thank you, Rachel. That's very kind of you to say you're the champion of Patreon. I don't know about that, but... Uh, I appreciate you saying that. That's very kind of you. September would be too early. Don't worry, Kevin. You and me are going to do our. Oh, it's just going to be you and me, and we're going to we're going to have a duel at dawn somewhere in the Cascade Mountains. I don't think there's Cascade Mountains up here. We'll figure it out. Those were red hearts. Oh, they came across as black hearts on my screen. I didn't take it personally. <laughs> leopard girl i'm back what did i miss a whole bunch of naughty business darling of course i mean it's like as per usual dude i'd snipe you from a mile away i'd see your shiny white legs bro don't even give me that <laughs> sorry uh who cares <laughs> Those were 
Okay, good. We're slowing down a little bit. Matthew can catch his breath and take a moment. I am getting a little hungry. We may have to start this epic battle with the pasta. Pasta! I don't want to hear it, Kevin. Hey, Kevin's apparently picking everybody up on their way or on his way. Just give me some notice. It's a long drive. Yeah. As camo shorts, you wouldn't be able to see me from that far. <laughs> oh, I'm going to buy a ghillie suit. But you, you know what? I'd get the ghillie suit. You wouldn't see anything except the lucky can. Now, bang! <laughs> I has camo shorts. Oh, Van Life Journey. Heidi Ho, what's this about Matt having an OnlyFans page? Is that not dessert discrimination? Uh, flannels is what they're meaning. But no, I don't have an actual page, but that's pretty funny. Only flans. Bring me up and I'll set you straight on that. <laughs> Bring me up. I'm not bringing you anywhere, Kevin. You can just stay down there, bro. Oh, am I cooking now? Is this the thing that's happening? I'm going to have to switch the fan back to exhaust. We're going to give it a minute. Having a Dr. Pepper and a Twix ice cream bar. Justin Collins. Hello, hello. Jennifer, you got to go. Have a good weekend. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you're beating the heat. I know you're a local and it's bloody hot here. Board shorts rock. Thank you, Leopard Girl. I got, yes, I got some board shorts now. Although, here's the funny thing. The, my first pair of board shorts I bought from Dixon, it, it, they had this big sale. I can't remember when it was. It was a few months back. They were doing a big sale. They brought a bunch of items out of, like, retirement or the warehouse or whatever. Like, hey, board shorts, on sale, 30 bucks. I'm like, cool, I'll get a pair. Um, and I just didn't even think. I'm like, oh, that pattern, that color looks cool. But I didn't look, look at it. Look at this. Check this out. Look how that is on my bed. So... These are would be way more appropriate for destination van life, but yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Are you kidding me? I am not one to indulge in the green. I got no problem with it. It just doesn't suit me. But yeah, I know it's funny how much I really wasn't paying attention. They are literally called the high life board shorts. High life? Yeah. Hawaiian high life or something. High high Hawaiian. That's what that's what they're called. The High Hawaiian, not High Life. High Hawaiian. But I didn't see it at GH. I just thought it was Hawaiian board shirt. I'm like, oh, palm leaves. No. <laughs> uh, Blair. Matt, are you still running the diesel heater without the fuel filter? I'm asking because mine is leaking. I'm going to install a fuel filter with a separate with fuel filter water separator instead. I have not installed a fuel filter. Blair, to answer your question. I mean, I'm not running it right now obviously but since the video where i removed it however long ago that was january yeah no no fuel filter in my uh in my diesel heater line i have one like a plastic like a like a heavy duty plastic fuel filter that was sent to me by martin over at van life fan gaming so if i ever decide to install it i will put that one in but right now why why fix what ain't broke you know what i mean tacky as f i like it right i know it's just like whatever these ones that i'm wearing right now they've got like old school cars and dice on them which are much much better but meh also apparently dixon thinks i'm fat or have a wide waist because i wear 36 jeans from like everywhere else so those high wines are 36 and they're a tad tight whereas these ones that i'm wearing are 38 and they comfy as all get out so that's super weird Calvin Klein do great board shorts and underwear. I'm not going to Calvin Klein, but I'm sure they do make good quality stuff. Maui, wowie. <laughs> yeah, Sarah, have a good night. I hope you feel better soon. Try to have a good relaxing weekend if it allows. I know sometimes you find yourself far busier than you should. I have birthing hips. Thank you, Rocio. I am not a birthing person. <laughs> Uh, it's boiling balls calente sorry uh oh look at this he just joined matt have you considered getting a real fridge freezer combo unit instead of using a cooler and having to replenish ice on a regular basis so you want to know how i know you just joined the live stream sir 
because at the beginning, we talked about the fact that, yes, I have a 12-volt fridge now. And fortunately, it's not a dual-zone combo. It can be either or, but it's a collaboration with a company that reached out to me, so I'll be doing a review video on it. Uh, and it's been awesome. And it's, yeah, that was the exact reason why I said yes to the sponsorship or to do the review video for them because with how hot it had gotten here, I was ripping through ice. Even in my roto molded cooler it is just getting silly. And this is like a game changer. Like I'm, I can just, if my fat, oh, she's not on it now. I can just reach in here and get like a nice fresh cold beer and it's not soaking wet, but it's nice and cold. So that was serendipitous timing, sir. Thanks for the question, Justin. Oh, uh, you might not have. I was at the beginning, Justin, though. I was at the very beginning of the live stream. Value Village, I'm sure, has board shorts. Yeah, probably. How do you know if the person that donated them was wearing boxers? <laughs> okay. I'll send you a trick to use the bottom as a freezer after this is over. Cool. Yeah, do it up, Kevin. I mean, I'd say, here's the thing is I don't keep a lot of frozen stuff on hand. Yes, it would be nice, I suppose. Uh, but I'm still kind of learning the ins and outs of this thing I mentioned earlier about the temperature. No, I didn't mention earlier. I shot a video for the review video earlier, and now I'm getting confused. But I had it set to like two, three degrees Celsius, and ice actually was starting to build up on the inside. So now we're at, I think I have it set at, yeah, five degrees. And so far... So good. The ice hasn't come back. It's a little wet. Everybody just calm down. The beer is no longer moist. You got that right, Debbie. Adina is here. Oh, I didn't. Were you, you were here earlier and you have to leave now? Oh, okay. Well, you go do your stuff. We hope to see you back very soon. Who's miffed off, Lucky? What do you want? What? what? She's not on it anymore because you disturbed her oh penny on the fridge i know right <laughs> uh ah hypo drake welcome to the chat you are a new name i don't know if you're a subscriber or if you just pop into the live stream but welcome 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 lovely to have you here uh what do i do for dishes and how do i keep them i keep them in a in a drawer <laughs> um i i used old drawers from a dresser of my grandmother's and it's most of my van build was old repurposed furniture. I didn't buy a lot of new material when it came to my build. So it's actually right here. We're on the, I got a cabinet sort of like a cupboard space. Not, oh yeah, cupboards and a cabinet top, which is what you're sitting on. Well, hopefully you're not sitting on it, but my computer is. Um, and yeah, it's a nice big pullout drawer here. And I use these for dishes. So this is the Sea to Summit. Whoop, you're not going to be able to see that. Yeah, Sea to Summit brand. I had these before I moved into the van, they were just my camping dishes. They're super lightweight. They came in a set with four bowls, four coffee kind of cups, like these things, right? And then uh, two pots, which are, hey, they should, right here. Ah! Man. And it all fits inside here. And there's two pots. It's a pot within a pot. Uh, and see to summit, it's all meant for hiking, so it's super lightweight. Um, and then for plates, not that I'm super picky, but I got your stereotypical camping enamel plates. Let me see if I can get one out here. Woo! <laughs> I got four of these, and, that, and that's about it. And then I've got, of course, all of my cutlery and stuff in a little side drawer. I've got the jet boil spoon, fork, and uh, spatula set again for hiking. These aren't, I mean, they're fine, but for daily use, I don't recommend them. Uh, and I also have a set of these. They came with, with a spoon, a knife, and a fork. That's not a, that's not a knife. That's a spoon. I see you played knifey spoony before. Where did that just go? They were throwing a spoon into a drawer so hard it vanished. I'm going to regret that in the morning. But yeah. And then I just use um, these up here. This, whoop, let me see. Can I do this? I hate going reverse. That bottle is water. That bottle is vinegar, and that's how I do dishes. That's a good old Bob Wells trick. That's where I got it from. I have to get those. I have a jet boil. Yeah, the, the, the utensils are really good because they don't scratch the jet boil pan surface. 
Oh, uh, thank you, Leopard Girl. You missed the story, but I think I think you missed the story behind the shirt. I can't remember, but it's the '65 Roses, uh, Dixon Bamboo, brand new. Um, I will let you go back and watch the live stream if you missed it. I'm sorry, I can't remember if you were here for that story or not. With the oil lid, I found the oil lid, Ozzy J. Some things just need to be left alone. That was actually in the live stream that got us banned. <laughs> that whole oil lid situation. It wasn't the fact that I lost the lid. Okay, moving on. <laughs> How do you keep from melting to death in the van? That roof vent fan can only do so much. Any AC ideas or plans for the van? I don't know. Not, not immediately. I've looked at some AC units. They're just too expensive. Um, what I do do, what I do do, he said do do. When I'm at work, uh, I get two 15s and a lunch. I'll come out and I'll run my AC and fill the whole cab with nice cool air. I use my little Ryobi fan, which I'm using right now to blow some, some, mediocre air right up my butt because it's on the floor i'll use this i'll sit it on the fridge and blow more of the ac air back into this area and my insulation does quite well uh i haven't come back into lucky yet and been like darn it is i next week might be a different story because we're going to hit the high, low 30s but um so far so good just with that sort of process and obviously then when i'm not working i'm in the van more i can actively find shade and run the ac when i need to that's about all you can do right now Uh, needs help with the mouse. Next adventure awaits. Have fun with that. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by so serious, but how much have I downsized percent wise on what you thought you needed? But no, no better. But now, no better. Um, you know what? I can't say actual percentage, obviously. So I was reading Debbie's comment above yours. I don't know what she means by if Matt didn't like something. Um, not a lot. I've gotten rid of a few things. I hoarded a bunch of blankets thinking I would need them with my diesel heater and my insulation. Turns out I didn't need as many blankets as I thought I did. Uh, and clothes. As many clothes. Like, I'm not, obviously, I've got a bit of a problem when it comes to Dixon now. But I had a lot of clothes, as I, I'm sure lots of us do, right? Like, when you live in a house or an apartment, you just, you have a closet full of clothes. But it makes sense. you got your summer clothes, your winter clothes. You might have your fall and spring, if you're obsessed. And you've got your dress clothes and your relaxing clothes, your pajamas, your lounging around the house, vacuuming, doing nothing clothes. You know what I mean? Um, that's, I have donated so many garbage bags of my clothing. It's, it's nuts. Um, because I just learned to sort of wear clothes more than once a day. Um, yeah. Right, so clothing and blankets definitely was something I thought I needed, and turns out, oh, not so much. Everything else, I did enough research on thinking I was already sort of living minimalistically. Um, you know, I say that, but I'm sure people that knew me would be like, "No, you had a kitchen full of crap." Yes, I did. But man, like you just you change your style in terms of like your food prep and that sort of stuff. So your kitchen stuff gets reduced. Like I've got a frying pan, a cast iron pan, and those pots, and that to me is too much. I probably don't need all of it, but I don't want to be cleaning cast iron every day. Cast iron's a camping pan, whereas my jet boil pan is an everyday pan. The pots will come in handy tonight, well, one of them will, to boil pasta, but I think it's been about three and a half months since I made pasta last with it, right? Like, I, don't know, I like that aspect of the van life in that I will always be able to reduce stuff, I think. Hopefully that answered that question. Oh, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, if you guys are here and you haven't liked the video, give it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. I know it helps. We're trying to grow the community as much as we can. Uh, and that'd be really cool. I can't, I'm on StreamYard. I can't see the likes on the video to how many viewers, but we've got 144 awesome souls in here right now, which is super cool. So yeah, if you haven't hit like, maybe consider doing that. Hmm. Somebody saying, everybody saying hi to somebody new. Oh, not new. It's Jan. How you doing, Jan? Welcome to the live stream. Hi, ho neighbor, and my YouTube kitties. They're keeping as cool as they can. One in the one in the baby seat, one in the loft at the back of Lucky. You know what? I'm gonna save some battery drain. Not there's a lot, but you can't even see these LEDs right now. Let's turn these off. Yeah, right. There. That. Then, oh, a little bit, please. Ah, I got rid of so much clothing. Yeah. I felt like certain people get upset with me when I don't realize what they're saying. It's usually Lucky Cashing Mommy. Mommy? <laughs> Lucky Cashing Mama, Broken Nomad, or Debbie F. 
But it's like, I'm trying to keep up with everybody. So y'all can just, <laughs> Kevin said he's going to send me something over text. <laughs> uh, Blair, what was that, Matt? You can wire your ignition to a thermostat. So it'll start up automatically on and off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sure I could, Blair, but that sounds... <laughs> Karina Ashley, hi Matt, glad to tech. Have you never been on a live? Karina, welcome to Getting Lucky Live on a very hot Calgary night. Yikes. Yeah, you shit out of luck. You could message me on Patreon, Lucky Cashing Mama. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mommy. Hello from New Brunswick, Canadian Van Lifers. Oh, I like your logo. That looks awesome. How are you guys doing? Nice to meet you. I'm a, you get yeah, Van Lifers, so I'm assuming there's more than one of you. Welcome to the live stream. Nice to see you here. Oh, is Chris here? Did Chris pop in? I didn't see him. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I don't know. Ah, of course I have, but it's been a while for me. It's been a while for me too, Karina. We, I haven't done a live stream since the May long weekend. It's like the beginning of May when I was in BC last. Uh, husband and I would play crib for a quarter every morning. I might be buying some expensive. <laughs> uh, what am I saying about Kevin Lucky and me? Were you not listening? Now I feel like you're not listening to me. Now I feel like this is on you, Debbie. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, there's really not a shady spot in the yard, unfortunately, for the catio. Uh, if it ever got so, so bad, I'd probably take them over to Lindsay's maybe and quarantine them in a room in the basement where it's nice and cool. I don't know that it's going to get that bad, though. But no, my, the way our yard is, I mean, I, I could bring them inside probably. I'd have to get a second cat carrier. But that's not much fun for them. Yeah, don't worry. It's always in the back of my head, Jackie. It's my first time on a chat. It's a hoot. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time. That's good. Oh, different Chris. Okay. How come you don't have a community? We've, we've talked about this before, actually, Sue. How come you don't have a community page on Patreon? I'm just curious because I can't find a few. They got rid of it. Patreon got rid of the community tab. Uh, possibly some Patreon uh, creators, if they had it, they may still have it. But I looked into it because I had a couple people ask me about it. Um, but yeah, Patreon got rid of the community tab. So we never had it. All the way from Puerto Rico, you're enjoying my nonsense. That's pretty cool to hear. Is the catio dried out and dicked? <laughs> no, di <it's> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's all dried out. It's actually at the back of Lucky. I have it inside right at the head of my bed, pressed between the top of the bed and the rear barn doors. Uh, yeah. It's all dried out and working great. I don't know about it being dicked, though. That's weird. I think I'd have to rig up a window AC in the passenger side window connected to a huge power inverter. Would like, yeah, I know. I, I, I would like a portable AC unit as well. They pricey, though. But 100%. That could be a good DIY project. <laughs> Francisco, banned because he said dicked. I'm just saying Richard's name. A community page would be a good idea. Yeah, but it's gone. I can't do anything about that. So sorry. Hi, Tubbers. How you doing? You gonna jump up? Hello, Penny. How are you? Having some 15th dinner. Good for you. I was not saying that, Kevin. That's a lie. See, Kevin's just spreading lies again. <laughs> hmm. How was it sharing the catio with Penelope? You mean when I got in there and I was brushing her? It was fine. <laughs> Grammy's journal. Nobody's banned. Francisco was being funny. There's always going to be a looming risk of the Van Life Plus journal getting banned again because it happened for no good reason. But this is the way it is. Charlene is here. Hey, Matthew, love the last camping trip. Give Stella and Penny some huggins for me. I will when it's not so hot. The little balls of heat. And they can just stay where they are right now. But welcome to the live stream. How are you? Mm -mm -mm. Uh, oh, oh, Evans, Evan Seth, welcome to the live stream. You are a new name. Welcome to the community. I'm glad you were binge watching the build videos, and I'm even more glad you were enjoying them. Thank you so much. I appreciate that feedback. 
Somebody said hi to Gina, but I didn't see Gina come in. <laughs> how do you, how long do you leave the kitties in the catio since the litter box isn't out there? Uh, until they really start to get obnoxious. As you would have saw in the last video, Stella really lets me know when she's done. Uh, and Penny, she can stay in it quite a while. She loves to watch the animals and, and whatnot that run around at the campsites. Like when we were at Premier Lake, our last camping trips, there were a ton of ground squirrels there running all over the place. Penny actually, the first time she saw one, she lunged at the catio so hard, it actually tipped the whole catio up. And Stella was like, oh, Jesus! So I pegged it down <laughs> after that. And then she just kind of learned her lesson to just sort of read her newspaper. But she loves being out there, and, but she will let me know when she needs to go inside by just nattering at me. Apparently Van Life with Gina is here. I haven't seen her comment, which means I'm just not paying attention. But, oh, there she is. She said, hello, Lucky Cashy Mama. She probably said hello to me because that's the kind of polite person Gina is. And I missed it because that's the kind of ignoramus I am. Hello, Gina. Lovely to have you here. Robin Kirk says, Matt, enjoy meeting you at the Calgary Casino. Robin, it was such a pleasure to shake your hand. You are so respected. And what? See, I met you at a Calgary casino. Oh, right. I'm so sorry. At the, I thought, when you said Calgary casino, I was thinking like cowboys because I was down there with Lindsay during the uh, camping expo when we went down to the, out, uh, the, the outdoor show or whatever. Uh, and we met Esther. But yeah, Robin, I ran into you at the Gray Eagle the other night. That was super cool. Thank you so much. That was yeah. I was I was going. I was on my way. Byron was in town. My little brother and him and Lindsay were in the casino at the restaurant having a bite to eat. And I was going over there to meet them. And I'm walking in the front door and I meet Robin and her friend. I'm so sorry, I don't remember her name at the time. And she recognized me from YouTube. And that's always like so so cool, so humbling, so weird still to get like recognized. But Robin, it was yeah. You were super cool to chat with. As brief as it was, thank you. Uh, thank you for mentioning that. That's super cool. Just to, Rocio's confessing that she's the one that got the channel banned. I knew it. <laughs> oh, she thought I was so handsome. She's so nice. Thank you. She was beautiful. Just to, to be fair and return that extremely positive comment. Just saying. Um. Yeah, well, Rocio. Overland Expo. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me honest, Captain. <laughs> I can't be tamed that or I scared them away. I'm more inclined to lean towards that latter one there, Rocio. You know, so, yeah, Broken Nomad already texted me his trick for making it a freezer. <laughs> I'll read it later, Kevin. It'd be rude to do right now. Do me, compliment me. Francisco, you're so handsome. From your icon that's just white whiter than the snow beautiful baby boy <laughs> oh my goodness joseph thank you so much for that especially with that tag yeah i appreciate it thank you so much i'm i'm glad you're enjoying yourself and uh that will absolutely be going into lucky's tank she's sitting at a half a tank now which is probably about three thousand dollars so thank you very much sir I sent it earlier, but you totally ignored it. Yeah, because, Kevin, you're texting me, and I'm doing a live stream. It would be rude, sir. Uh. Bubba says, what the fuck? I don't know, Bubba. What the fuck will you? That's why my guy likes me. Mm. Leopard girl being her typical self, which we all appreciate. I missed Hope Bus's first comment about Niagara. Niagara. Is it hot enough for you? No, I like to have the sweat rolling down the crack of my ass like Niagara. Name that stand-up show. Grammy's Journal says, I'm glad we get to hang out tonight. I am too. It's been, it's been a while. Like I was mentioning earlier when people reach out to me, people started reaching out to me on Facebook and whatnot, asking, when's the next live stream? Please, can we do a live stream? Of course, a lot of my patrons were like, hello. It's been a hot minute. I have those feelings too. And uh, Dina, welcome back to the live stream. I, I, I completely have those feelings. I feel bad not doing them all as, as often as I was. But like I said, I just, I've just been so busy. Um, if we get the channel to where I want it to be, maybe I'll do live streams a little bit more often. 
I really want to do what like Gina does. Like she's got great interactivity on her live streams. She's got the little clips. She shows up her little walk on the beach with her boyfriend, Jason Momoa and her very girlish figure going on. And she's got her intro video and everything. And I want to do stuff like that. But again, it just, that just is such a time commitment. And I'm just, Oh, I'll get there. I'll get there. Give some time. Have faith in me. And I'll get there. Stop saying infinity war. You don't say infinity war at me anymore. The purple does match my shirt tonight, Sharisa. And no, they've had it on, uh, but I haven't actually given her the good old tug to see yet. That's on the uh, that's on the to do list for sure. But uh, we'll be getting there. Thank you again for sending those. Ugh, thirty three degrees Celsius on Snake River. Oh, that's warm. Yikes. Uh, Loretta, thanks for stopping in, Loretta. Yes, this epic live stream will be posted later. Oh, you're just glad your camping trip got postponed. No, it's never. Don't be sitting around watching my dumb face act all silly. You could, I mean, you got canceled, so there's nothing you can do. So I'm glad you could be here. But camping's so much better. I keep meaning to try to do a Patreon only live stream from a campground, but a lot of the places we've been going to, not great reception. Would have worked great on that first camping trip. But we all know how that ended. Yeah, no, I know, Robin. Rogers is completely down Canada-wide. Sucks. My Wi-Fi point is actually with Rogers, so I'm tethered to my cell phone, which is with TELUS. That's how I'm doing this live stream right now. See how long that works. Hi there, Matt. My van's almost done. All your videos really help. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Beckett Adventures. That's super cool of you to say. I appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed them and that they were informative. I never knew what I was doing. I was just recording what I was doing, and everything I was doing was by the seat of my pants. So, Rogers. <laughs> it's the start. It's how it begins. But tomorrow, it'll be Telus. After that, Shaw. It should have been Shaw first. Let's get serious. But... You do have a fun way to keep from pouting, and you better be having a drink. Lucky Cashing Mama. If you're Lucky Cashing Mama 19, that means it's your 20th birthday. Ha, happy birthday again. I know it said it at the top, but that just came to me. Yay. <clears throat> oh, well, that, yeah. Okay, Debbie, yep, yeah, I would understand that. Yeah, Roger's going to be down until Monday, Tuesday. Oh, Joseph, 1040 where you are. Thank you so much for hanging out, my man. I appreciate the support and incredible generosity. Have yourself a good weekend, and we will see you all in the next video. Not y'all, but Joseph. I'll see you in the next video. I'm sta I'm staying here. It's still it's still early enough. Yikes. <laughs> oh, no alcohol, though. That's okay. You don't need alcohol to have a good time. That's for darn sure. Almost 8,000. Hit that thumbs up. Great to see everyone. Been a long, hot week. Calling this day a day. Have a great weekend. Thanks for stopping in, Charlene. Always nice to see you, and thank you for showing your support on every single video in the comments. I appreciate it. You'll have to go back and watch the part about Starlink. Why? What do you want? I'll reiterate, Kevin. Trinity Smith, pleasure to see you in the live stream. Thank you for being here and happy Friday to you. Uh, oh, it's Patty's birthday too? Oh, your birthday was yesterday. Happy belated birthday to you, Patty. That's super cool. That must make you 29, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Will I do an eight-hour live stream for 8K? No. I'll do a 10-hour live stream for 10K. Eight hours is just like I did eight hours at New Year's, right? Like, like eight hours could just happen, you know. You never know. Oh, you're gonna oh here it is. I am oh yeah, I'm thinking about getting it, Kevin. Like I made I talked to you about it um briefly about the size of the dish and all of that. I've made my peace with that, but it's far too expensive. Like I I can't afford it. I would get it if I could afford it. Although I'd also mentioned that the no mock experience talked about how they were sending out emails about some bill trying to get passed to like I don't know, take over one of the bands that sat that Starlink uses. 
and then everybody that's got Starlink mobile wouldn't be able to use it. There's so much political garbage going on with stuff like that. Oh, let's get a bill going so the Canadian YouTubers can't be shown to the rest of the world. Let's start something else over here so the mobile internet can't be a thing. Like, why can't shit just exist? Oh, government. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in, Hope Bus. Have a good weekend. Mm. My cat catio, Rachel, came from Amazon and it was gifted to me by uh by, by soul searching. It was on my Amazon wish list and she purchased it for me. Um so yeah, if you just go in there and type like portable cat carry or portable cat playpen or something, or I think that I think that brand name is Zampa Z A M P O. You can go on to Amazon and, and look it up and add it to your, your list for future purchases. Good night, Gina. Thank you for stopping in. That might have been a while ago. Sorry that I missed that. If eight hours could happen whenever, then I might need to go back out and grab beer. No, you got to work in the morning. Well, yeah, I mean, you could. You're probably watching on your cell phone anyway. You don't have Wi-Fi, but I bet you you're happy that I convinced you to switch to TELUS. Hey, man, I need a pic of you from the backside looking out your van. I'm sorry. What is this? Gina, I need a picture of you from the backside looking out your van or you looking at something you love. It'll be for my show Wednesday called Guys and Gals of Summer. So you just want a picture of my ass? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> when, you, when you phrase it that way, Gina. Oh, damn. Thank God I got a selfie stick. Mm. <laughs> uh, I need a pic of you from the backside looking out your van. Oh, I, I see what you mean. I'll try to figure something out. Uh, what can I do to make that funny? <laughs> Julie Noki. Yeah, she's funny. Matt, hey, you and Still and Penny moved to America? No. I mean, I like the I like the country. I don't got a problem with that. I don't mean no in that way. Um my kiddos here. Oh, you're going to Red Deer tomorrow. Hey, happy Captain Happy Captain. Captain Happy Pants. That's cool. I used to go watch my niece play soccer a lot, too. Gina says, sure. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she wants. Yeah, well, Gina's a dirty bird when she wants to be. We all know this. We all know this to be true, Gina. Don't try to tell us otherwise. <laughs> uh, where's Lindsay tonight? Lindsay said she'd be on a little bit later. Actually said she'd be on around, on around this time. Um, I'm not sure what it was she was doing. But uh, yeah, she should be on in a little bit. That's why we love her. That's true, Amber. 100%. So glad you are back live. Our van is having the transmission. Be oh, God. They think it's the front seal. Hope, hope. Can't wait to get back on the road. I don't envy those mechanics. I don't envy those mechanics, Leslie. I've done two transmission jobs since I started as a mechanic at range. And oh my God. Rear seals suck. Front seals are probably worse. I'm glad it's getting worked on, though. And, yeah, I hope you can get back on the road soon, too. Be enough. The road sucks if that's what you're used to. I get to shovel horse poop tomorrow. My sister threw out her back, and she needs help with her horses. horses. Well, it's nice that you're helping her. I'm sorry that that's what she decided to do with her life. Thanks. Uh, yeah, we do love Gina anyway. Ozzy Jack says, date. Date for what? What date are you looking for? Oh, gosh. I need to go on my knees for a bit. I might need to take some of my painkillers as well. My tailbone pain is flaring up. If everybody doesn't know, there's a little bit about Matt. I've got an undiagnosed reason for a freaking sore tailbone called my coccyx. Everybody just calm down. It flares up from time to time, especially when I sit on it for too long. Ah. Did I say kiddos? Francisco just won. Lindsay on a date? Yeah, she might be. Oh, it'll be 20 again. Yeah. Leopard girl, I've had way too much to drink tonight. Hmm. Donut pillow doesn't help me in my situation. It's not hernia. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I definitely tried that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what's going on here? I don't know. You naming a cat carrier after me, Revenge of the Normal People? I, I, 
Zampa? Is that where you're at? Is that I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Calm the f down. Do you have an awning or two? I I have um, I have one. Check out my uh, camping video with Get Her Better, where I was catfished, not literally, but that's the most recent video where I deployed it. It's funny. I and I've only got the one. I would like to have two. I'd like to have one over the rear. I don't really know why. I just feel like that needs to happen, and I'd like a little bit of a longer one because it's it's mounted outside this door. These doors. That was something I thought I need to have. Uh, for my van life, and I already had it. That's the only reason I have it now is that I already owned one on how I had had my Tacoma set up before my van life. Uh, and I'll tell you this: it very rarely gets used. It's not a regret; it just doesn't get used as much as I thought it would. I don't. I'm not out in the bush. I'm not like. I'm not like most van lifers. I'm stuck. Not stuck, but I'm. I'm in a city. Right? Like I live in the city. I think it would be hilarious for me to deploy the awning in the Walmart parking lot, but I also don't want to draw unnecessary attention and risk getting asked to never come back. But it would be funny. Aaron, the DJ, and I actually talked about that once. We're like, yo, come down. We'll have a beer. We'll kick out. We'll get some lawn chairs. We'll kick out my awning in the pa in the Walmart parking lot. At the very least, it'd make a great thumbnail for a video. <laughs> Hang on. Hmm. Oh, what did Kevin say? He's getting shocked faces from Debbie. Holy. My date video was fun. My date video? Which date video was that? You talking about that the catfishing video? <laughs> that was fun. I had a lot of fun putting that one together. I'm going to get hacked up in the woods. I really like the Haunted Lake video, too. It turned out great. They stay in the yeah, stay in the AC because screw that heat. Yeah, no doubt, Kevin. Who wins in a fight between Friday and Saturday? Saturday because Friday is a weekday. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm putting that up for everybody to see. Woo! It's on my wish list now. Oh, perfect, Rachel. Awesome. I saw the mention of Mountaintop. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> okay, Matt better make some food before Matt gets so drunk on Lucky that he can't cook. Uh, how am I going to do this? <laughs> uh, I got to set this van up to cook pasta and bacon and all the Penny is back on the fridge. Oh, boy. You must have missed it when it, when it was said. Yeah, probably. Boil some water for pasta. That's actually the last step. I got to do the bacon first. I actually have to have a bio break first. So we're going to do the good old. <clears throat> I'll be right back. Everybody just have a drink. Calm down. And try not to imagine the fact that I'm covering your face. With a paper towel. Ooh, ma, can I know what that works? Ooh, heaven is place on earth. I really hope he remembers to mute the microphone while he uses the loo.
And I was going to say, who was worried that that towel was going to blow the F off? Unfortunately, there's also a situation developing right now that I have to monitor. Of course, it just happened to happen, happened to happen while I was using the washroom. Uh, my kid's mom is texting me, asking me if there's any chance that I'm nearby, which usually means that she may need something. So depending on how this plays out, I'll either shut the live stream down or we'll just drive around leaving this here and everybody can just kind of chat amongst themselves. I'm sure viewership will drop. Uh, but we'll see. I'll play this by ear. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, so I'm going to keep my, I'm going to keep that situation under control. I'm not going to crack another beer just in case. <laughs> it's wild up on my 65. You're watching me on a 65 inch TV like there's a towel blowing in the breeze. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Pasta. Pasta. All right. Hang on, everybody. Give me a moment. This is why people... <sighs> hmm. So my little girl's having a lot of allergy issues right now, and uh, her mom's wondering if Kid Benadryl might be the answer, which, of course, she doesn't have on hand. So I'm going to write her back and say, I am close. I am close. Let me know if you need some. And I'll see what I can find. Yeah, a little girl. I mean, like that's like par for the course when you have a kid, like especially her age, and she's just like entering daycare. There's illness galore. Like my, my Kimbrook Island camping trip was halted because of an illness that our little girl brought home with her. And we all got like this crazy virus that just like put us out of commission for a few days. And now she's actually been suffering with a lot of allergies. She's got a cough and runny nose for a long time. And we've discovered that Claritin does kind of help, but now she's having an allergic reaction to something else. It's fun being new parents trying to figure stuff out, especially when you're not together. Should we just dose her or wait to, wait to see if it kicks back up? Right? These are the questions. <laughs> uh, take us on a road trip around town. Problem is, Kevin, is you're on my computer. So, like, I would have to go into Walmart to buy the Benadryl. If I could, like, easily switch to my phone, that'd be something else. I'm just going to see what happens. We can wait while you work it out. Thanks, Robin. I appreciate that. I do my best to keep everybody entertained, but I just don't know. Like so many little things have gone wrong in the past. Like I've unplugged my my mic that I'm using, this guy right here. Ooh. And then I you try to plug it back in and it just doesn't work. Um, the internet connection can get all spotty. Might be okay. This is a nice thing too about her mom. Is she like she's a really good mom, but she obviously she wants to have a conversation with the father of her kid about what the best course of action is. Uh, sometimes I feel like it's just to talk it out for herself, which is an okay thing. Uh, but it tends to get me worked up because I'm an overthinker, and I'm like, oh god, yes, let me help right now. I'll go. Like when when our little kid was sick with the uh, illness that brought down the camping trip, I was I was there right and she was actually like i had my little kiddo falling asleep on my lap she was so sad so sick she'd been throwing up all night and if you've ever seen an infant throw up like non-stop to the point of where they're they're throwing up their tummy bile oh it just breaks your heart and she was i was in their house and she was just falling asleep on my lap my kid not my kid's mom <laughs> and it was just there's a photo that her mom took of us when we were like that that i really love but it's kind of sad too because she was so sick. It's just, oh, it breaks your heart. And that was an epic night trying to figure out what to what to give her. And here we are again. Wait it. Let's see how I wait it out. 
you don't have to disturb her. Well, it's not. It's hard to make calls, too, because... Anyways, it's relationship stuff. All right, what are we doing? Julian B., welcome to the live stream. It's finally stopped raining, so I have to take off now. Hope It's done raining. I'm going to go play outside. Bye! If I don't blame you. Actually, I think you've been here for a while now that I'm seeing your name. Yeah, yeah, go enjoy your time outside. Uh, good night, ha Captain Happy Pants. Thanks for hanging out, my man. And safe travels tomorrow. And I hope you have fun at the soccer game. Oh, thanks, Priscilla. And hi, welcome to the live stream. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, she just sent me a picture of her on the trampoline with a lot of static in her hair and just not right now she's in bed right now but from earlier this evening anyway okay uh absolutely family first but it's another thing too is like it's just it's finding a balance in the relationship where possibly the first gut reaction isn't necessarily the best thing right like to just like throw up my hands and and go but it's actually not as big of an emergency as you might think that's the balancing act i find myself in a lot and it's just yeah it is the way it is oh you caught it in your hands i mean you got to do what you got to do mama all right see now here now the only point that i'm at is we're going to wait and see how she does another thing is is her mom has um crazy allergies she did that allergy test where they like stab you with 50 different needles or whatever with different um like dander on them and whatnot and they grid your back and then they see how you react to it and she flared up on almost every single uh point so we're pretty sure our little girl probably has asthma because her mom does and probably has her same amount of allergies she got my eating habits, which just means she's very picky. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Lucky Beth, you are here. Hello from South Dakota. Lucky Beth, I've been meaning to write you actually on Patreon. So the windshield blocker uh, that we were talking about, <laughs> I'm pretty sure this one was from you and it was just a lot of confusion. So thank you very much. She sent me a custom sized windshield bl blocker, like for shade uh, to bounce the sunlight out, specifically for a Chevy Express which was super cool. So thank you very much. There was some confusion because I got one, but it said it was from somebody else, but it sounded like maybe a company. And then Beth had told me that she had sent me one, but it hadn't arrived yet on her end from what she was seeing. So happens a lot, actually. So now we, I think we can officially say, oh, thank you very much. Do I need to shop before places close? Like for dinner? No, I've got everything I need. I threw up into my brother-in-law's boots. I know this is this started from Lucky Cashing Mama's comment, but damn. <sighs> okay, good. So now my concern is like, do I start cooking while being on monitor? I mean, I got to eat. I still got the fat cat on the fridge. I guess, I mean, it doesn't matter. My concern is I start cooking and then I'm going to have to go get the Benadryl. But we're playing it by ear. So we're just going to play our life by ear and not let it control us. Get out the good old jet Oh, also, as, as every Dixon does, sorry, completely changing topics back to uh, or not. Every Dixon comes with a sticker. And this is the 65 Roses sticker that came with the shirt. It's a set of lungs. That's super cool. Anyway, yeah, Kevin, I'll make the food. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, see what we can do here. Fan. We're not the wait. I gotta cook this way because of the fan. So I don't have my cooler. I usually cook on my cooler. We're gonna cook on the bucket. Get your poo bucket. It doubles great as a counter. But I still gotta go this way. Dang it. Oh, not a lot of room in this tiny home. All right, but then we're also going to be responsible. Here, excuse me, Penny. I need to go into the refrigerator. Thank you. Until we've got a little bit more, until it gets a little bit later, and I know that my kiddo is actually asleep. I'm going to break everybody's heart on here. 
and I'm gonna have a Gatorade just in case I need to drive. I had a drunk sailor throw up all over me. Mm. Not me. That's what Leopard Girl said. Van is looking dirty. Hi, earring fat chains. The van is in the exact state that I need it to be. This way I know where everything is. Actually, the first thing we need to do is prep our sauce. Sauce. <laughs> so I'm going to need a cheese grater for that. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, bowl. Let's use our bowl that we talked about earlier. Boom. Got my cheese grater and I got some very fancy. Where is it? I'm going to take out a second mortgage for this thing. Parmigiano Reggiano. <laughs> so, I don't know. And I need four ounces, but I don't have a scale, so we're going to guess. Ah, uh, knife, knife, please. Oh, wait, I got, where's my new fancy knife that I got while I was in Premier Lake? Ooh, you'll never see me coming in the snow, Kevin. Ah, okay. And so I do apologize if people are joining the chat or if I'm not answering questions right now. A man's got to eat. Got to keep up your stamina. Oh, all right. And I say that, and then I look over and I see a question. Oh, Kevin Van Buren, welcome to the live stream. How you doing, sir? Uh, hang on. What inspired you or got you going before you had your daughter? What inspired me or got me going? That's the problem. Not a lot. Uh, I've kind of I've tried to be honest about that in the past. Even at the beginning of the stream, I spoke about it briefly. I wasn't very focused or responsible in my younger life, the stuff that inspired me was movies, video games. They they spoke to my creative side, which didn't lead to a lot of structure or positivity in my actual life, of course. That's not saying that I didn't enjoy it. Of course I enjoyed movies. I'm a huge movie buff. And I really enjoyed the like friends that I made playing games online. And I love video games. I'm a, I'm a generation that grew up with the original Nintendo and the N64 and then went through all of the Playstations and the Xboxes, right? But that wasn't really my thing. I mean, in camping, camping always sort of spoke to me, but never to the degree that it even does today. That's definitely increased. And it was, it was really taking into stock or taking stock of how those things were controlling my life or affecting my life to possibly an unhealthy degree. And it all sort of went hand in hand with the idea of, oh, I got to pay all of, I got to go work just to give all of the money that I make from working to, to pay for the place where I'm living so I don't get cold from being outside. And it's just that whole mentality of the way society is structured, which has just led me to live in a van. I'm going to grate some cheese right now. Oh, don't drop the knife on your foot. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Watch that. I'm not washing my hands, Kevin. I washed them when I went to the washroom in Walmart. Leave me alone. I'm the only one that has to eat it. Have I tried Diablo Immortal? No. I've heard that it was a bit of a cash grab. Blizzard got a lot of backlash over it. I'll throw that up here so people know what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, that was Charissa. Oh, it was Charissa that shared it. Um, yeah, I love Diablo. I played 1, 2, and 3 religiously. But I've heard that, yeah, Immortal's a bit of a cash grab. Uh, so I have not played it. I'm looking forward to Diablo 4 if it comes out on the Nintendo Switch. Because that's my main gaming console these days. I just finished playing the new Ninja Turtles game. For those that are around, especially Debbie F, know that I love Ninja Turtles, uh, especially the original show that started in the late 80s. And this new game, uh, Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, was a lot of fun. It was a great throwback to video games that I used to play a lot of in my younger days. Uh, other than that, I haven't really been playing many video games either because time management. That is a lot of cheese. It just went all over my floor. Damn. Good thing I got a little Ryobi vacuum to clean it up. <laughs> I don't know if that's four ounces or what. Here's the thing. I got to look up this recipe and see how many servings it makes and knock it back a little. Uh, right. Freaking Babish doesn't do. Mm. Okay, whatever. 
We're just going to wing it. I will boot you from your own channel. <laughs> Stop jerking at too many cougars. I am grating my cheese. Yes, that's what we call it now. When I see, I had an icy. I I got to experience. I see the icy. What happened there? My mouth just exploded. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got to spike it with a little happy juice, though. Icy is an American thing. We've got Slurpees in Canada, but the Icy's are just so much lighter. I got to experience them in Vegas at the movie theater in Sam's Town, the hotel there. Oh, yeah, they're good. They come in two flavors, as far as I know, red and blue. Mm. <laughs> Do we think this is enough cheese? I just, I just don't know. Nice thing, the interesting thing about carbonara is it's like raw egg and it's just the hot noodles that cook it. So cool. I don't know. Do we think that that's four ounces of cheese? Probably too much cheese. You can never have too much cheese. Everybody calm down. I gotta get rid of this. Okay. Ninja Turtles. Did you ever legit finish the old Ninja Turtles? I never did. Like the first one? Like Ninja Turtles? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one on NES? No. That game was impossible. I'm excited to give it another go when the Cowabunga collection comes out later this year. 7-Eleven Icy is too high. Apparently we have Icy in Canada, but I've never seen it. If we've got it in Canada, it's out east. It's going to be in the Toronto, the greater Toronto area. The GTA, if you will. I know I, it's not a new one. It's the same one. Where's my Gator need? Wait, I need a Ziploc bag for my brick of cheese. All right, I got the rum. I don't know if we're going to get to the rum today. Hiya! Never too much cheese. <laughs> okay, hang on. Wah, wah, wah. Right. Take the blue slushy in here. <laughs> if you have to ask and it's not enough cheese, yeah, right. Okay. All right. So we're going to chat. We're going to chat. We're going to set the cheese on you right there very good how do you clean the cheese actually that's pretty clean reason 4092 of having a sink in the van okay now well, let's do the bacon because here's another thing we could do this van life styles i could do now nah, it's probably not gonna be enough pasta i was thinking about doing the pasta in my jet boil mug because that'll boil the water real fast and i won't have to mess up those pots let's mmm Bet you it'll boil over though, because when you put the spaghetti in the water, yeah, shoot. Hang on, I'm gonna clean off my uh, my poo bucket has cheese on it, and you can quote me. All right, um, somebody remind me to vacuum the cheese on the floor later. I'm not gonna bother with it right now because the vacuum's full of cat litter. When am I going to teach you crib? I know Lindsay and I um, keep talking about that. We never do. We always forget to do the, the 101 video. That should probably be a live stream. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a video. We'll see. We haven't forgotten about it though, Rocio. <laughs> the cats can eat it. Yeah, I don't know that they'd like it. Uh, which NMT would I be and why? I think you mean Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle is what you're asking, and the answer would be Leonardo. I've got too much of a leadership personality, and he's my favorite turtle. Uh, I think if Chris was to answer that question, he'd probably say Raphael. Everybody chooses Raph. I get it. Raph's awesome. But I don't know. I've always liked Leo. The stoic. The stoic leader. That or Donatello, but I'm, I'm crap at inventing things. <laughs> Where is my stove? I brought it out. Oh, it's right at my feet. Don't forget to vacuum the food later. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yikes. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see how this goes. What am I? Oh, I need to. I need to cut the bacon. I normally you're supposed to use nice and thick cut bacon for this, but I went to uh, No Frills, which is like a discount superstore. They didn't have the thick cut bacon. They barely had bacon. I just had to get sliced pork. Ugh. Hopefully this works okay. I think I'm going to eat all of it. I'm telling the truth. I'm just going to be a right old savage about it. All 
I cooked hollandaise sauce in the jet boil. Yeah, I got it clean though. Did it really like I was like waving that knife around my neck? I did. Okay. So we got the bacon. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need a way to clean my hands after I handle this bacon. Um, we're just gonna spray our hands with vinegar. That'll solve the problem. Got a paper towel over there. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. How much bacon is this? Maybe I won't eat all the bacon. Maybe I'll save some bacon for breakfast tomorrow. Maybe we just need that much bacon. Perfect. Okay. Uh, that saves me, what, three strips? No, screw it. You know what? We're doing it live. We're doing all the bacon. Woo! All right. Throw that in the garbage. Eat all the bacon. Cholesterol, schmolesterol. I'll just eat a bunch of Cheerios in the morning. <laughs> that are not shaped like hearts. I don't care who you are. Where is my knife? There we go. All right. So we got to dicey dice the bacon up. Slice and dice. What do we got going on over here? Uh, no, the recipe calls for bacon, but thanks, Leopard Girl. There's a fancy traditional carbonara recipe that calls for... I can't remember what the hell does he call it. I'm going to say it wrong, but I don't care. Guanaciel. <laughs> Guanaciel. can substitute with pancetta. But we got bacon. That's what we got because hashtag van life. Hashtag we don't care. Hashtag YOLO. But not if you eat this much bacon continuously. I mean, you're still YOLO. <laughs> what if your YOLO will be a lot shorter? I probably should have started this earlier because the thing with this is, is you really got to slow cook the bacon to render out all the fat. And that'll be a bit of a process. But had I started it earlier, it would have been more heat from the stove earlier, which is definitely what we were trying to avoid. Ah! Okay. Who's the, oh, the reader? They're too much fun, but my bed is calling. I didn't even know you were here. Hello, goodbye. Have a good weekend, the reader. That's a damn, that's a lot of bacon. Do it with one hand because your other hand's covered in bacon. See, Divine Wrath agrees with me. Bacon better and carbonara. And just slap it in the pan. Oh, that is a lot of bacon. I am going to die tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo! Look at that bacon, though. This is going to take a while. But this is another reason why I'm glad I have the jet boil stove, man. Because it actually has a nice simmer function on it. Woo! All right. Yikes. Where's the vinegar at? Ah! A little twisty twist. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> Lucky. What the heck did I miss? Nothing. Shh, don't tell her. <laughs> Good Lord. <clears throat> All right, what else we got? <clears throat> oh, your little bunny. It's nice that you just hung out with her. What do you get when you cost Jason Voorhees with a box of Cheerios? A serial killer. That's an old one, but a good one. I'll give you that one. Charissa says no much, no such thing as too much bacon. Yeah, that's true. I could save some bacon, but <laughs> let's get serious. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna eat it all because I'm a savage. Where is my nozzle? Uh, Matt, talk louder. I'm walking around Walmart and it's noisy here. I feel so sorry for you. Okay. So now we got to turn on a jet boil. Get it all attached to the very safe combustible gas. I'm a nurse. He'll be fine. Thanks, Jennifer. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, all the bacon needs to be cooked. There is no saving bacon for later. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. He's, I'm a nurse. He'll be fine. Just do it. Hi, Nicole. How you doing, shiny nickel blades? If that's not your first comment and I missed it, I apologize. Does Matt like veggies? Matt does not like veggies. But if he has to eat veggies, he eats carrots, which is in my fridge along with a bagged salad because i've been feeling a little in need of salad lately let's put it that bloody way okay this fan 
You go there. I've got to I've got to change the direction of this fan to out, not in. We need an innie, not an outie. Ew, just a tie up an annoying octopus. <laughs> Too bad we don't have. It's too bad we don't smell a vision. Bacon smells so good. Remember to use the fan. Yes, thank you, Beth. That's what we're doing right now, girl. Get it going. All right, I gotta, I gotta take this motor apart and clean it. I'm getting a little squeaky squeak. <clears throat> okay. Do I need this? Yeah, I gotta cut up the garlic. Where's my vinegar? See, whoever was asking about dishes, I don't think they're still here. But this is how simple dishes are. I mean, yeah, sure. You use a little bit more paper towel, but just save on water. Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. So good. Okay. Yeah, it's clean enough to eat off of. <sighs> okay. Um, stove is a stove. Put the. Wait. Hang on. Hold the bloody phone. Wipey, wipe, 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 wipe. Oh, bah! Did I say Sir Sapasha? I can't see it. Somebody's saying hi to Byron. Hi, Byron. He's like, he joined. He's like, what the hell is my brother doing? Matthew ate so many carrots, he turned orange. Shut up. He's not wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was such a picky eater. Even when I was a baby, all I would eat, oh, my fridge just turned on. Every time that happens, a little noise trips me up. Um, I would only eat the carrot pablum. Yeah, my mom fed me so much I turned orange. True story. How about the Russian accent? What do you want me to make carbonara? We're going to make carbonara and then learn to push broom because, my goodness, we're soon we're going to be speaking Russian, eating potatoes, drinking vodka. It's no good. Everybody talking. Who is this? Hello? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. The, the Russian accent still comes out very often at work. You go to work very hard so you don't end up in gulag. But now we're going to take pan. We're going to fry bacon. Ha ha. Hey, Byron, are you still there? Gulag. <laughs> uh, ah, the fridge is working great, Francisco. Turn on notifications to the Van Life Plus YouTube channel to be notified when the review goes live. Shameless self promotion. Byron, are you still here? Oh, Lindsay's here. Hi, Lindsay. I'm in the trees. Can I, Byron, can I talk about it? You know. Kevin sent him to Gulag. Let me know in the chat, dude. And then that'll keep, you know, just let me know, first of all. Lindsay, the champ is here. Excuse me. She's not the champ yet. She's probably going to be, but she ain't yet. <laughs> or what a bacon is sizzling that might be too hot you shouldn't be sizzling yet byron says lol sure okay so i got some big news and this will be more i mean everybody will appreciate it and probably show incredible support but it'll mean a lot more to my more intimate members of the community but my little brother byron and his beautiful wife stephanie are expecting their first child, a little baby boy, in November of this year. And I think that's pretty damn dope. Brooklyn's going to have a little cousin. I'm just going to leave that here while I cook my meat. Hi, Dreadwolf. My wife is a planet. <laughs> Woo! The bacon is simmering. Uh, what am I drinking? I'm drinking Gatorade. She's currently in the living room. Can she hear this? <laughs> A little coffee bean. That's hilarious. So I'm very hungry, Byron, so I'm really busy cooking right now. <laughs> and on standby, because Brooklyn's having a pretty bad uh, allergic reaction. So 
I'm just waiting to hear from her mom. Please highlight what comment. The the bean. This one. <laughs> A little coffee bean. <laughs> So yeah, I'm hoping to be able to be out there in November when the little turkey is born. Yes, Steph, I just called your unborn baby a little turkey. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna like I said at the beginning of this uh, vlog, I will be out there in July, which will be super cool. But I am making carbonara, shiny nickel blades. Rendering out the fat in your bacon so you can eat pasta at 10 o'clock at night by the time it's done. See, that's why you need to use thick cut bacon. It renders out more fat. That's right. Oh, well, we'll get there. La, 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 la. A baby turkey future van lifer in the oven. <laughs> uh, at the end of July, sorry. July 21st, I'm heading out to see Byron and them. Take in Brooklyn with me. You do know that July is a month, right, Lucky? Uh, she's just got reaction to all the pollen that's still in the air, Turtle Graham. Let's see, Lindsay knows two weeks, 11 days to be exact. We're counting it down. Yes, we're all very much looking forward to getting the F out to BC and being able to get in some bloody water, especially with how hot it is here right now. My goodness gracious. This bacon sucks. Oh, well. It is what it is what it is. Fry it up nice and good. Carbonary. <laughs> why would I? Why am I salty about you counting it down? That's <laughs> Just cooking silently on a live stream, no big deal. The eleventh is the only day that matters. Mm hmm. So it's not your actual birthday yet. <laughs> Stop fidgeting with your meat, Matthew. Getting those food smells in here. I'm not. I'm not happy with this bacon. I'll tell you that much. Yikes. A little lower heat, please. All right, bacon is simmering. Let's go back to the chat. The bacon has me craving a BLT. Nice. <laughs> All the things. Uh, that's the only way I know to be, leopard girl. The lady at the post office was illiterate. That was ridiculous. Oh. Have I tried adding water to the bacon? I watch, What is it? What? Uh, yeah, Get Her Better did that after she watched Joseph do it. Uh, eh, I'm not too concerned. Considering we're slowly rendering this out, it's going to be crispy enough. Joseph from Sharing the Wild. 
Wow, Nicole. Yeah, you sound like you have an issue over there. Yikes. You better uh, take care of that. Jeanette. Oh, yes, that's a great great plan, Byron. You gotta, we're going to do this all before November, I take it? <laughs> Personally hand deliver coffee to everybody? <laughs> Mail you the bacon fat? Good Lord. You actually need a little bit of the fat to continue this recipe on with. Not a lot is coming out of this, but I mean, it's barely cooked, so. Just going to let it sizzle away. Smells like fried pig in here, which is great. Mm. <laughs> oh, Joe, you could try leaving, like closing the app completely and coming back. Live stream will still be here. Not sure what happened. That's That's unfortunate, my dear. Well, that's true. We got to get your baby to run the French press. That's a good point, Byron. What else we got going on here? Wait, you got to put the kids to work early. <laughs> got to earn their keep. That's right. What's the point in having dwarfs if they don't do chores? Sorry to anybody who just joined. I am in the middle of cooking some food. Not going to be as interactive as literally every other moment in this live stream. But I invite you to converse with the incredible community. And I mean, I'll be right here. See, this is what I get for choosing crap bacon. It'll be fine. Yikes. What use is a dwarf who doesn't do chores? That's right, Lindsay. 11.30 here. Patty Crane, you have yourself an awesome weekend. And thank you for hanging out with us as long as you did. Appreciate it. Fan blowing on me. Real loud. A little loud. <laughs> hey, and Joe's still here. She got to work. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Pancetta would have been better. Nah, I, I've had it both ways. I prefer bacon. Pancetta is the more traditional way for sure. But I am a okay with bacon. All I'm doing is just staring at the cheese that got spilled on the floor, and it's giving me some anxiety. Not literally, but yikes. <laughs> All right, Byron's out. Damage control. Good luck, bro. <laughs> yeah, I send our love to staff, my man. We will see you guys so soon. Uh, my bacon is cut up. It's cut up into little slashes. It's just not quality bacon, that's for sure. To be fair, it wasn't. It was side pork. It's very yuck looking. But we shall see. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much for the incredible support, everyone, towards Byron and his wife. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We've Obviously, I've known about that for a long time. But like with most things, you kind of want to just play it a little bit closer to the chest before you start telling everybody. My kitties would be all over that cheese on the floor. Yeah, yeah it's 20%. You'll be fine. Or you can just, you know, plug in your phone, Rocio. <laughs> Six hours to go. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Debbie, I, I, mean, I got you, Debbie. You about the coffee and everything. Don't worry. At this point, we're just going to get new coffee from Mountaintop in July. At the end of the month, lucky. I don't know. Was the allergic reaction to the pollen? I don't know. I don't know, Lindsay. I'll we'll go over that. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, and my mom sent me this a while ago. She went shopping and bought two new dresses. I'm assuming for Brooklyn. They don't look like they would fit me. Someone's a little excited <laughs> to see her grandbaby. I don't blame her. That was one of the hardest things, you know. I don't know if I've talked about it on a live stream before, but like I had such a close relationship with my grandparents. It was hard when my parents just made the decision to move to a different province. I mean, they, they earned it and they had been planning on it for a very long time. Um, but it was always sort of like heartbreaking because then it just they wouldn't be able to see her every day. We had gotten into a bit of a routine where they were seeing her every day before I had started my full-time job and before I was in the van when they were still here. Obviously, they were still here. Um, yeah, that's all right, though. Such is life. <laughs> it was horrible coffee, yeah. Oh, oh. Matt will not be expecting. Nope. <laughs> no, no, no. There you go. Bacon sizzle and crisp up in there, would you? Pollen is very bad this year, Divine. Like, I've never seen it hang around this long in my location. Like, into July? That's crazy. And thank you for wishing she feels better soon. I appreciate that. Oh, thanks for stopping in, Dreadwolf, and good luck with the shoot. Hope you have a great weekend. Well, yeah, she would always have gotten to go to BC because Byron and Steph lived there. This carbonara is not going to be the best. I'm just going to use extra garlic. <laughs> <clears throat> The only thing Matthew wants to be expecting is a high top van. That's pretty spot on. I appreciate that. <laughs> I mean, she's just, just lucky. Just trying to get my twelve gauge. Ah. Hi, Stella. How are you? You smell a big home? You the big home? <laughs> Cherish those times to go by so fast. My son was blessed and was a grown man and grew up having a great relationship with the grandpa. 100%. And I absolutely do. Rocio needs a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. You got this, girl. I understand what you need. I hold you up. I hold you up. When you fall down, I catch you and put you back up. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be pretty much in Byron's hands going forward in terms of ordering coffee. <laughs> Ask Debbie. I've been meaning to send her her coffee forever, and it has not happened yet. So, yo. Yikes. Now we're going. Now we're cooking with grease. Now we're cooking with pig fat. Look at it all in there. I know you can't, but yo. There's a lot of it. Yeah, weird caller guy. Then you get it. Yeah, exactly. I was very blessed when it came to my grandparents. They were pretty much the same situation as yours, like around the corner. Five-minute drive. It was super cool. What about the pasture water? The pasture hasn't been cooking yet. we got to wait for the bacon to finish. Oh, Esther's here. Hi, Esther. I didn't see you come in, but everybody else is saying hi. I'm busy cooking bacon. Hopefully you're staying cool on this very hot Friday. Uh, Alberta, if you're asking me, I'm having carbonara eventually. Right now it's just bacon. 
And I'm not liking the look of this bacon. Yuck. But we'll see. Huh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Da -da -da -da. Da -da 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 -da. All right, all right, all right. Have I ever been to Maine? No, I have never been East Canada or United States other otherwise. Either or. The furthest east I've been is Toronto. I had to go there for work once. Um, but no, I've never been to the East Coast. I've been down the West Coast of the United States, but never to Maine. Why is my coffee always gone? Because it's all you drink. It's all you drink, sir. Bacon is slowly getting there. I think I'm going to dice me up some garlic. Yikes. Where did I put the garlic? Oh, yeah, in the cup holder. Because that's where you keep your garlic when you live in a van. Cutting board. Be right back. Just got to peel some garlic. Don't mind me. Stay open. Ah, the bacon is spinning. Ouch. Okay, all right. Calm down. Yikes. Extra garlicky. Three cloves. Three cloves of garlic. That's how we do it the Van Life Plus way. Ah, the bacon is spitting. The garbage also smells like cat shit, so it's a very eclectic mixing here right now. Oof. Render, 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 render. I am going to need a container to put this freaking bacon fat in. Bacon fat all over the floor. Bet you this smell is gonna stick in the morning. Hello. Star Wars, can you talk about how you deal with negative comments you get via YouTube? I really dig it. Your positive vibes. That's a great question. I'll do my best, Star. I don't know if you just joined us or not. I am in the middle of cooking uh, myself some dinner. That's a really cool question because um, it happens. You're gonna get them. I think I was very fortunate in how long it took for me to start actually getting negative comments. And I still, to this day, haven't gotten many. But when they do come in as tough uh, of a skin as you have, or as much as you tell yourself it's not going to bother you, it's going to bother you. It's going to get under your skin. And that comes down to the mentality of why doesn't everybody like me? And anybody who says, I don't care what anybody else thinks, they might believe that. But I truly don't think anybody actually thinks that unless they're a psychopath. That's just human nature. That's just the way we operate. We all want a little bit of acceptance. And as soon as we see some asshole who's not accepting us, I say this because we think it doesn't mean it's true or that we actually need it. Um, but as soon as we see that, it sets off something inside of you. My best way is I, I pick and choose the comments that I respond to. Because if they're especially ignorant or blinded, or you know uninformed then i'll say something a lot of the times i get comments about people saying oh you're just a chrome clone um from van city van life some more often than not i'll respond and i'll say why are you judging a book by its cover and i actually had someone i think they popped in here earlier that i had a great conversation with on their comments about that saying you know check out some more of my videos they actually apparently actually apparently they did, and then they came back to the comment thread and said, wow, thank you so much. I see what you're all about now. I subscribe, which is really cool. Other times, you're just going to get ignorant people, or the, or they might not even be negative comments. They might just be opinions that you don't happen to agree with. You just got to choose your battles and try and know that it's not the end of the world. Look at your view count versus your comments. There's more often than not always going to be more viewers than there are comments, and chances are the rest of your comments are more positive than the one or two ignorant ones that you might have. I mean, you wouldn't have those kind of viewers. You wouldn't have those kind of numbers if people genuinely didn't like what you're doing. So, and the, again, the, easy, the other easier way is to just ignore it. I find that it's very ignorant on your part or my part to delete comments. I mean, unless it's like those sex bots, I delete that stuff. But if it's someone who's saying something that you just don't like, to delete them and censor them, you're part of the problem of what's wrong with the world. That's such bad behavior. 
because I truly do believe in free speech and people just being able to say whatever they want. So I'm never going to delete comments, no matter how bad or vile they seem. Um, and you can just choose to ignore them. Just leave them there. Who cares? I've had my community has come to my aid as well with ignorant comments. So, yeah, it is what it is. It's always going to be a thing. I know Chrome would say, don't reply to ah, bacon grease in the eye. <laughs> Chrome has said in the past, don't reply to any comments. I don't agree with that. I love the interactivity I have with my community. I may eventually get to the point where it'll be overwhelming. But uh, as it is right now, I enjoy it far too much to just ignore or not ignore, but just not respond to everybody. It's too cool what's happening around this YouTube channel for me to not be a part of it that way. I hope that helps. Hacking up hairballs is what cats are supposed to do with the stuff in their tummy. No, I, I guess. I'm not a cat expert. I was talking to the vet. This is a tangent. <laughs> um, I'm just going to turn the heat on the jet boil off, I think. So it's not spinning in my face while I'm dicing up garlic but yeah especially i was talking to the vet and as cats get older it's actually just an unknown they don't really know why but they like to this day they still don't know why but cats just start to vomit more as they get older it's just one of those things garlic 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 Good old squish the garlic clove with the knife trick. Squishy squish to remove the skin. Ah! Dropping garlic all over. Well, not literally. Pretty darn close. Going to remove that part. Yeah. This garlic is trying to root the eye. What do we got going on over here? Sorry, Chef Matthew Ramsey. Yeah, hardly. Don't get bacon grease on the dicks. And yeah, I know, right? I think it's too late for that, but that's okay. It's just things. You can't take them with you, and they protected my very supple chest. <laughs> Sorry if you're just joining us. I'm dicing garlic for my pasta. I'll be right back. You can just watch my profile as I do. <laughs> yikes, yikes. I'll get more coffee. What was the biggest thing I did to help your channel grow, in your opinion? I can't deny it. It was me going and going to the meetup with Chrome and doing the van tour. That was the biggest thing that sort of allowed YouTube to put me out on their algorithm or whatever because all of a sudden a bunch of people from his channel came over and joined mine. That being said, Everybody here that's supporting me will be the first people that say, yeah, but we wouldn't have stayed if you weren't who you were. So it also comes down to who you are and what you're presenting on your channel. But I probably would still be growing, but at a very slower rate had I not gone to that meetup. And I've talked about this before. I may seem like a huge extrovert. I'm actually a really big introvert. So it was a big deal for me to go down to that meetup and put myself out there like that. Yeah, hard to believe, but it's true. And then, sorry, I'm going to go back to that too. It just depends on your thumbnail. Once you start getting the numbers, you're never going to see, well, I shouldn't say you're never going to, because who knows, it might be different for you. But like I've had over 7,000 subscribers for a while, but my videos usually top out at around 3,000 views. You never really see the same return on views as you do for how many subscribers you have. But every once in a while, a video just hits. I've had two that just hit, and they're both over 30,000 views. I and mean, that usually generates a lot of traffic as well. But there's no guarantee on when it's going to happen. I don't know. It's definitely more enticing thumbnails and video titles. But, yeah, it's interesting. I just hope we can get the channel numbers up there before that Bill C-11 gets passed, if it does. Yikes.
right, dicey dice. Very nice. Ah, uh, more garlic. I hate when you get garlic on your knee. Yikes. Okay, we got. <laughs> oh, that was totally, yeah. Well, I'm going to address that. I didn't see myself. That was totally me. I mean, yeah, I was a little bit in awe of meeting somebody I had looked up to for a while. Hi, Consuela. Welcome to the live stream. But that was totally me. Like, there was, there's no way around it. That is who I am. I'm very eclectic. I am never just one way. I've got a lot of characters in me. I enjoy being funny. I enjoy being real. And some people don't like that, apparently. Like, oh, you're so fake. Yeah, all right. Okay. <laughs> That's, again, those are one of the, some of those negative comments you just kind of have to let roll off your shoulders. But, uh, yeah, I'm eclectic that way, and that was definitely – I was never putting on a face. <laughs> Best thing Nomax ever said. Thank you, Debbie. That's true, Divine. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay. Now I got to drain some of this nonsense out of here. I need about two tablespoons of this bacon fat. What is this? Quarter of a cup. I don't think I have spoons in here. No, we're going to save quarter of a cup. That's fine. Uh, over here. Okay. That's a good amount. Then we got to get rid of the rest. Um, I don't want to ruin that. Where we put this? Where do we put it? I don't have a tin. Oh, we could put it in beer can. This is going to be a bad idea. <laughs> Ooh, it's working. Nice. Don't forget to put this beer can in a Ziploc bag after. Yikes. So many uses. Whoa. Sorry, give me a second, everybody. Let me see if there's anything I can answer. Oh, I help you get out of your four walls. Thanks, Alberta. That's really nice of you to say. I never had the intent. I never thought I'd have this sort of effect that I've had on people. And when I hear comments like that about how I've genuinely helped people or just made them smile or do something that they weren't going to do normally... That's so cool. I say, you know, like it really it never was. I was just like, yo, I'm going to do this and I'm going to film it because I like making movies. That was how this all got started. 100%. Okay. Now we put this bacon grease back in the pan. Yeesh. Along with our garlic. And we're going to saute for two minutes. The garlic and the bacon together. And then we get to do the ever entertaining task of boiling water. It's gonna be great. If I was in sticks and bricks, I'd be boiling the water already. But with the one burner set up, eh, it can't be in a rush. What is this? What do we got going on over here? <laughs> Into gulag. What would I suggest watching tomorrow? Let's get to the plus. Like you said, well, the plus is just movies. The plus is a whole lot more than movies. But uh, I just finished watching Ozark. If you've never watched it, I recommend that. If you have seen it, well, then you're going to ignore that comment. Um, I mean, I want to see it. Thor Love and Thunder just hit the theaters. I did go see Black Phone, and it was an awesome movie. Really well done. I did not realize that that movie is based on the book by Joe Hill, who is Stephen King's son. Kind of explains a lot about it once you know that. Very cool. And very Ethan Hawke did great. If you don't like horror movies, well. <laughs> saute, 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 saute. I got to clean up the floor because it's driving me crazy. Where did I put my vinegar? Oh, this happens all the time in Lucky. Vinegar is not hanging up. Where did I put it? Good grief, man. I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, Sue Bishop is out. Good night, Sue. Have yourself a lovely weekend. Thanks for hanging out with us. Well, you did. I sure appreciated it. Have I watched The Hunt on Netflix? Are you talking about the movie with the game with uh, with uh, rich people put the people in and they fight and they hunt? Yes, I have. I didn't watch it on Netflix. I own it. I bought it digitally when it first came out. I think that's a great movie. Really frozen gulag. Kevin's out there. Join Patreon or go to frozen gulag. Thanks, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, Patreon's a great way to show support for the channel if you can afford it. If you can't, you can't. That's just the way it is. Definitely helps me out. Inches us a little bit closer to being able to do this full time. And I can just be a clown for everybody. And hopefully a little bit informative. Where is my vinegar? This is nonsense. Quick. Somebody rewind the live stream. Tell me where I put the vinegar. Like, this is a small house. This happens way too often. <sighs> Good night, Joe. Thanks for hanging out while you did. I appreciated it. I appreciated it. I appreciate it. Hey. Oh, yeah, I got to watch The Boys. I got to get on this third season of Boys. Apparently, it's really good. The second season was... But uh, I've heard that the third season is great. <laughs> yes, Renee did. Pick up, put away your air freshener. Yes, it's already away. <laughs> no, on the other side. Ah, this shit. There's probably too much bacon grease again. This is quite the process. This is why I don't cook as much as I used to in sticks and bricks. <laughs> yes. One more week. Okay, where? Cup holder. No. In the sink. You wash your knife so it can't be far. Yeah, exactly, right? I washed the knife. I washed the bowl. This is ridiculous behind me <laughs> everybody's trying to help look here we don't understand it either oh it's way on the other side of the garbage can right where kevin said it would be clean the floor thanks kevin hang on don't splatter my face bacon you're very upset i don't like how agitated you get when i agitate you <laughs> okay Oh, hi, Underscore. See you in there. Joining the chat. I didn't see you come in, but hello, hello. Vacuum the cheese from the floor. I will, Kevin. It's a little bacon greasy at this point. All right, this needs to come off the heat. Turn that off. Put the knife over there. This fan is a mess. <laughs> so worth it. Okay, now let's boil some pasta. Somebody was asking, I don't think they're still here, but somebody was asking me about my dishes earlier. These uh, Sea to Summit pots are really good too because they the lids come with the built-in strainer, which is super cool. First off, like pasta. Pasta. Lock it. Lock it. Oh, so, EL, are you leaving? Thank you so much for hanging out. Have a thoughtful good weekend. Water. Water. Another reason I don't make pasta a lot in the van, it takes a lot of water, which I just find to be a little bit of a waste. The biggest tip for any pasta dish, salt the bejeebus out of your water. Ugh. Come here. <laughs> Get her better lurking. Lurking when I can. That looked like a dish or when it saltier the better. All right. Whoosh, and we're off. Blow in some water. How exciting. Put the salt away. 
now we could actually, if we had more space, hmm, I could do up my egg concoction here. I'll do wait till the pasta's in the water. You use olive oil instead of salt, you amateur. <laughs> oh, E.L.'s Esther, right. Mm. I didn't know that. Braden Deans is here. Hello, Braden Deans. How are you, sir? Oh, the bacon crisped up nice, and let's see how it tastes. It's pretty shit. Not gonna lie. Oh well. Ooh. Apparently, the salt also helps it raises the boiling point of the water, or lowers it. Whatever, one of the two. Uh, Dean Blades, I'm gonna need you to do me a favor, and go to fuck to bed. Okay, it's time. Bye bye. That's our one. We're still PG 13. <clears throat> oh, I didn't realize Get Her Better and the Broken Nomad were engaged. Congratulations, you two. He's calling her his fiance. That's very good. We should everybody give them a big congratulations in the chat. I didn't know. But I better be invited. I've got a great best man speech. I could also do a pretty good maid of honor speech, not gonna lie. Jason Hicks just found you on YouTube the other day. Love your content. Thank you very much, Jason. I appreciate that. And we're very happy to have you here. The community is growing at a very rapid rate, and it's pretty darn cool. The community is pretty important around here, I'm not gonna lie. Or I'm just looking for something to stir the pasta with. I don't have tongs, which would be ideal. Or not the pasta, but the pasta water. I mean. Hmm. This is how Matt scolds himself in his van. Ah, jeepers, creepers! Where'd you get those peepers? <laughs> Sorry. Uh. <laughs> oh. Nanetta McNeil, thank you so much for joining us. Didn't know you were here, but I'm glad you were enjoying the content. That's awesome. Good gravy, man. Good gravy, man. Nancy Shad must crawl back into bed. It's been a humdinger of a weeknight, everyone. Well, I hope your weekend is much better, Nancy. Enjoy yourself. Thank you for joining us. Kayla can make her own crib and stroller. That's true, Kevin. You got it kind of made in the shade there. Salt in the water keeps it from sticking, too. Yeah. 110%. Now we must get pasta. Oh, look, Sharissa. These are almost gone. <laughs> Delicious. Where is pasta? You know what? Let's double it up. We'll do a little bit of salt and olive oil. Woohoo! Living on the edge. Okay. I need the uh, spaghetti. I hate measuring spaghetti, but I got this fancy little Tupperware container from Mima that measures one portion or two. It's right there. I think I'm more of a two portion kind of guy tonight. Maybe not. Let's reel it in a little bit. It would be fun if we have a recipe for every live stream. Yeah, that would be cool. Ah. Why am I doing this? The water's not even boiling. Everybody relax. Call me old-fashioned, but can't you just shock up? What does that mean? What do you mean, Turtle Graham? The heart-shaped Cheerios. Well, they, what do what they called me out? There are no heart-shaped Cheerios in Canada. Not where I live. <laughs> uh, Pampered Chef. No, it's Tupperware. If you're talking about my uh, spaghetti container. Yeah, it's hot in here now. My, I need... <laughs> they said their Cheerios were heart-shaped. How does that help me? 
How does that disprove my point? There are no heart-shaped Cheerios where I live. You're on Patreon. You saw me in the cereal aisle the other night. <laughs> there, Braden has them in BC. I don't live in BC. Hmm. <laughs> You know what's not heart shaped? This spaghetti. Whole package, put it in the water. <laughs> and all of it. Just dump it all in there. I think we're probably in the clear. I don't see any more messages about the kid, though. Crack a window. Crack a window. Not wrong. What's it like outside now? Let's take a peek outside the good ship Lucky. What's going on in the world of Walmart parking lot? It's very dark out there. Hello, world. I wish I had, I wish these windows opened. But alas, I just made it harder to exist in here. <laughs> Pulling out this insulation panel. Yikes. <laughs> Oh, the water's watering. Yes, I said watering. Oh, Rachel has to go. Thank you so much for joining us. Have yourself an awesome weekend, Rachel. My water is boiling. Let's get it on to the brick of dawn. Whoa, it came out the wrong end. Hey, none hit the floor. Good catch, Van Life Plus. You didn't catch those ones. Okay, enough of this nonsense. Aha! Ah, it's clearly not enough spaghetti. More pasta, you savage. There. That looks like a decent amount of pasta. <laughs> Minus the ones on the floor. Now I need to get my egg concoction soda ready and going. I swear my thumbs are just too big. Shack up. So your question was, okay, hang on. Couldn't I just shack up? But like with who? What are you, what are you talking about? I live in a van. I'm not following. I clearly missed some comments. Alberta and Stella, I need to go, Matt. I need to get some sleep. Stay safe and enjoy all the time you're blessed to have with your little princess. They grew up so very fast. Thank you so much, Alberta and Stella. Have yourself a good weekend. We'll talk to you so soon. Oh, yeah, supposed to be timing this. Eh, sure. I need me eggs. Oh, they make more mess. This better be the best pasta ever. <laughs> okay, okay. I need my cheese, which you've been holding on to so kindly. Thank you. Uh, love shack, baby. Love shack. Shack up with the heart shaped Cheerios. Is that what he was saying? I am not a dude. Sorry, Turtle Graham. <laughs> Who do you want me to shack up with? I don't, again, I still don't understand. But just in general, like get a sticks and bricks. Can't afford it. The world is going to hell in a handbag. Everything's too expensive. One egg. Two eggs. It's supposed to be three eggs and one yolk. I'm just going to do two. I think I'm a little... If I can do it. What? Yeah, it worked out pretty good. Get rid of that white. And a creamy yolk for the creamy sauce. What the frick am I saying? Oh, Sunny's out too. Good night, Sunny. I'm sorry to even say hi to you, my dear. Hi and bye, and have a great weekend. Thanks for being here. Yikes. Ooh, pasta is pasta in. Now, I need fork. That clean. Where's vinegar? Here we go again. Just kidding. Uh, 
<sighs> oh, Martin's here. Good grief, man. It's so early in the morning. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Oh, my goodness. You guys are so funny. Turtle Graham. I guess I got to take that off the screen. I mean, that's true. We're all pretty fun around here. And we're very happy to now have you as part of the community. Hopefully, you're subscribed. If you're not, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That's a, that's a thing, right? So now we've got our, I can't really show it without spilling it, cheese and egg. Going to mix this all up. Ooh, looking good. Looking eggy and cheesy. I don't have any straight up black pepper. I got garlic and onion. This is probably pretty good. Let's put this in here. Nice. Oh, it was a song. Okay, I'll get on board with that. <laughs> more is this oh my goodness i have to stop laughing no one on the pending engagement no on the pending engagement what i meant is people just don't people is don't people just shack up anymore yeah i did that quite a few times in my life and i do <laughs> that's why i live in a van but not only that it's just yeah i mean you have to shack up these days to go back and talk more about the economy and how expensive things are He's talking about that earlier. Yuck. Yeah, kind of. It's in everybody's interest to just shack up. Mm. All right. <laughs> Where did the cheese grater go? He tossed it over here. I don't know. Hopefully, I don't need any more. Oh, Rachel, thank you so much for the super sticker. I appreciate that. You're awesome. I thought you left. You're lurking and being like, here's some more support. You the bomb. Oh, that's too many shifts, Martin. Too many shifts, sir. All right. We got to do that. We got to do the tried and true, tried and tested, uh, Check to see if the spaghetti is done method. You know uh, what I'm talking about. Hang on. I got to put my eggs away in my fancy fridge. My fancy fridge. Come here. Get in there. You freaking eggs. All right. Let's see if it works. Ooh. Ooh, it's hot. Shocking. Came out of a pot of boiling water. Spaghetti noodle. It's not ready yet. Put that in the garbage. Oh, it's stuck to the garbage can. Does that count? <laughs> exactly, Martin. Throw it against the wall. Hundred <laughs> percent. Francisco. Uh, I can get rid of this. <laughs> this should be done. Oh, maybe it's eight minutes. Oh, gosh. This is not the most ideal spaghetti tool they are right now. Oh. <laughs> not working. And we're just making a mess of lucky. <laughs> Almost there. A couple more minutes. I can tell. I can tell. Oh, yeah, I got to save some of the bloody pasta water, too. Forgot about that part. Put some stuff away. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. It's very hot over this boiling pot of water. It's it a surprise to absolutely nobody. <laughs> Hello. Okay. There we go. Yikes. Leopard girl is yelling at me. What's up? If they don't stick, they're okay to wear a nice Martin. <laughs> We're getting pretty close. Try again. Ah. Nope. 
Ben, I think I completely missed the wall, to be fair. Hey! It's done! Perfect. Clean it up. You don't want mice. Because your lazy cats sure wouldn't do anything about it. Okay, I need some of this pasta water. Gonna get out another bowl. Do I have another bowl? Yes, I do. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's use the cup. The cup would be even better. Do you do live streams much? I used to do them a lot more than I do. It's been about a month since my last one. I've just been too busy with my adult responsibilities. <laughs> Heat. Steal a little bit of this pasta water. And dump the rest. Strain it, strain it, strain it. Reason 5,904 for having a sink in your van. Strain a pasta. Strain it. Strain it. Very good. Oof. All right, put this pasta water over here, should we need it? Throw it to seething, probably better stick it in. No, it stuck to the glass just fine, Amber, you're fine. Don't even worry about it. Just cut the spaghetti doodle with your fingernail if it cuts. <laughs> uh, Heart-shaped pasta. All right, now, how do we, I'm just going to double check here. Hot second, I'm sure it doesn't matter. One third of a cup of pasta water. Okay, so the noodles go in with the pasta. Oop, very good. Or the noodles go in with the pasta. The noodles go in with the bacon, along with one third of the pasta water. Oop, chunky. And then you add your egg and cheese mixture. I remember this part. You got to keep it going because you don't want scrambled eggs. Because this is the part that's kind of cool and risky about carbonara. It's the heat from the noodles that's actually going to cook the egg. Mix it all in. This is where tongs would come in handy. 100%. Don't have any tongs, so we're just going to mix, mix, mix. Oh, man, alive. Love me from carbonara. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Get that carbonara nice and cheesy. Actually, I guess let's get the noodles cheesy so it turns into carbonara. What time it's ready, I know, right, eh, Jackie? <laughs> She's like, oh, I need that Benadryl. Oh. <laughs> I go find somebody to give the carbonara to. There's probably somebody in the bloody donation bin. <laughs> if it needs to be thicker, add more cheese. Yeah, it could be a little thicker, that's for sure. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Problem is, I don't know where I threw my cheese grater. Get the flashlight. Kevin told me to put it back so I know where it is. Thanks, Kevin. Oh, gosh. Oh, is Chris here? Hey, buddy. We were talking about you. How you doing, man? There it is. Found the cheese grater. Uh, just on the other side of your fridge. No big deal. Okay. Oh, God. I'm falling. Okay. Ah, uh, nope. Kevin's going to say, put the flashlight away. There we go. I think we can stop exhausting now. Let's switch this to intake. Oh, it's so hot. I'm clean. It's, it's taken a while, Jackie. Give me a break. I'm in a van and I'm very sweaty. <laughs> Let's put a little bit more cheese in because as we have just, 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 just determined... You can never have too much cheese. Oh, that was a lot. Although, I guess it was the narrow point of the block, so whatever. Mm, more cheese, more cheese, more cheese, cheesy in your pasta. More cheesy, cheesy, cheese. Mm. Oof. I'm not great at presentation. Normally when you watch people make carbonara, they use the twisty twist chopsticks to spin this onto a plate. 
probably not chopsticks. It's probably like an Italian version. They're called they're called wall sticks. Oh. I don't. Oh baby. All right, let's see what we can do here. Um, everything comes full circle. We talked about the plate earlier. <laughs> Putting the cantankerous team to bed. We'll probably still be here, Lindsay. All right, let's see how this plating procedure goes. Oh. Yeah, some good leg shot there. When you get your pasta, I can't do. Presentation's going to suck. Woo, that is a big freaking plate of pasta. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buddy boy. Boom. We got some carbonara and no light. What did she just say? <laughs> right? It's a good way to spend a Friday night. I need a fork. I don't want that fork. It's got raw egg on it. I guess I got to clean it. <laughs> We're running out of forks. Lucky doesn't have enough forks in her. Stick a fork in her right. Vinegar. There it is. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. Mm -hmm. I am okay with that. Yum. All right. <laughs> oh right i forgot i saved all this pasta water don't spill it i'll spill it into the sink i do not need it anymore bye bye all right enough's enough little baby has got to be sleeping at this point a little baby last beer and then we're on to some interesting rum We'll call it interesting because if you're just joining us, it's from a local distillery in Alberta in a place called Grand Prairie, and it was only $17 for the bottle. So, yikes. <laughs> Leopard girl, thank you for the super sticker. Kevin's taking another break. Yeah, well, we're going to keep the party going. I'm making a judgment call with it being my channel and all. He won't miss much. All right. If you know me at all, the state of the van and the dishes are really stressing me out, but that's okay. Move past it. Did I miss something? Did it say to get heat stroke? Now you want carbonara. Come over. I got lots. Rocio, slurp it up. Yeah. Huh? Hello. Mm. It's the awkward part, right? We spent that much time preparing food. Well, now I got to eat it. That's just the way she goes. <clears throat> That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. <laughs> I ate. <clears throat> so what's everybody got planned for the weekend me i'm hoping to do a little bit of filming tomorrow on a new video that i mentioned earlier hopefully some editing and then i might be going down to the grounds with Lindsay and sadie although i don't know it sounds like sadie's not feeling very good copyright strike for me singing <laughs> Working. Mm. Um, no, Kevin. That sounds horrifying, though. I don't do well with bugs. <laughs> so go live in a van.
live mukbang. <laughs> I'm not opening that picture again. Terrifying. I'm not looking at my phone. That or I'm going to share it with everybody. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. That moment when you realize you made far too much pasta. <laughs> Mm. Karen Shields is going to be a, a grandmother soon. That's cool. Good weekend plans, hopefully. Oh, it's a video? There we go. Okay, now I can see it. First arrangement in Texas in over eight years. Too, too close, but you can see Yikes. This is how big he is. Look at that thing. Yeah, he's bigger than him. Look. Oh, I'm not gonna get too, too close. Nope. Hashtag not today. <laughs> now I need to burn the car. Sorry, Jackie. Hmm. Yeah, spiders are creepy AF. Ooh. Mm. No, I don't eat. I hate. I don't do leftovers, Debbie. I will, depending. Like enchiladas, I'll eat leftover. Well, a lot of the time, I'm not. I'm not a fan of leftovers. I'm gonna eat this. I was just being a baby. That sucks that you got sent to Edmonton, Mike, for work, but so at least you're making money, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you would have been, would you have been making money on the rugby tournament? <laughs> you're welcome, Lucky. I can't lie. Fuck that, it's in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Mm, nice, a 10-day road trip around Wales with her. That would be awesome, Martin. Monique, you're going to be in Calgary next week. Hopefully you've got an air conditioner and whatever you're traveling in. Is it going to be hot? You coming up here to go to the Stampede or what? Hmm. Yeah, more like spending it. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> hmm. Is there a rivalry between Calgary and Edmonton? I mean, for the sports fans, I guess there are. And it's just that thing because it's like it's like the two big cities in the West in the same province. I think it's silly. Um, I've lived in both. They both have their pros and cons, 100%. Um, yeah, I think they're both BS cities that are far too big and full of people on top of each other. But they both have very pretty areas. And the whole rival get or better is like, yes, there is. She might like hockey that I'm or something that I'm unaware of, but it's uh, yeah. They're both just prairie cities. They'd both be better off if they were in the mountains. Well, I'm glad he went to bed, Shiny Nickel Blades. I hope my comment helped. <laughs> oh, nice, Monique. That's cool. Uh, the Stampede is the greatest outdoor show on earth that happens in calgary every single summer it's basically a giant fair with a rodeo because you know cowboys and stuff
if you're just staying in Calgary like overnight or something, Monique, there's a couple of Walmarts in town that allow overnight parking. You can't miss them this time of year. They're chock full of campers. Good night, Rocio. Thanks for joining us, darling. Behave yourself. I'm going to have a bad night after eating all this pasta. That's Leopard, Leopard Girl's idea of a good time. Find a man! You'll have a great time. <laughs> You're not, you're not missing a damn thing. Talked about it earlier in the live stream. I used, I went every single year of my childhood. Sorry, I was cleaning off my computer. Had some schmutz on it. Good night, Lucky Beth. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, but I haven't been in a good 15 years. I'm just over it. Too many people, far too expensive. And it was too bloody hot. I'm done with this. All right, pretty good. Chris is going on Wednesday. Chris still likes that shit. I can't, I don't know. Like I said, I might go tomorrow with Lindsay and Sadie, uh, but I'll touch base with Lindsay and see how Sadie's doing. They want to go down just to have some of the food. Again, it's just, it's, everything's so expensive. I don't know, man. I just, it's financially irresponsible for someone like me in my position. Can't do it. Uh, the nice thing about the stampede, though, is that every single night, and how late is it? Oh, in about half an hour, they'll do fireworks. Maybe I'll do another live stream later this week. And go down, because you don't have to pay to get into the grounds to see the fireworks, obviously. Who's playing on Wednesday, Chris? Yeah, that, and I've had that thought too. Like, like, I'll go down just to film it for people that don't live here or live on other parts of the world, which is the same as not living here. Uh, for that, yeah, just for that purpose. We'll see. Like if I go tomorrow, I'll probably film something. Because be like, here it is. You'd warn her against men. You should take your own advice. <laughs> Yeah, Stampede breakfasts are fine. You don't have to go to the grounds for that. You just go to, like, the brick parking lot or wherever. <laughs> yep, that's pretty much what I said, Kevin. Vacuum up the cheese. There's a fan in the way right now, but thank you for reminding me. I do have to get rid of some of this garbage, though. I think I'm going to use my poop bucket as a trash bin to get this all cleaned up because, damn. Start by putting your stove sort of away. Where is Lucky's favorite place to visit? <laughs> what? <laughs> the van? She really likes the car wash and the gas pump. <laughs> it's like a day at the spa for her. People couldn't hear me over that van? Well, it is what it is, sir. Find a man with a van and a plan. Or preferably no plan. That's much better. Uh. Kevin's so funny. He's pretending to not hear me. Woo, woo, woo. All right. I got to get to Canada one of these days. Yeah, man. Get up here, Francisco. We'll go have some poutine and maple bacon. Maple bacon. No. Or just maple syrup. Yikes. Cheyenne Frontier Days. That ah, sounds about the same. Ah. 
Put it in the pooper. <laughs> nope, not, no, no. It'll be fine. <laughs> taste of Chicago. Yeah, we do the taste of Calgary as well. That's a completely other thing that happens. Jeez. Everything's too expensive. I don't know how people have disposable income. It's crazy. Oh, they have jobs. No, that's not an answer. <laughs> It's just a little nuts. But you know what? All that stuff, I'm just, I don't know. I haven't really been keen on much of that stuff lately. I'd rather just go out into the bush and sit with a beer and enjoy being in nature and away from the concrete jungle, so to speak. Yeah, there's some new mini donut concoction Lindsay wants to try at the Stampede this year. That's a huge, that's a huge thing, the mini donuts. <laughs> Also, I think it's more like Sadie hasn't really been in her teenage years, so it'd be nice for her to go and experience it all. But again, I have no idea the state of her health right now. Something, something got mentioned and I missed it. Zikan Tankar is teenager. Colorado is me. What's the weirdest food of the stampede I've ever tried? Nothing. The weirdest thing that I've ever tried would be like a fried dill pickle. And that's not even weird, but it was weird to me. It was like unnecessary. Other than that, it's not too weird, I don't think. It's just like mini donuts and corn dogs and a rack of pork. <laughs> Smoked brisket. She's just sunburnt. Oh. She'll be fine. Thanks. <laughs> uh, that means you're adulting, Matt. <laughs> what with the, the fact that I'd rather be out in the wilderness? Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of adults that enjoy a good idiotic romp in the. Nope. <laughs> At the fair? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> a donut burger and mac and cheese pizza. Ugh. Yikes, dude. Yikes. Woo. All right. Wash next. This, this bad boy. Get it clean. Get it clean. Car wash and gas pump vans are people too. They have feelings. <laughs> and that beer ad. Romp in the fair. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what it is. Sunburn can't relate. <laughs> Pretty darker themed there, Francisco. Ooh, chili dog. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds like me pretending to be Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> chili dogs are great. That's clean enough. I'll tell you that much. That one we will let sit for a moment. Clean the plate. Hmm. Scorpion pizza. Ew, what the hell? That better not be an actual thing. If it is, I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> Oh, your nephew's here. Oh, go have fun. Go visit. Lucky was, you know, it was nice having you hang out. He's clearly here to wish you a happy birthday. So from me to you, happy birthday. A few days early. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Tan says go. <laughs> do you, I do use vinegar for cleaning, Mike, 100%. That is what you are witnessing. It works like a hot damn. Let's 
get it out of here. Okay, what the shoot? Ew, KD soft serve. That sounds disgusting. I am too much of an adult now. Stuff like that, I'm just like, yeah. God. Why would I want my craft dinner or my ice cream to taste like craft dinner? <laughs> or is it just like craft dinner that comes out of a nozzle? Ew. That's too much. That's much too much. Pretty darn good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. Now put the rest of your pots away. Bye, Lucky. Very cool, very cool. Ah, uh, no, sir. Okay, sorry, if you're just joining us, I'm just wrapping up making a delicious dinner, and I can't leave dishes sit, so <laughs> we're cleaning. Mm. So many birthdays in July. What's left? Oh, uh, yes, just the little stuff. I did this one already? Looks like it. Yeah, we just stirred past the water with that. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hi, Stella. Sorry, I know everything's in the way. Almost there, little girl. Almost there. Oh, you're just going to come anyway. Okay, fair enough. Carol Henderson, I've been watching you for over three and a half hours. That's how much I love you and the cats. Oh, Carol. Thank you so much. It's been nice to having you here, even though we didn't know you were here. You lurker, you. Is that pork clean? Right. Let's see. Rum slushy time. I don't have any pina colada mix, sadly. It's just going to be rum, and I'm going to have to make myself a soda stream pop. Ugh. Bloody fan is in the way. Ah. Too much, too much. Much, too much. Okay. Organization. Bye, Stella. <laughs> uh, sure. Whatever. <laughs> Captain Matt Sparrow gets the rum out. Not yet, Leopard Girl. Hang on. I'm still cleaning. It's coming. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ah, no. Don't let the paper towel stick to your cheese grater. Pro tip. <laughs> That's the worst. Well, it might not be the worst. I can think of a few worse things. But it's up there. Ooh. I just sloshed vinegar on them. Okay. Here you are just getting a little silly. Oh, that's nothing wrong with that, Chris. Yeah, I have my, well, I, yeah, my soda stream fits right in this, uh, right in my water station. It's great. Super easy to pull out. Although now I'm kicking myself. I didn't put any water in my fridge to cool it because soda stream is always better when the water is chilled. Oh, Annie's here. Good morning. I'm off to walk my dog, so I will say goodbye and hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for being here, Annie. Enjoy your walk. <laughs> all the lurkers coming out of the woodwork. Uh, that was the pasta pork. Yikes. And by a little tipsy, she means right in the bag. <laughs> Convince Kayla to live stream. Kayla, live stream. <laughs> Did it work? 
<laughs> I'm sure she will eventually, Francisco, but um, she's more of a planner. She's not, you know, she likes to have things a certain way when she's doing them. That's why she's such a good DIYer and so creative when she does do her vlogs and stuff. Um, you are on Patreon. She popped in on my Patreon only live stream, which you can check out. I don't remember at what time stamp. But uh, yeah, Kayla, live stream. She's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> one day. I can be only one Highlander. I didn't know I was supposed to check in. You don't have to. I don't know. No, you're fine, Carol. Don't sweat it. You could totally just enjoy the insanity for what it is. Insane. He said while well, he polished his knife. Hello. Right. Careful, Stella. There's a sink there. Why is garlic so sticky? <laughs> Silly. Denise is back. Hello, Denise. How are you? Welcome to... Very happy to have you back. I will. Mm. <laughs> Did you ever install the flip-out table you talked about? No, I still got the piece of wood under my bed that I would need to wrap. But I... No, I have not installed that yet. Clearly, I'm cooking on my pooper. <clears throat> oh, Lucky's back. Was your nephew that boring? Uh. <coughs> oh boy. Almost there, everybody. Almost there. Pasta water. <laughs> Bebop and Becca, thanks for hanging out. You have yourself a good weekend. We will talk to you oh so soon, and I will work on that fridge review, I promise. I will not have it ready before Prime Day, though. All right. They call them grease. Last little bit here, Pilgrim. Ooh, Taco Bell, he's going to have the shits in the morning. Yikes. Dave is here. Yo, yo, kava bean. Bien? Bien. Hello. Hello. Hello, Dave. How are you? Welcome to the live stream. We're just hanging out, having a rip-roaring time, watching a guy wash a dish on top of his toilet. Ooh. Try in about 20 minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ooh. Big Bad John, have you ever considered having an open phone call in, in line over your live feeds? Uh, I did that with my Patreon live. I had people come up and they could chat with me. Uh, I don't think I would do that in an open forum because I have no ideas, no way of knowing who the heck's going to pop up. I've risked my channel enough. Thanks. All right, now before Debbie says it again, put your toilet on the counter. Go get your vacuum. And then vacuum up your cheese. God, it's everywhere. Guess I could have muted that a little sooner, but oh well, here we are. Wash the floor. Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> All right. Yikes. Hmm. 
Oh, God. Why does your house smell like vinegar? Shut up. What's for dessert? That's a good point. I'm going to finish off these that Charissa sent me. Uh, caramel. Caramel? Don't know. Don't care. Oh, they're kind of melty. Yum. Oh, does Amelia pop in? <laughs> uh, no, they don't care about the vacuum. I mean, if I tried to vacuum them, they'd probably have something to say about it. But it doesn't stress them out. They lived around a lot of noise when we were in sticks and bricks. They lived with me. Hello. Let's get serious. Mm. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh, you didn't send me the hot caramels? Damn. Uh-oh. Well, you sent me these. These guys. I bet, I bet. Well, who the hell sent me those, then? They came with Oreos. Mm hmm. Do I have tips on keeping my van cool in the summer? Um, here's what I do, honestly, what I've been doing since it's been hot the last like week or so. In the morning when it's cool, I got my fan going full blast and just sucking in as much air as I can. I draw my curtain because a lot of my heat comes in through the cab, even though I've got a windshield blocker and reflectix on both windows. Keeping this curtain drawn keeps out a lot of that residual heat that builds in the cab. Just keep sucking in that hot air, and then as the day goes on, I will, if it starts to get hot in the cab, I'll reverse the fan to exhaust. Lots of insulation helps. I've got all four windows in the back here blocked with reflectance as well. And it, it's got, it gets warm, but it hasn't gotten unbearable yet. That's about all I can really say for tips on keeping it cool so far. Hi, Amelia. I see you in the chat now, sweetheart. I'm guessing you should be asleep right now, but it's probably Saturday for you, so that's okay. Oh, yeah, right. It was you, Leopard Girl. That's what I thought. I'm like, wait a second. You sent me that and Oreos. Yeah, when I was like really under the weather. Yeah, those didn't last long, let me tell you. Mmm. Damn. All right. It is really bloody hot, though. Always got to check to make sure it's not your pee bottle before taking a huge drink. Don't ask me how I know. All right. <sighs> oh. oh, yeah, you can go check out Van Life Van Gaming. They got a video <clears throat> about staying cool in the van over in the UK. But it rains like 85% of the time over there, so it's probably not that hot. Just kidding. <laughs> Five fifty a.m. Good morning. The chickens are cacaing. Nice little roosters. But... <laughs> well, I don't know what you're saying, Dave. I know I saw you say that you're watching super cool watching videos, but now you've said something and you've completely lost me. I just. I just can't keep up with that craziness. That's just me being ignorant and not knowing the language. Again, I've got to go onto my knees. It's, it's just the kind of night it is. Oh, Lord. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, 
I can't believe that worked out pretty well cooking that pasta up in here. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm okay with it. How's the blue Eddie doing? Uh-oh. Down to 40%. Our time is coming to an end. I'll just have to plug into Lucky's power supply. Why is Lucky only at 12.5 volts? So much stuff running. It's okay. It's the fan and these bloody lights. Uh-oh. Let's, let's, let's romantic setting. Ah, there we go. Here we can have a little bit more of an intimate evening. Maybe get some bolts back on the old battery bank. <sighs> ah, same province, and I understand Calgary heat. Yeah. That's the best I can do so far, bro. I would love to have an onboard AC unit and build a vent on the side to vent it out of and every darn thing. But uh, yeah, those things are pricey for sure. That will be you. Fridge is going really good so far, Chris. Uh, I'll do a review video eventually, uh, but so far it's just it's beating the pants off of a cooler. And I, you know, it's a decent one, and it's not too expensive. I mean, it was American, so but something to strive for. I, I wholeheartedly support the decision to get a twelve volt fridge. You'll end up saving that much more in ice in the long run. happening over here show me all your secrets lucky i need my flashlight again kevin thanks for telling me to put it in this holster oh boy i'm gonna have to empty the gray water tank tomorrow that's for darn sure i had that overflow on me a couple weeks ago that wasn't fun What is Sorry, just having a mild panic attack with my sink over here. It's all good, though. I fixed it. Okay. What do we got? Just checked YouTube. Shut off notifications for your channel on me. Not the first time either. Happens often as well as getting unsubscribed. Yeah. Welcome to the New World Order, where they don't want you to see quality content. It's only going to get worse, Renee, and you know that as well as I do. Define not too expensive. I think the unit I have is seven, six or seven hundred dollars. I'd have to look it up to be sure. Um, but it was cheaper than a unique brand fridge, which is a brand that Chrome uses that I had my eye on and that Amber has in her van, the one that she bought already converted. Uh, but the company doesn't exist anymore, unfortunately. So it was and I mean like you've got your your go-tos. You got what Dometic and what's the other really well-known fridge brand? It's slipping my mind right now. Um I don't know, but they seem way more expensive for their unit. So this is cool to have this this one on hand. Julianne is here. Hi, before you leave, I wanted to ask, did you have a tiff with Natasha from Quest Out West? She said you blamed her for your channel being taken down. I never did anything of the sort. Interesting. <laughs> uh, no, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a history there that will remain history because I'm not going to speak poorly about anybody. Um, uh, but that, yeah, that was... That was a situation that uh, it got resolved, and it's it's water under the bridge now. I hope uh, so. Yeah, but no, I never said anything of this sort. My channel got taken down because of a live stream video where a random person showed up with a very inappropriate icon, and I threw it up like this on the screen, and the icon was a very inappropriate image of female parts. So it was out of our control, and the robots at YouTube took me down. And it took the humans at YouTube, which they're, they're vastly outnumbered when compared to the robots at YouTube. It took them a while to get to my video to review. But once they did, everything got reinstated. Thank goodness. Hi, Lindsay. Welcome back. Debbie F., thank you for hanging out. Have a good night and a great weekend. Oh, well, I don't think she was causing drama, Kevin. I think she was just asking a question. It's all good. Uh... Hey, Stallies. You want to come say hi before we rearrange Lucky and make some rum? You're looking the wrong way. Look at over here. Look. See? Look. Hi. Say hi. 
Are you a pirate cat? Are you a pirate cat? Mm. Uh, yeah. Hang on. I got a, I got a lot of, I got these foam mats that I put down from my floor. It's a whole video about uh, cheap floor insulation. They were great for that. And now they've taken some damage, so to speak. And uh, yeah, they're kind of all over the place. Oh, well. Um, good night, Mike. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the conversation, sir. I appreciate it. Have yourself a good weekend up in Edmonton. Thanks. Hey, fix your floor. Surf on it. <laughs> it works pretty well. Okay. This over here. This over there. Back on your stool. Oh, my head. <laughs> Am I going to get new floor mats? Maybe next winter. We'll see how one how well these ones hold up. Okay, no, I'm gonna turn the sink into the ice. Actually, maybe I'll just use the pot instead. Get the ice out of my fridge. Yeah, it did pretty well holding the ice together. Not too shabby. Into the pot. Far too much ice. Put this in it. Stella, come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Oh, God. You can give Stella yogurt and lots of water. She's all better. She's all better. Aren't you? You're much. You're looking much more alive these days, Stella, which is just great. Where is? Mm. Bloody flashlights. Got that soda stream bottle. And if you're having any soda, we don't have soda stream bottle. But the other oh, it is. Haha! <laughs> I found it. Francisco's just very stuck on pastor water. The sink is assuming the position. Yeah, it smells like soda water. What are you going to do about it? All right. La, 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 la. Oh, Lord. It's going to be really sad if I don't have any gas left in the soda stream. <laughs> I didn't even think to check. I haven't made soda stream in a while. Mm. No, don't get in the water. Yikes. Mm. Yeah, it's not that cold. It'll be mediocre at best. That's what the ice is for. Oh. All right. Uh, Francisco, no, I have not seen the Batman. I was about this interested in watching another Batman movie. <laughs> so I haven't seen it. I just, I don't know. I've talked about it before briefly. I'm just getting so disillusioned with movies in Hollywood, especially movies from Disney. And I've just been watching a lot more older movies um, and enjoying that. Series, original series on different platforms are okay. But yeah, I just, I don't know. You can only watch so many different versions of Batman. Like, I haven't even seen all the James Bond movies for the same reason, right? Like, I don't know. 
I grew up Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, you know, when Batman was absolutely terrible. That's not saying that Michael Keaton was terrible, but those last two sure were. And Christian Bale, of course, nailed it. And Ben Affleck was fine. He's a lot better than I thought he was going to be, actually. I don't care if Twilight can be Batman. Just don't care. <laughs> I'm sure I'll see it at some point eventually. DC no good. Watch Marvel. Yeah, but even Marvel's getting to just be meh. I was saying this earlier, Martin, before you were here. I'll probably go see Thor Love and Thunder, but I don't know. I'm kind of getting over that, too. <laughs> uh, it's just it's, there's too much um, there's too much nonsense, you know, sprinkled in these movies that, uh, you know, like propaganda or whatever, stupid subliminal messaging. It's just really not worth my time. There's so much more that I'd rather be doing with my life. Like drinking rum. What is Tumblr? Ah. Lucky hasn't seen any of the Batman movies past Michael Keaton. That's probably not a bad place to stop. <laughs> if you like Michael Keaton, watch Birdman. That was a good movie. <laughs> Man, is Lucky a disaster right now. This is no good. What gas do I need? Ah, they're little, they're, I think it's CO2, Kevin. CO2 cartridges. <laughs> Keep telling you and your mother that. Oh. Penny. Yeah, I know. There's a bunch of stuff everywhere. We're going to have a cleaning fest once the stream is done. I promise you that. Yeah, I've heard Love and Thunder getting mixed reviews. That's unfortunate because Taika Waititi is a good director, but it is what it is. Yeah, Chris, you, you, yeah, <laughs> you like DC way more than I do. Adam West. There you go. The only Batman you need to know. <laughs> okay. Why is the rum always gone? Because you keep moving the bloody rum, Matthew. It's amazing how often I just completely misplace things in this tiny man. I keep saying that. but Or it just falls over and you miss it. Ooh, that was healthy. Ooh. I'm going to tell you this right now. This uh, local distilled rum from Grand Prairie. Yep, smells about right. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll give, I, again, I haven't seen the movie. But I'll give it this. It's a, got a great director behind it, at least. I'm pretty sure it was the same director that made um, the Daredevil series on Netflix, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Or did he get canned? No, I don't remember. That's true, Kevin, but now that you've said that, my goodness gracious. Nope. Woo! Should have stuck with the lucky. Ah. Only way to train kids is to take their tech away. Yeah, then you get to live with the screaming and the begging and every other thing that happens when you do that. Uh, I, Julie, not so much a promotion, but I, I moved, I shifted gears 
and I'm a mechanic now. Uh, I don't know if that might have been what I was talking about. There was never really a promotion on the table, but I started as a tech installing wiring and lights and sirens and all of that. And then now I moved into the mechanic side, which has been great. Um, yeah. Yeah. I've been doing that for a while. It's very hard work. It's part of the reason everything else is kind of slowed down. It's exhausting, but it's really good work and I enjoy it a lot more. Terry Ann from Prince George. How you doing, Terry Ann? Welcome to the live stream. Is that true, Renee? Because I feel like you could get that. Like Axe Spray is aerosol, isn't it? Or is that just... I don't know. I, I see a lot of those cans in the stores. Uh, well, I bought it lucky, so it's mine. No, you cannot reason with toddlers, 100%. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that too as well, Christina, man. I'm walking proof that it don't matter. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's actually a really good experience too, Julie. Um, I already knew a lot about mechanics as it was, but I've learned so much just doing it more on the daily. I, uh, You obviously were here at the beginning of the stream, but I, I've done two transmission jobs, which means removing the bloody transmission from an ambulance and a Dodge Ram. If I never have to do that again, that'd be great. I know that's not going to be the case. But yeah, that was, uh, it was it was nice to learn and see how to do that and understand why it's so bloody expensive when it needs to get done. I don't listen to Kevin anymore, Lindsay. <clears throat> I don't see how much time I spend on my roof. Yeah. <laughs> the ambulance one was crazy. Yeah, that was a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I share that kind of stuff on Patreon. My more day-to-day -day stuff or what I might be doing at the shop and, and whatnot. I also ended up dumping a whole bunch of oil from a diesel engine all over myself. I do not recommend. Not worth the exfoliation. Ooh. Listen to Lindsay. <laughs> I don't listen to anybody. Don't worry. My whole key situation is very, very taken care of. Excuse me. Hmm. What do we got here? Oh, must have missed fireworks. Didn't hear them tonight. They were very loud last night. Or does anybody have any experience with gaming on the Steam Deck in their van? I can't imagine. I mean, you'd probably need like a pretty decent internet connection, wouldn't you? I don't know much about the Steam Deck, but from what I understand, it's like a streaming only thing, right? Or no, I guess you could probably download when you're on Wi-Fi, just like a PC, right? No, they usually go at 11, Lindsay. Did you just poop again? Some people's kids. There's no lucky aisle in our Walmarts, Kevin. They don't sell booze up here. You can only get booze at liquor stores in Canada. It's one thing I like about the States. Yeah, I want to go down to Target. Get a pair of jeans, spare tire, a new battery, a freaking gift bag for the girlfriend, and a case of lucky. <laughs> where, else do, where else do you need to go? Just go to Target. They have it all. You need prescription? You got it. You need two, four of vodka, two, six vodka, no problem. You go pick it up. Then you go to another aisle, get bucket and toilet paper. You need.
Yeah, you guys got booze in like your 7-Elevens and stuff. We don't have that here. We're not as free as people might think. Where is horrible drink? All right, it's buried. I hope. <laughs> Good night, Grammys Journal. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great weekend. Hide a key in Walmart. That'd be not advised. That would be ill advised. <sighs> oh, there you go. Yeah. In each state. Yeah. You guys are real united <laughs> with all the different <laughs> legislators and whatever in your states. Oh. Sorry, Penny. Watch out for the pirate flag this back up before some we just see a face behind me or something I think oh there I can hear the fireworks now I can't see them though oh my god the sky's not even dark dark yet Penny can hear them too <laughs> we don't have to run <laughs> that's cool See, this is what I like about summer. This turned into such a nice night. It's very nice and cool out there. Good night, Leopard Girl. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good weekend. All oh, the heat is trapped in the houses. Yeah, I know. I should open up all my doors. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, actually. I don't know. I think I zip tied this. Yep. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. I was going to go see if Penny left me a treat. Yikes. No. We good. Oh, wow. Yeah, just wreck the place. Why not, you? Usually what we do. Alberta Schooly Adventures made it. Hello, hello, how are you? This penny knocks my rum bottle everywhere. Good lord. Nice to see you here. Can't get them until 10 a.m. <laughs> well, what do you really need to be buying booze at 9 a.m. for? <laughs> That's, that's far too early on a Sunday. It's God's day. Having fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> I'm still sleeping at 10 on Sundays. Yeah, right? I wish. I haven't had a good night's sleep in almost a year. That's one thing you got to not chase out on is your bed. Just the whole situation. Uh, no, I haven't tried it yet, Jackie. It is right here. Hmm. <laughs> Upside down. But no, I haven't had it. We have this here, but I haven't, uh, no, I've never had it and I haven't tried this one yet. Apparently, this one's chock full of energy. Active go. What are we doing? What? Ah, yes. Very good. That's how I used to sleep, Francisco. I used to be able to sleep in every single weekend. I would want to sleep in every day, but now I've just got this internal clock that's like 5.30 a.m. Bam, I'm awake. Even if I was, even if I stay up to like 3, which have, never happens anymore. That's a gross exaggeration. That's not true. Sometimes it happens. Uh, but I'm usually just, yep, 
Mm. It'll take a lot to make me sleep in. Which can be like there's good there's pros and cons to both of that, right? Like you know, you're more prepared and you're ready to go if you got a good night's sleep. But the con is, yeah, you don't really get to sleep in when you want to. Yeah, don't spend a thousand dollars on a mattress. I feel like that could be achieved for a lot less money. Yeah, oh, that makes sense, Lucky Cash and Mama. The reason I don't really like the summer, the bugs. Get out of here, mosquitoes. And <laughs> I throw Kevin's comment up on the screen. Hilarious. Hilarious. Lake Wobbleman. Oh, yes. Renee's way up in northern Alberta. I always seem to let that slip my mind. 1K is worth the great night's sleep. I guess maybe it was like a Casper or an Endy mattress. Hmm. You wouldn't be able to walk for a week. Off, so you still need like a coil spring. Eh? That's kind of where I'm leaning towards. I mentioned that earlier. That maybe uh, Kayla can help me DIY. Ooh, more fireworks going off. They having a, they having a party tonight. Well, the whole city is going to be having a party all bloody week. Hang on. Sometimes you just got to go stand in the Walmart parking lot. Because it's bloody hot in your house. The police sirens accompany the fireworks. <laughs> They're out the house. Ooh, pirate flag blowing in the wind. It's so crazy that I can hear them so well, but I can't see a thing. Bolt, what more do you need? <laughs> so many people in their cars here still. Just nuts, dude. Just nuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, the good old Calgary Stampede. <laughs> how many cars around me nobody really around me i'm at a nice end at the other end quite a few campers and cars i don't have an exact number i don't usually do a buzz and count but yeah. oh pio mio thank you so much i appreciate that comment that means a lot and you're a new name so welcome to the channel and I love your avatar. That looks like it's something from World of Warcraft. Drain Eye, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> Woohoo, Stampede. Blah. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. <clears throat> Well, that's no good. That won't work. But we make it work. Well, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, bogus. That's something like what Getter Better was telling me that we can cut out springs and, and fashion it together. All right, well, you know what? We're going to wrap this up pretty quick, probably in about six minutes, five minutes, five to six minutes. Any any questions anybody has that they want to end the night on, anything like that? Everybody's pretty chilled and laid back tonight, which I totally understand on a hot summer Friday. Yikes. <clears throat> Good back support. <laughs> Yeah, I need to set up a hammock and like I've got a hammock 
I just got to figure out a way to mount it in here, and I would just swing myself to sleep. It would be great. Ooh, hot spoon. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> There might be biases. We have horses. Yeah, the rodeo side of the stampede, fine. It's the the, the grounds and everything. Ooh, but I've or I've, I've talked about it quite a bit tonight, Alberta. But now you just joined, <laughs> so you missed that. Hey, don't forget my green. You just calm down, Lucky. <laughs> it's still part of my ensemble right now. Oh, Isabel, I haven't seen you in a while. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back. I hope you've been uh, watching the videos. It's good to see your name pop up again. <clears throat> Who's my favorite Marvel superhero, Amelia? Spider-Man. Always has been. Always will be. Oh, you're going to have to utilize your hammock tonight, Kayla. Does that mean the fur babies are all uh, all over the bed? That's what I'm guessing that means. Uh, did I hear you have a wish list? Yeah, my wish list is over on Amazon. I don't. I haven't updated it in a while. I guess I should go look at it. But yeah, it's over there. Certain things that may help the whole experience of the channel. It's linked in every video description and on my YouTube channel page. Do I win a prize for lasting to the end? You join the um, the club of the diehards. That's your prize. <laughs> See, Amelia, that's how I knew you and I were simpatico. Spider-Man for life. <laughs> yeah, no, I love Spider-Man. It was the comic book. I grew up on the comic books. I had a huge collection of them when I was younger. Um, I have gotten rid of them since then. I actually ended up selling them for a pretty decent price years and years and years ago. But that's where I got all of my Spider-Man knowledge from. I used to watch the 90s cartoon show. was my jam. And then this, the movies are good. Tom Holland's the best Spider-Man. Garfield and Maguire were fine. But I really like Tom Holland as Spider-Man. I thought he was a really good casting choice. But regardless, even if we're not talking about the movies, Spider-Man. That was underneath your comment. You couldn't see it. Thwip. <laughs> Which Spider-Man suit was my favorite? Ben Riley as Scarlet Spider. I love Scarlet Spider's outfit. Just the red Scarlet outfit, completely solid, with the blue denim vest with the ripped sleeves. Perfect. <clears throat> Hulk fans stand up. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. We're going to go all the way. All the way. <laughs> John, our friend John, dressed up like Scarlet Spider. Is that what you're talking about, Chris? As in like Damage Incorporated, John? Yeah, okay. That's, yeah, see, that's some dedication there. Six years in a row as Spider Man. I did not know that about John. That's hilarious. Thanks for that, Chris. <laughs> like, what? Oh, no, Daphne. Hi, Daphne and Don are here. Hello, hello. Sorry, we're just about to wrap it up, you two. I hope your road trip's going awesome. I've been following along on Instagram. I was at that teepee that you were at very quickly because it's just like Medicine Hat. But now you're at the big red chair in, where is that, Ontario or Manitoba? You must be having a lot of fun on that road trip. Oh, I got you, Chris. Yeah, 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 yeah. So far, so good. I'm glad to hear it. That's great. Great time of year to be doing it. That's for darn sure. Awesome. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hopefully it won't be as big of a gap between this and the next live stream. 
like I said, though, I am quite busy, and we should all just really be enjoying the summer as much as we can. Although this was tons of fun, as it always is. So everybody go out there, have a great weekend. And until the next one, just go out there, be happy, be creative, be yourselves. Most importantly, be positive. And if you're Amelia, maybe try going to bed. But Spider-Man's the bomb. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>